Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I am Leclerc. The hell was that? So Ted's Ted's over there. It's Chad's fault. I forgot. I forgot about Ted for a second because because <gasps> Claire went mysteriously French for How no well-explained dare reason. You. There's many a true nerd, and welcome to Civilization Six, which I kind of kind of is the New Year's special. Like, it didn't really feel like I could. I, I couldn't, in all good faith, put special in the title of it. Look. I, it hits. It, it, here's here's a series of things that happened. One, it, it's the new year, and I felt like doing a chill stream that I really, really love. And and, and, and I, I adore Civilization Six. In fact, literally, as some of you will know, as I was mentioning on Twitter recently, I was I've, I've been trying to put together like my top twenty-five games of all time in order. Recently, it's been quite the struggle to come with them. But Civilization Six is not only on there; it's actually quite high up. The only thing stopping it from even being my favourite strategy game of all time is the existence of Rogue Total War. Um. So I, I love this game, and I've been I've been really into it recently. The reason this stream's happening tonight precisely is this morning, I I was thinking, oh yeah, it's Thursday, we're live streaming tonight. Okay, so I need to figure out a video game to live stream. So oh, I wish I could just play some Civ Six tonight. Ah, oh, but I can't play Civ Six this evening because I've got to live stream a video game this evening. So wait a minute. Um, so so I, I had a, I had a genius moment there. So wait, I, why not both? Um, <laughs> So we did yeah, that. Yeah, so basically last night was Happy New Year, Librarian Cess, and tonight is Happy New Year, John. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I yeah exactly. Um, this is also this is also dangerous because it's nine p.m. and that's that's a dangerously yeah, late, that's time, late late to begin Civilization Six. That's this this is dangerous right here tonight. Don't worry, John. I'm here. I, the Guardian of Time. Yeah, exactly. Claire's. <laughs> In our, John? In, our, in our household, uh, we have the role of clockmaster, and whoever's most responsible with going to bed to decent hour gets to be the clockmaster. Whereas if both of us are like terrible and just faffing around and not going to bed, then uh, as a result, it, it, none of us get to be the clockmaster. Claire is currently the clockmaster. She's more responsible than me at the moment when it comes to time. So because any, of Civ Six. Because of Civ Six. Specifically. So because of Civ Six specifically. So. We're, we're going to play a little bit of. Uh, we're going to play a little bit of Civ Six. I mean, and I'm, yes, sir, librarian says in chat. Hello, hey, librarian says five five seven two. Is that there? Yes, there we go. That is, of course, it's the usage. It's literally the username of it on the YouTube account. Yay! Hello, librarian says. I hope we've made you happy by making you into a moose, turning you into a moose forever. Also, yes. I told you the Canadians would be mad. The Canadians were so mad that I said a moose was basically harmless if you weren't actively running into. It. Like I always assumed a moose was like an immovable object. Like if you like put one inside like a hadron super collider, the hadron super collider explodes. They're an immo they're an immovable object. But like I assume like if you just walked up to it, then you could just like you know pat pats on the nose and then walk away. Like, as long as you're not actively hitting, <laughs> as long as you're not, like, running into it at 40 miles an hour, which is basically like, r running into a brick wall. I assumed it was an immovable object, not an unstoppable force. But the Canadians assure me it's, it's both. both. Yeah, Can yeah, Canadians assure me it's both. Yeah. So that's, that's interesting. So, <laughs> it's all going to be fun. Everything's going to be a-okay. And, uh, yes, I'm thinking, do, do we want to do a vote? Do you think we should do a vote... Do you think there should unless, be a vote for which civilization? Pitch all the civilization and then librarian Seth gets to pick. <laughs> <laughs> is this is, oh, is this entire channel now just a librarian Seth five five seven two fan fan account? We now we now yeah, just we now, we now just do whatever Seth tells us to do. Because he's a mad lad. Exactly. Did you not read the comments on that I did, video? I did appreciate the huge amount of the mad lad. He actually did it. That was actually quite delightful. No, there's not. it's not going to be five hours of restarts. That's what I do in my spare time. I'm going to limit myself to a finite number of restarts. Okay? I'm going to limit myself to a finite number of, 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 of restarts. You Canada. Play as Canada. I'm not desperately keen on Canada, to be honest, as, as a sieve. Like, I'd like to... Recently, I've been playing a lot of Tokugawa Japan, which is a ri which is the really fun. It trades with itself, Civ, where the domestic trade routes are ludicrous, and that's so good. <laughs> uh, I'm also I love Portugal. Like I love Mali, but I've played Mali. I've done like a full series of Mali, so we're not going to do Mali. We're not going to we're not going to do we're not going to do Mali. Um, new Cleopatra. That's old Cleopatra who's on screen right now. We're looking for we're looking at new Cleopatra. I'm just gonna just in case you've never you've not seen they, this was 
Why did I just click resume game? That this is this is the game I was playing last night. I need to come out of that one. Hang on. It's gonna take ten million. It's gonna take a million years to load as well. It's gonna kill the audio, so you don't have to listen to Sean Bean. Though I do enjoy, by the way, how Sean Bean literally you could tell that he had a sore throat when they got him back in the office to do the DLC because it puts the 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 bits he read out like originally next to the bits they got him back in the studio for oh, several no. years later, and it it sounds different, which is great. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, there's the new Cleopatra who's all about um, appeal. She's like the appeal game. Um, and then I've also been playing a little bit of America, like the, the very original America, where which is also an appeal game. So, it's like, America is, um, this is the uh, the Teddy Roosevelt, uh, where you get bonus science and culture from the high appeal tiles. So, like, yeah, I'm kind of thinking, like, those those four options. I've actually done an Eleanor, Eleanor of Aquitaine for a loyalty game. The weird thing is, Tokugawa is amazing for loyalty because he can use the domestic trade routes to get the population so fast. Like, this is this is what made Tokugawa really click for me and what may make him what I think is like possibly my favourite of all the sips, which is you can just use internal trade routes to just buff city growth so high, you can just outpower everyone in population term, and then you can use that for loyalty pressure. And like, I just, I took over like half the continent I was on just because Golden Age into Golden Age into Golden Age. Just, I just kept absorbing more of Sweden, more of China. Like there's nothing, and they couldn't do anything to stop me. They were friends with me. They don't mind you absorbing their cities because that was just the city made. So they were like, you know, being my best friends and, and asking for friendship and being allies with me while I was literally eating their empire. It was cocky hilarious. So, okay, back to main menu. Back to main menu. Claire, set up a set up a McJibble. Yeah. Set up, set up a straw poll for this. Let's 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 let the community. Let's let the community handle this. Alright, let's give me a second. N no. Oh. Dear oh dear. Here we go. Back to where we were. So yes, I was thinking as my my the options for this little live stream. Currently, possibly my favourite uh, current. Uh, if you don't recognise some of these, some of them were added by the recent um, the recent leader update and whatnot. So Tokugawa, international trade routes are worse, but domestic trade routes get better and better for every speciality district at the destination, which I find so interesting because it's like you want your trade routes to be going all into one mega city, but that one mega city is also obviously your mega city that's doing your big projects and like producing your wonders logically because those are on a timer. So like you also want trade routes to be coming out of your mega city, going elsewhere, and it's just it's a really cool thing. There's a really cool loyalty game to it. It's trading, but it's in terms trading i kind of love it uh there is new cleopatra is she listed as cleopatra or ptolemaic Cle there we go so, so, so it was cleopatra was already there then they made a sexier she came back oh, as yeah. sexier i like I, I think this is this is a matter of personal opinion some people prefer original cleopatra i think ptolemaic cleopatra is sexier she's kind of you know hot to go a hot to goth go, uh, mommy girlfriend yeah um uh, so, we, we know that does it for you John. so that's that's gonna so her thing is yes resources long flood plains receive food and culture own flood plains uh give you uh yeah bonus to appeal instead of the usual minus one so she's got a really high appeal empire which means you can use preserves uh that gain huge amounts of you know so she can play a good culture game she plays a good faith game the sphinx also boosts appeal so she's got so many tools to boost appeal so it's a really good it's a really fun empire planning uh one right there then there is another relatively recent newcomer portugal uh who's another who's a tr this is more on the trade side again but this time international trader so yeah he basically has to trade from sea bound cities to other people who are also by the sea which can be hilarious at the start of the game because like you don't have anyone to trade with until you find them but like once he gets going the now is stupid and it's so fun trying to find city states that you can like you know get like five or six fatorias around that he's hilarious he's he's absolutely cocky hilarious i kind of love portugal brilliant classic and naval trading game and finally back to something that was in the game literally from uh the very start bull moose teddy roosevelt another appeal game so breathtaking uh, tiles adjacent to either natural wonders or mountains uh, get bonus signs breathtaking tiles adjacent to wonders or woods uh, gain culture all cities uh, in the, all tiles in a city with a national park are plus one. So you really want to be rushing to those national parks if you can. And then obviously Eiffel Tower, absolutely essential. Rush to steal, get the Eiffel Tower. Uh, yeah, 
absolutely crazy. So you really, they're, they're all really strong sibs to my mind. I love all of them. So are those all set up? All right, Claire, begin spamming the chat with uh, the McJibbles. So let's vote on that. Uh, I, I love all of these. The game I was playing most recently was uh, Tokugawa, uh, which is just, yeah, like, uh, the road to click for me was when I was, wait, this isn't just a trade game. This isn't just about using the trade routes for science and uh, culture. It's about using them for growth and outgrowing your opponents and just having ridiculous populations, and it becomes a loyalty game. So... Yeah, it's, 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 all, all of them are kind of lovely. And all of them have I, I've won Deity Games as Japan and America, just with America. Japan, I did, it was more comfortable, though Babylon gave me a rush. Cleopatra, I've only played with a little bit. I, I've played one game and not to the end, but it was going pretty well. Uh, Portugal, I don't think... I think I played through to the end. I've played some games through that have gone very well. They're all very strong sims. So we're going to be playing on deity. We're going to play the max difficulty. I, I've won like I've won deity games with like four or five different sims at this point. So let's see what we've got kind of coming in. We'll give you a little bit of time for that. Claire, while some votes come in, how's everything going on your side? Uh, yeah, everything's going good. Uh, people are very very excited in chat to have uh, a library in Seth and to see some more Civ Six. Mm hmm. Uh, ooh, we are, it is close between, uh, new Cleopatra and Japan right They're now. They're both really interesting sips. They both got mm. really interesting games going. Cleopatra is a re, like, they're both also planning sips, which is interesting. Which is, obviously, Japan, because though I'm talking about internal trade routes, they still gain the Japanese benefit that you gain major adjacencies for all of your districts being next together. So, like, planning district layouts is kind of important. And for Cleopatra, obviously, mm -hmm. you're planning, you, you need to get those appeals set up so you've got the right spots for the preserves. So putting your cities down in just the right spot so the preserve can pop at exactly the right spot is really exciting too. Uh, yeah, various people are saying they keep hearing uh, new Cleopatra. Nuclear. Oh, nuclear Patra, not nuclear Patra. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people are upset that we're not immediately choosing America because it's Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Good old Tezzy, Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, or indeed, uh, yes. Teddy, because our Teddy Ted. Bull Moose and then our Far Ted our as well. Ted. Yeah, the, the, they're, all, they're all incredible. They're all really strong saves. They're all very, very strong uh, saves. But yeah, Tokugawa's been pl playing recently. Just like the electronics factory's a bit of a a damp squib. That's it's a weird nothing built in the electronics factory. Like by the time it comes online, plus four culture is nothing. But yeah, Meiji restoration is spectacular. Um, and Bakuhan is just a really interesting ability. Like, when I first tried to play it, I was assuming because, you know, every district gained loyalty, sorry, gained tourism after flight, it was a culture game. It's what, 100% not. It's an economic, it's an economic game. It's a pure economic game. The amount of gold you can get is stupid, and it's a growth game. It's, it's using internal trade routes. It's, it's a growth game. Tokugawa is a growth game. It's all about the internal domestic food you rush communism you you get it's just for the the um uh collectivism the collectivization uh card is spectacularly good so yes we'll let uh, let a few more votes come in clap yeah it's still very very close i mean we'll it's... We'll, co we'll call it in in in, in, a, in a couple of in a few minutes yeah, time. 75 to 72 for the for the two uh lead right now yeah so you know um, there's all, all to play for, so the, uh, the link is definitely in chat for you all if right. you want to participate. And uh, otherwise, uh, shout out to the book 778 who's been a member for 10 months uh, and says, big update about uh, Simba the cat. He's got a little sister. My mum got a 15-week-old kitten last Friday. Crucially, do we have a photo well, apparently, uh, apparently Twitter is messing up. So uh, the book seven seven eight. I'm sure we will later. later. I'm yeah, sure yeah, we yeah, will yeah. see Simba and Simba's little sister together at some point. Yeah, and tell us the name. Yeah. Uh, Jake's been a member for forty three months uh, and says uh, it's apparently been forty three months, and also apparently it's Thursday. The rain is very. I have tea and cake, which can be shared, and you are all fab and good. 
There is there has been a lot, lot of red. Yeah, I'm I'm, spe- I'm very speckled with mud. I'm literally wearing All my speckled with mud. So speckled with mud. Because Ted goes out twice a day. We don't. We never cancel Ted's walks because of weather. So we just take him st- st- stomping through the mud okay. and rain he, or shine. Rain or shine. He gets two walks a day. So stomping through the mud. Uh, Ted Ted loves Ted Ted likes his little walks. But sometimes if it's raining too hard, he only wants a little walk. But he still likes going on one. Yeah, he does still. Um... He doesn't really understand that, like, the rain that he can hear and see out the window will actually fall on his head when we go out. Yeah, it always So he whines him. for a walk, and then as soon as we, like, step outside and it's raining, mm-hmm. he looks at you like, why would you do this to me? Yeah. I don't think he would wear tiny rain <laughs> boots, but we have considered them. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, let's see. Um, Simba's little sister's name is Star, and she is uh, a little menace, very full of energy and nice. curious. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, shout out to Wobble, who gave us two pounds and says uh, day 1369 of requesting KOTOR 2. Oh, no, I check. All right, we go and check these things. There's there's a full proper where we, we you, you could go and look through. Like, you could literally go through and check and see the 1,230 previous requests. All right, from Seth. All right, that, that was actually legit. You can't skip ahead. I will be checking if anyone tries to manipulate this new system. Um, I mean, I I think one of your favorite comments that came on that video was someone who was like, day one of requesting, oh, you know what? I can't, that's I'm not, too much. I'm not strong enough. No, like, no one will ever match the, like, you know, doc, the doctor punching the wall of diamonds moment of librarian yeah. Seth getting Zoo Tycoon. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, let's see. Do you want to do... Do you want to... Yep, call yeah. it. We've had a few minutes. What is what is the final result? The final result is we are playing Japan with 96 votes versus a new Cleopatra. Oh, no. Someone just voted for it. Too. Run off. It's run off time. It's it's either Japan or it's Cleopatra. All We're right, going to create a, a new runoff. poll for I'm the runoff. I'm going to do a new poll. As it's, definitely not, it's definitely not America. It's definitely not America. It's definitely not Portugal. Uh, and I'm not putting Marley in because as, as much as I love Marley, it's like, also, there were some weird ones at the end of the leader pass. What the hell was going on with Elizabeth the first? Why? Why? What's the point? Oh, in your, your trade route capacity, uh, you get two two bonus trade routes after your first Great Admiral. Okay. And plus three gold for every special district, um, but only in the event it's going to a city-state. Right, so you're just the existing trade sieves, but much worse. <laughs> That's so pathetic. What? Especially when, like, we already got in the same update, the leaders of England. We got, uh, Flippily Floor. Uh, yes, Age of Steam Victoria, who gets flipping 10% production in cities for every industrial zone building and plus two production for all strategic resources. Like, oh, I'm sorry. That, that's that's insane. That's so good. How on... Elizabeth I is very bad. I don't know why she's so bad. She's kind of bad. So, okay. It's now... Uh, the new poll has now just gone out. It's Cleopatra versus Japan. So, yes, we have got uh, Cleopatra, where we'll be basically doing a great big appeal game, preserves, trying to make that all work. Or we'll be going for Japan and a trade game where we will be rushing communism, basically. Yeah, those are your options. It's it's rushing communism or it's setting up a nice garden with the goth mommy girlfriend. I mean, both of those sound really fun. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> There we go. So it's 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 either it's either rough, Russian communism, Russian communism, or it's uh, or it's trying to build an or trying to set up a really nice garden. Yeah, I I if there are any gardeners in chat, it's January. I feel rushing a nice garden. Mm-hmm. It's too early, but uh, I want to do it. We we have so Let's many English see. rulers just because there was literally the the rulers of England was one of the leaders passes that came out right at the end of Civ Six's Sixes yeah, Civ Six's life. So we literally just got three new rulers for England, including mysteriously Harold Hardrada, who never ruled England. He 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 lost in ten sixty six. He was never king, but 
sure, why not? Ranjin <laughs> Harold, sure. Dreams of quiet calamity wants to know is it too much to ask for a goth commie girlfriend instead of goth mummy girlfriend? Would you ever take Cleopatra to communism? I mean, it's it's a strong it is a strong government type in Civ Six. I just don't know whether you'd go for it ahead of democracy for Cleopatra. So I think it's I think you'd take her to democracy, I think. But Tokugawa is communism all the way. And then maybe into optimization imperative, like uh, right at the end. Like it's interesting because Tokugawa, you could the the end game government could be several because there's one that gives you bonus. Maybe culture. we just play Cleopatra and try to rush communism with her. <laughs> I think that's what the people want. It's looking like it's looking fairly it's looking fairly much towards Cleopatra, isn't it? Yeah. All right, yeah, let's try yeah, Cleopatra yeah. game. I've played a little bit of Cleopatra before, not as much as Tokugawa. It's a, it's a complicated game, arguably. All right, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. So up to Cleopatra. Ptolemaic yeah, there are now, uh, there are now like about, yeah, there are now 18 votes in it, uh, 18 votes difference yeah. uh, compared to just, you know. It was close before, mm. but now it's looking, yeah. yeah. So, okay, Ptolemaic Cleopatra, what we're going to do is, normally I go for epic, uh, epic speed, but we could go for, you know, I, I like epic speed. It's not that, it's, it's very similar to it, it's just a little bit more reasonable. We're going to go for a huge map, obviously. I tend to go for continents and islands. I think that's absolutely fine. Beyond that, I don't really want to change anything much. You know, default city states, default disaster intensity. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Where I've got all the expansions on. We're going to be playing on dead difficulty from the ancient era. This is how I typically would play. Um, the modes I'll be turning on is I'll put on barbarian clans. I will leave off Apocalypse. I'll leave off Dramatic Ages. I'll put on a Heroes and Legends. That can be kind of fun. I'll put on a... Monopolies and Corporations really doesn't do much, to be honest, because, like, the AI never builds corporations. And if I ever do build corporations, I very rarely bother producing goods from them. Secret Societies, I do like. Secret Societies is fun. That one's fun. Uh, we could... I'll leave off Tech Shuffle and Zombie Defense. And, yeah, we'll have all types of victory on... Uh, just, I, I always clear out the game seat. Uh, I don't know why, but I just do. I just feel like it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start the game. And then I'm going to allow myself, ooh, five. Five starts. I'm allowing myself five starts. That's, that's what we're doing. Okay. And yes, just as a reminder. So arrival of happy resources along floodplains get plus one food and plus one culture. So along floodplains, along rivers, she's very, very strong indeed. And floodplains grant plus one appeal to adjacent tiles instead of the usual minus one. And she also, as she's part of Egypt, of course, yes, gains a bonus production towards districts if placed next to a river. Doesn't receive damage from floods. Uh, the chariot archer is fine but like honestly not much a big deal one way or the other and the sphinx a build ability to connect the sphinx unique to egypt i can't remember is that available from like literally the start of the game i can't remember if it is or not uh but yeah plus one faith plus one culture and plus two appeal which is very important because when you start putting together you know floodplains are causing bonus appeal and also on top of that, like, you know, you've got Sphinxes to boost appeal as well. And then you've got the Preserve, the district that, you know, gives you resources based on the appeal around it. All of a sudden, things start getting a little bit silly at that point. So, um, yeah, additional culture once natural history, yeah, once natural history is discovered. Uh, tourism after researching flights can't be built next to another Sphinx, can't be built on uh, snow or snow hills. So, yeah, we'll be building a lot of Sphinxes. Uh, so, yeah, this it's a... It's a very complex game, Cleopatra. We'll see if my brain is up to it. Then again, uh, Tokugawa is fairly complicated too. So. Um, also, so yes, five restarts. So you have six goes. Okay, four restarts for five goes. Five goes, okay. Yeah, five goes, okay. So we're going to make, make that happen right there. We'll just, uh, I know I've got the, the game muted, by, or rather I've got the, the stream muted uh, for the game at the moment, just because otherwise Sean Bean will be loudly talking in the background. So we'll get that uh, kicking off. There she is. There she is. There's there, there, there's, our, there's our hot mommy girlfriend. Uh, lovely goth, goth mummy, hot goth. Various words. Various words together right there. Uh, right, Claire. All yours while we're waiting for the game to load up. It'll take about 25 seconds. Given I, I, I always like playing on a very, very big map. 
Yes, indeed. Uh, and let's see. I shout out to Rosie, who's been a member for 29 months, uh, and to Christopher, who's been a member for 46 months, and says, hey, John and Claire, I've been re-watching your Crew 2 mud trip with Dan and Matt. Love your chemistry together. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I want you to know, by the way, that was supposed to be originally a one oh, done in one video, and then it became a series because we didn't realize how big the game was. So, okay, what we're looking for, let's begin the game here, is we're looking for, obviously, a giant pile of floodplain. She's got a really strong floodplain bias, so that's absolutely fine. So we've got some right here. So you can tell them they're basically the speckled demic jibbles. Speckled demic jibbles right here. So that's okay. That's okay right there. Um, the thing is, yeah, you've kind of got to figure out how many, and then as a result of that, that feeds through into, actually, it doesn't feed through into appeal just yet, for the simple reason that that only counts within my territory. So right now, yeah, floodplain territory. If you you mean at... appeal as in, like, people will come to your territory? It, oh, well, how, how nice it is. Appeal is a general measure of niceness. It means different things for different civilizations. I've got to be honest. Yeah. When you kept saying it was a high appeal game earlier... I thought you meant that she was going to be, like, rule-lawyering every decision and say, OBJECTION! I APPEAL! Dear, oh, flipping dear. <laughs> now, the problem is we also have Tundra here. This is... Uh... That's actually a pretty good start. I'm just going to move uh, my warrior Nate. down here to see how much more we've got. The problem is we might not have that much more floodplain. We do have Tundra. We do have Tundra. <sighs> Yeah. And the problem is that means there's going to be no floodplains in this direction. Mm. And where the floodplains don't last that long in this direction. And you have mountains, I don't know. Uh, Mountains are good. Mountains are actually what you want to see. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, cool, cool. You want mountains because that's good district appeal. Mm. That's that's absolutely fine. We do have, uh, you know, a hand... <laughs> so we've got a good selection of luxury. We've got a good selection of, like, you know, uh, luxury goods uh, around here, which is kind of okay. We do have. Hang on. If I was to, in theory, why would I put down a preserve in this sort of uh, in this sort of territory? Kind of like be on top of the mountain. We'd have the. Yeah. We've got we've got some two two tiles. Illyria says, "Why are you still looking at this one? Tundra is auto restart." I mean, I kind of I think that's got to be true. Well, you know what? I'm going to. I will let myself play a few turns of this. Like I'm thinking, there's a, there's a good two two. Right here, there's a variety of... Are those floodplains under the thing? Yeah, those are floodplains under the thing, which is kind of okay. So, at the bare minimum, what we'll do is I'll move it to this side. I'll move her up onto the hill. Because I kind of noticed there's another river over here. Mm. If this river's interesting or better... So, I'm going to move... I'm going to settle on a hill. Uh, and then you'll see what that does to my empire in just a second. So, this will be a good demonstration, if nothing else. So, we found the city right here. We found it on a river. That's absolutely fine. So, what's now happening instead is appeal, which was bad, is now good in this territory. So, these floodplains yeah, are... Yeah, average. Yeah, that's now uh, what the game calls charming and breathtaking. It's, it's out of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible, yeah, not that. so great, okay, charming and breathtaking. And obviously what Cleopatra wants is absolutely spectacularly beautiful uh, tiles. That's what she's... Because uh, we can use those for various reasons. So I'm just going to... I'm going to wander down here. There's... Ah! A, there's... Cocking a cad is probably squatting on more... That's not ideal. Where do you start? I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm just going to look what's going on at the other. So, could, sorry. We could I'm also just... go... For, theoretically, if we happen uh, to find a natural wonder... Uh, it's not the most ridiculous thing to think we could go for a religion. It's, religion is possible even on deity. Go for like a scout. Uh, if I was looking to... If I was looking for... What governor is the priority? Initiation's never going to hurt. Like recently I've started very often going straight to Magnus and just going to provision as early as possible. But like I, I don't hate Reyna either. This is, but like, yeah, this is, if nothing else, this is a good damage, but this is, yeah, with a cad right there down the river, this is, this is not right. No, but like, bare minimum, you can see vaguely what's going on here. Tiles are nice, and obviously one of the important things will be going towards extraordinarily early, and one of the good things is, in fact, arguably one of the earliest districts in the game is the preserve. Grants housing based on appeal, okay? And it generates buildings where the better the appeal of the surrounding tiles, the more faith, the more culture, the more food it produces, 
you know, goth mommy Cleopatra can be a really, really high, can be a really high population game if it works. So, but this is, this is not right. This is clearly not right. Tundra. Religion is possible on deity. It's very difficult. You kind of basically have to do, you have to be beelining it. You have to find a natural wonder, get two holy sites down, do holy site prayers. Like, Marley can do it reliably. I can reliably get religion on deity as Marley because you get that faith. So you get the first pantheon. Which is very, very useful. So, okay. That was number one. That was that was a no-go. That was a no-go. What I really want to see is I want to see, like, a I want to see loads of rivers. I want to see multiple rivers are all with floodplains on them. Like, the problem is, yeah, Cleopatra, it's not even necessarily about... Floodplains are good, but it's the real, the real key is appeal. Because sphinxes are appeal. I can generate appeal. So, average tiles can be made into amazing tiles. Like, two sphinxes can basically take average appeal territory and make it into a beautiful preserve so that's that's interesting and okay this is this is intriguing this is intriguing right here we've got a lot of floodplain going in this direction we've got some good 2-2 two -two tiles we've got loads of 2-2 two -two tiles dotted about here there's a good 2-2 two -two tile to start off with if i i could settle on cotton because if you don't know if you settle on a luxury resource then you just have that luxury resource that's just grassland so i would have a free i'd have a free um luxury i've got a 2-2 two -two from stone which can be improved to quarry pretty early i've got a 2-2 two -two here there's bananas up here but, like, you know, preserves are not great. But a 3-2 tile that can also generate 2 gold is kind of solid. Uh, that's interesting. And, yeah, we've got two. We've got the river splitting in two. Let's just look in at the river. You can tell which way the river's flowing based on... Right, the river's flowing in this direction. So the sea is over here somewhere. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm willing to at least play this one out a little bit. So I'm just going to... I'm going to cross the river... And we're going to walk this guy up the... Actually, this river this river stops here. Uh, but that's fine. I'm just going to walk up the river here. And... Oh, that's a lot of floodplain. Woohoo! Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. This this could be promising. This, this could be promising. There's, there's some mountains nearby too. Yeah, we'll settle here. So because I'm settling on the luxury resource, it doesn't get destroyed... Uh, instead, this is a... I always get this bug, by the way. It's really weird. So this is, yeah, a two food, one production, three gold uh, city that straight away has got an extra amenity from the luxury resource because you don't need the technology to harvest it, uh, which is kind of good. So we've got, like, a lot of floodplain. And uh, Jerusalem's over here, but Jerusalem's not really eating my floodplain territory. And also, Jerusalem just got me a free, uh, a free envoy. Which is very interesting because I'm the first people to meet at Jerusalem. So Jerusalem is, hang about, that is, cities with holy sites exert pressure as if they were holy cities. So four times religious pressure on all cities within ten tiles. Well, bare minimum, I've got a free faith coming in. So that increases my chance of getting a good pantheon. Uh, let's just have a look around here. The downside we've got, however, is, yeah, there's a lot of rainforest. Rainforest is bad for appeal. But, we, but there's, there's actually some woods around too. There's a potential woods around too. Like, in theory, uh, buh, buh, buh. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll play this out a little bit. We'll play this out a little bit. We'll see how this all uh, rocks up. Uh, straight away, is there anything? I could just take some mining. Then again, I always think, oh, I've got this resource, so I should rush to it. Yeah, but Johnny, you ever, how long is it going to be till you get a builder? Unless you get lucky, it's going to be a while. Uh, I will take us, I will start moving towards astrology. Like, I, I've, I wouldn't mind a religion interesting that that's free faith that's not bad get a scout out because we really need to figure out what's going on in case we want to re-roll this uh go an appointment owls of minerva because we found a city state straight away so i could have as soon as i get my first culture mcjibbly in i could have two economic policies so i could have god king and the plus one production at the same time which is not bad but I do enjoy, I do, oh, Magnus is good too. Magnus is really good. I like Magnus. Magnus is great. I'll take Magnus. I'm going to take Magnus. We're going to put Magnus straight away. I just like rushing Magnus really early because you can just get free settlers with him or as in not eating population. So yeah, we'll, we'll work from there. We'll work from there. We'll see. I mean, a little city state nearby, you know, that's nice. That's just, you know, a little bit of extra bonus defense, uh, which is 
fine. Just kind of mosey around, see what's in the immediate surrounding area. Keep time ticking along for the time being. This is this is interesting. I mean, mines are better than quarries, absolutely. Quarries aren't terrible. I mean, if it, I could just harvest the stone pretty pretty soon. Uh, mosey up to here, see what else we've got. If we can find some more floodplains, that'll be great. We're gonna get a scout. Actually, which what tile are you guys working, by the way? You better be working the you better be working the two two. Like surely you're working the two two. Okay, we've got a relatively early barbarian. That's kind of irritating because now I kind of need to bring my warrior back. Uh, kind of annoying that I've been found by a barbarian scout. He's gonna go and he's gonna go tell his friends. And I'm not going to have a uh, plus five. Okay, this could be bad on deity, actually. I've been found by... I've been found by barbarians very early. And my warrior went... So he's going to make it back to his barbarian camp. So this is, this is going to be interesting. I feel like... I'm deeply worried that in about ten turns, we're going to be swarmed by barbarians. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Like, that, that, could, that theoretically could just become the end um because depending on how nasty the barbarian yeah but if you lose is, you get a free restart that's true you know that is true so okay we're looking at yeah three turns till scout don't check what which tell you were working by the way what tell you guys working you guys you work in the stone the stone is fine that's a two 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 twos are perfectly reasonable start right there work around the corner there is no more flood plane here the barbarians could just be my doom here. <laughs> like, on deity, I do not have time to get... If they decide... If the, if the game decides, hey, it's going to be two cavalry and two horse archers, which it can just do, then they'll just come and mess me up. Like, they technically can't kill your capital, but they can seriously, like, disrupt the game so badly. I thought I saw the outskirts of maybe a natural wonder over there. I also don't know where the... Where the cooking... There he is! Right, um... So we've got we've got a really long river valley here, but it's it's all jungle. The downside it's all jungle. So I need to, I need to chop down all this jungle, which is kind of an incentive to chop. And the problem is I can't attack these guys just yet. I, mean, I would actually lose. So what I need to do is I need to just basically go and find something else. Just send my scout out. Um, <laughs> Thank you, everyone who said bless you in chat. You're so sweet. <laughs> Uh, obviously I can't settle her yet, so I'm just- I'm just gonna get a couple of turns of Slinger, but when I hit two population, I am going to go into Settler first. Um, with only- with only gaining plus one faith, uh, I'm not going to- Oh, here they- here it comes! Here they come! Okay, I need to- am I on a hill right now? I am on Grassland Hills. I'm just going to fortify on the hill. And it's not- it's not cavalry, which- there's a lot of mountains around here. Mountains, I think, are good for appeal. This this could be interesting. Like I might I might be tempted to say tear down this grass. This could be my first preserve over here. And like if I tear down if I tear down some of the rainforest, like I suspect, yeah, we need to chop down rainforest. Uh chopping down rainforest requires is that bronze working? Yeah, chopping of rainforest is bronze working. Uh, and of course you need to build it to actually do the chop. Mm. Uh, I'm still 14 turns away from plus 5 against barbarians. This is, this is not what I wanted to see. But if they start coming in this direction, Jerusalem might come and assist. Oh, this, okay, it's, it's three, three barbarian ones. It's not horses. That's, that's good. And I'm going to, I'm going to gain experience and I'm fortified on a hill. So that's good. I mean, I might, I might get a level up out of this. So this is, this is fine. I was really hoping for a level up there. I'm going to fall back to, that's also hills, because I don't want to be attacked by three at the same time. But I can kind of, I can, I can hang back here for quite a while. And there's, there's a load of mountains here. This is kind of cool looking. Right, switch straight over to Settler. The only way this is going to work is if I get a second city out. Because on Deity, all my opponents have got three already. That's a fourth warrior that just spawned. We've got some good, we do indeed have some really nice things here. I need to... Uh, keep falling back and just keep distracting them. Oh. Keep distracting them. This is this is all fine. You guys better be working the two twos, right? Yeah, they're working the two twos. Yeah, everyone in chat is quite amused that you're you're hoping that Jerusalem will be the one helping out the Egyptians because historically that worked out so well. If the thing is that they're, they're irritatingly they're not moving their troops in that direction, yeah. but as the warriors start coming down to me, if they see them, they might come and assist. Yeah. yeah so yeah, this yeah. is this is a dead end, but it's a really lovely dead end actually. 
Like, and, like, look at you, because yeah. mountains give appeal. Mountains give appeal. That's why you want mountains. And some of them are, or, like, a lot of that is already breathtaking without doing anything. The breathtaking is mostly the mountains themselves, which I can't do anything with. You, you're not yeah, allowed to work mountains. But, but like, they're still nice. They're but still stuff nice. is starting on charming rather than the floodplains that you yeah. need, which if are I tear down the If I tear down the rainforest, mm. then it's kind of okay. I'm kind of just hoping I get a promotion, because every time these guys attack me, I am gaining experience. So I just need to, uh, but I'm not, ah, uh, it's not really, I was hoping I might have leveled up by now, but I've not. But bare minimum, I'm drawing them away temporarily. That's a dead end. So that, that's, that's an interesting, uh, there's no water down here, but I feel like I'd be willing to accept. it's very nicely fortified. I'm, I'd be willing to accept, like, maybe a city without water because you can just aqueduct off the mountains, like, later in the game. So, like, in the mid-game, mm. I could definitely expand there. This is not as, oh, hang on, who's that nearby? Oh, that better not be. Fuck, it's, it's Lautaro. I hate, th this guy's generally a dick. But, like, he might help me. He might help me. He's, he's all the way up there. He's on, he's on floodplains. Fuck you, those are mine. My knowledge of writing is, has got better, at least. Right, just fall back. Please help me with these barbarians. Please, this is this is not this is not a good start. This is this isn't a good start. I mean, at bare minimum, he's going to draw some attention away from me. Jerusalem's coming in. Jerusalem for the win. Yes, Jerusalem. Okay, uh, Jerusalem sending in their troops to back me up. All we need to do is 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 destroy this first wave. Oh, there's they're the... coming for your city, though. Yeah, but Jerusalem's going to come and assist. It's going to yeah. be that's fine. And they can't. There's nothing for them to burn down because I've not built anything yet. Yeah, it's true. So there's there's not much they can do yet. Um, I'm just going to keep falling back in this direction into like defensive forest and try and just like maybe do a tiny bit of healing if I can. But yeah, Jerusalem's now coming in to assist, which is great. Uh, I think if I was to fortify, if that's a hill, I could survive. That's Plains Woods, it's not a hill. But you're on your own. I'm just going to fortify until healed, and I'm going to hope the next hit gets me the level up. Everything's fu- Claire, this isn't going well. Mm -hmm. This isn't going well, uh, as it turns out. But, um... Yeah, right now because we've not expanded onto we've not we need to expand further down. Once we start expanding further down the floodplain, it's all going to be fine. Oh, did you just get No, you don't get attacked. Please level up, level up, level up, level up. You've got so much experience. Yes, promotion available. That's going to be good. Um I need to basically move and then I think if I move once I can still I've never understood the cooking rules for when you can and can't promote. But I think if I just... But sometimes you can move and promote and sometimes you can't. Is it because I move for a zone of control? I do not understand the rules for that. Everything's fine. You just keep going in this direction and try and find yet more mountains. We're, we're, at least we're moving in the right... I can't lose this warrior. I'm hoping they, they start coming south and Jerusalem assists. Jerusalem's going to assist. I mean, bare minimum with... Jerusalem coming in with the assist! Thank you, Jerusalem! <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, this is fine. They're not pursuing. Why can I not promote? I do not understand. Sometimes you just can't promote. And I don't understand why. If you press cancel, you can promote? Press cancel? What cancel? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, it's not available as an option. I don't understand why. Like... Promotion takes a move. But I've not moved. This This guy's got both his moves at this point. But he can't do his mm. thing. And I don't understand why. Right, keep going. Oh, good! It's more barbarians. But these ones, these ones haven't come over to me yet. So that's that's fine. Um, this is this this is a problem. You don't need to be in a city to promote because I had the option to promote when I first got promoted. This is the circle with the slash. Cancel. Oh, interesting. Right. So yes, bonus seven strength, and I get a free fifty heal. So now I can start ripping some barbarians apart. Uh, thank you, uh, Gabriel and Maxard and Philip for that. Okay, they're coming in at this point. Their sling is all the way over there. Uh, the problem is if I hang out, I'm going to move to the far side of the river because if I attack their scout, then uh, their sling is going to get a free hit on me, which is a problem. Uh, Jerusalem sending in more reinforcements. And they're AI, not me. So I think they get the... Oh, is that England? Is that England's colour? No, it's Canada! Canada's fine! Canada's chill. Canada's literally the only city that literally cannot declare war on you. 
uh, at least without warning first, and hopefully they'll they'll assist. I mean, the thing is, you say Canada's chill, but Canada's also heard what you said about the moose. Canada's totally chill, Can- and they're they're not chill. They're not chill about that, eh? Canada's is so chill, it's fine. So these guys are going to attack my city, but they're going to be slaughtered. Uh, so that's fine. That's you, basically almost dead. Um, you're moving over to here. Thanks to the river, it's really difficult to put this city under siege. So that's fine. I'm just going to move over back to... I'm just going to move over towards here and move back towards my own territory. Uh, we're just going to have to try and sneak out. I'm not seeing any other... Oh, here again, we found, a... we found another river. We found another river. Is that a... That's a floodplain! That's what we needed. Okay. We're going to be expanding down in this direction. Absolutely. It's a little bit far away, but it's, it's, it's at least, it's at least floodplain. It's at least, it's at least a floodplain. Uh, Candace sending in their scout to assist. They might keep this slinger busy. Obviously, they've got two slingers. Because this is... Okay, they're about to finish off Jerusalem's first. But hopefully, that's just pissed off Jerusalem. And Jerusalem will be like, We're coming for revenge now! It's going to be fine. Right, so now I can get back in my own friendly territory. Code of Laws! Good! Plus five strength when fighting barbarians. Excellent. And you know what? As I've got faith coming in, I'm going to take God King, not Urban Planning. So I'm going to see if maybe I can, if I can get a decent pantheon, maybe that's my salvation. That could be my salvation. And that feels appropriate for Egypt too. Yeah. So let's just see what I've got. Ah, uh, it's, uh, you know what, there's quite a good amount of floodplain time. It's a bit of a long way away. My, my guy's going to have to, my cell's going to have to walk a long way to get here. But it's, it's not, it's not awful. Craftsmanship, that's how you get sphinxes. Right, ignore fallen, tr fallen, tr uh, yeah, foreign trade. Don't need to worry about that yet. Let's get that in play. Okay. Jake says just shout best dollars at the Canadians until you get an alliance. <laughs> All we need to do is... Okay, you're now at the far side of the river, which is going to make defending against you a little bit hard. But, like, it's going to be very difficult. But the plus side, that's going to make it very difficult for you to counterattack. These guys are all very weak, and my guy is now very strong. So we're just going to move to here. And then we could just straight up move over... The Actually, we're I'm just going to poke their slinger. Even though I'm crossing a river, now I've got plus seven strength of promotion and plus five strength of that. We're actually doing okay. So, okay, we've got... There's a bit of desert here, but there's a lot of floodplain. That's a lot... That, that's a sexy floodplain. Okay, that that I can work with. This this is... this is If, if we live long enough... I know we have one city that's surrounded by enemies right now. But this is... Everything's going to be fine. This is... We might have to restart this. Yeah. I don't know. Um... But, like, technically, I'm not doing anything right now I probably wouldn't do anyway. So you're doing a tiny bit. I'm technically, actually, I was under siege, so I wasn't healing. But then they moved their scout away, which was dumb of them. Ah, Philip says, with the marshes and the desert floodplains, go for Lady of Reeds Lady of Reeds and marshes. marshes. Yeah, absolutely. Very sensible. Very, for very sensible indeed. Right, so I've now moved also, across... So that's the... just a cool name. Yeah, it's, it's a good pantheon. I think we're about, uh, yeah, five or so turns away from that. Do I, by any chance... There's the ocean. Okay, so we found the ocean over there. We found an ocean. Right, go back along this river. Just take, scan this out back. It's, it's there. Send to the scout back along the river. I might be able to sneak out this settler to go down over here while we're doing that. Though, to be honest, I could just settle. I might just be tempted. Let's just look at appeal here. Are there any, like, high appeal areas? To be honest, no. The amount of rainforest is just making this pretty damn ugly. Like, I was thinking, oh, I could just put a second city down here. But, like... What am I gaining out of that? Like, is it is that even allowed? Uh, hang on, settler. Yeah, the only one I'd be I'd be allowed to settle here, but like that's like there's no floodplain there. Like you're not playing to, you're not playing to your strengths, and there's a lot of rainforest. I mean, bare minimum, we've taken out the slinger. The other slinger is very badly wounded. This guy is very badly wounded. Like, I think they're going to start struggling to break my city, especially with Jerusalem coming in! Jerusalem for the win. These guys are going to basically wipe out their own strength. We're going to survive. And technically, we've not lost that much because they can't burn anything down because there's nothing for them to burn down. So we're now going to cross the cross the city again to take out this guy. Uh, and, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross to here. And then I'm going to I'm going to fortify until healed. I think these guys now can't do anything functionally. And we're just going to send you in this direction. Uh, we need to take you out in a perfect world. Because uh, otherwise you might... There's, there's scouts everywhere. I'm going to be sending an unescorted settler down south. And if the scouts get it, we may as well just restart at that point. So, I mean, bear in mind, I can also... I, at any point, I could pay these guys to stop attacking me. But I don't want to. At this point now, it's it's a matter of principle that I'm not going to. So, they're now not attacking me anymore. 
I just want one turn of healing uh, before I actually start atta attacking them back. Over to the marsh. Right, so there's no more floodplain. There's a fuck ton of floodplain down here, which is good. Cleopatra can play with that. And desert generally is not bad on the appeal. It's not bad. And there's forests here as well. That's that's interesting. Yeah, there's some there's some good... That we, I think we'd have two cities down here. Random meteor shower. Almost, but doesn't quite hit the barbarians. That's a shame. Right, now... We start clearing up. And I can actually get a... Uh, I can get some benefits out of this. So you go down. There's bronze working uh, there. We can take you out. Then we can heal up and we can go kill these barbarians. Because fuck them. Uh, okay, we, I think we've survived. And we can also start taking out this scout too. There is another scout. I think he went this way. It's three turns. You know what? Turn 28. We're almost at a pantheon. We've almost got our second city out. This is This is okay. That's, that's okay. That's a very, very early meteor. Okay, it's the Kamea. Kamea can be chill, can not be chill. Where are you? You're way over there. Uh, but I suspect you're on the same river. So we'd ideally like to be friends with you. You're looking pretty chill to me. Uh, you guys finished off them. I'm kind of okay with you finishing off them. There's astrology. Right. Fortify until healed, and then we go and kill that base before it kind of sends even more people. Kamea have got, yeah, a warrior over here. Looks to me like there's not much more in this part of the world. We're almost, yeah, we're going to get basically our warrior. Okay, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. what is the most sensible thing for me to do at this point? It's probably, uh, mining goes into bronze working. I'm going to need to chop down some of this, uh, some of this forest, uh, pretty soon. Uh, also, a builder is 300, so yeah, I can, I can buy a builder. Generally, I save my first money, I save up for builder, and because I've settled on the cotton, I've, I've got a lot more money than I typically expect in a Cleopatra game. So that's okay. That's, that's fine. Everything's under control. Then we just follow this river, and it looks like this river starts there, so okay, there's gonna be no more floodplains. So okay, we're gonna be wanting a double floodplain city in this bit of the world. This bit of the world is nice. I kind of feel like I wouldn't mind settling on stone here. Because if I settle... Actually, I could settle I could settle on this side. If I settled... If I settled here... Then again, then I've got more desert. If I settle here on stone, then preserve... Okay, we're going to start... We're going to start pinning. We're going to start pinning here. Like, uh, we're going to start uh, pinning you. Like, if we say sit, city here, and then if we put you into uh, appeal mode, please, then we... Yeah. Then at that point we uh we preserve here. That's that's interesting. So yeah, add tack to here. That's going to be that's going to be preserve uh preserve there. That's going to be a really nice preserve. That's nice. And we can also chop down like uh, a tiny bit of jungle just to make it even nicer. Toss an extra couple of sphinxes. That's good. That's really nice. That's that's a good one. Okay. Check the other side, because we've also got, yeah, an absolutely disgusting tile everybody hates, but that's going to change once she's down there. So if you're here, one, two, three, four, we'll need to be settled somewhere around here. Uh, maybe like, uh, I mean, the problem is I need, if I settle here, I need production. One, two, three, four, I think. One, two, three, four. I, I wouldn't be allowed to settle. I could settle and then take, ugh. The product, there's a real lack of production around here. There's a real lack of production, in fact. We might have to rethink that, just because I need to... I mean, more desert will be good for Petra, that's true. But that's assuming we get Petra... You know, you don't know whether Marley might be in the game. They might get it instead. Just fortify until healed there. We're about to get, I think possibly on the same turn, our Pantheon and our Settler. Meant to be. Also, sorry, I realise I've not given you any music. You've got, got any music. I'm very sorry. This game's got lovely music. You should have some music. So, okay. You, the barbarians of the setting sun. You're the setting sun. You're split rock and you don't know what's going on yet. So, okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to send you over in this direction. We're going to cross the river. We're going to move you down. Everything's going to be fine. Um... We know Khmer's in this direction. We know that river's not going any further. I'm just going to send this guy back up north just to help escort this guy. You're going to stay where you are. It's next turn is going to be that. So, okay, this point, holy site. Uh, we don't have great adjacency for holy site, to be honest. Am I really thinking? Holy shit, Stonehenge. We do have stone. <sighs> oh. That's...
Stonehenge guarantees you a religion because you get the last you get the last profit. Religions are good because religion religions give you free era score. Mm. But going for Stonehenge on deity? Stonehenge is really hard to get. It, it's it's well the other all oh, everyone else. It takes 38 turns. It takes 38 turns. Yeah. Everyone else has got way more production than me. You know what? I don't disagree going coastal on the second city. But if I go coastal on second city, like, what am I working? What? Where's my production? Where's... No. On deity, that's... that's I think that's ridiculous. But holy site's not doing me much good either. I might I might go back to holy site if the pantheon's amazing. But I think instead, I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go straight into second settler. Like, this is... I'm doing, like, a greedy StarCraft 2 opening, all right? We're, we're flipping... It's 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 double hatch, all right? Double hatch first, all right? No Zerglings, no Spine Crawlers. Uh, just, just double hatch straight up, all right? Let's just hope no one Zerg rushes me. More than I already literally have been. <laughs> and that's... Joan, ask yourself, what would Hot Goth Mommy Girlfriend do? You know what? Someone did just raise an interesting point, which is mm. I've got Magnus in play. And I've literally got to chop down a whole bunch of rainforest. I've almost got 300. Fuck it! Let's go! Woo! Deity! Stonehenge! Terrible idea! Terrible idea! Terrible idea! Magnus is down. We've got stone. We we need to chop down this, this stupid rainforest anyway. I've almost got enough for a builder. And we're going to... I can't chop because I don't have bronze working. I'll be able to chop later. I'll be able to chop later. It's fine. This is going to work out. This is this is a well thought through plan. There's no way to boost mining. That can't be done. Um, but we're going to get Settler settler 2 down. <laughs> if I commit to You're this... You're having a good time, honey. I'm having a great time. Oh, good. You need to kill this guy. Major victory, but he's over a river, which is a problem. You need to just be killed. But you can't really get past me particularly easily. You just need to start running and... You can't get my settler, right? You can't because Jerusalem blocked my settler from fleeing over the river. Here's Pantheon. Okay. There is a chance religious settlements hasn't been taken yet. It's not impossible. Religious settlements, religious settlements, religious settlements, religious settlements, religious settlements, religious settlements. No, of course there's no religious settlements. Okay. What we do have is we've got Lady of Reeds and Marshes. That's going to be a difficult one to beat. Plus two production from every marsh, o uh, oasis, and... Actually, it's desert floodplain. Desert floodplain. So these down here, yes... But not regular floodplain, which I hadn't considered. This is regular floodplain. This is floodplain, but it does say desert floodplain. It does not mm. say. Hmm. That that might change things. But is there really going to be anything better? That's the problem. It's probably still the best option. Uh, I mean, the the other nice thing is because we're going for so much appeal. We're going for appeal game. Plus one faith from breathtaking appeal. Interesting. Monument to the Gods would help with Stonehenge, but other than that, I think it's kind of terrible, and I don't really want to. Earth Goddess is a really fun investment. Earth Goddess suits this game, but then it just gets me a giant pile of faith. Obviously, production is more generally useful. Lady of Reeds and Marshes. Which will be useless in this city. It will do nothing. But down here, it will do a lot. Actually, I was just saying, I've got no... Where's my production? Here's my motherfucking production! Lady of Reason Marches go. Right. We've got that. Is anyone even working on, on a religion yet? How's, how's the whole religion situation? No one's working on a religion. One... Kamea is working towards... Okay, Kamea's gonna have a religion down. Uh, this is... This is fine. Everything's under control. Everything's fine. I just need to keep keep attacking this this stick. Please don't. St you you can't. Surely you haven't. You know you you uh, you you don't have a product. You don't have a promotion, so you can't cross two woods. And I think you're gonna try and make it back to. He's gone over there. Okay, he's fleeing. This is fine. Just keep keep healing. You get over here to assist. I think a sandstorm just hit the these barbarians. Possibly Jerusalem's gonna deal with those barbarians for me. This is going fine. <laughs> This is going fine. I have no way of boosting science unless I happen to run into a science 
uh, a science uh, McJibble. I think they did. I think Jerusalem just killed the other barbarians. Good. We just need to stop these guys making it back home. Because if they make it back home, that's going to really fuck me up. Um, okay. Now we've got Lady of Reeds and Marshes. Now we can start making our way through here. What happened to the other? I'm literally... I'm just going to tie you two together. You're going to be escorted now. Oh, now that's so cute. Yes. Uh, Grace in chat says, Our Black Labrador is named Scout. So every time John has the Scout selected, I tell her it's her turn. Oh. I thought you'd like that. Right. There's Jerusalem. Just Jerusalem have been so cooking useful. You just keep healing. But every time I have to attack, it breaks my healing. So it means I'm this, this bastard is healing so slowly. But this stupid Scout keeps coming back here. No. How many times? You die. Die and stay dead. We're going to adopt your cat, by the way. It's going to be it's going to be our cat now. Right. Keep going in this direction. And now we go down over here. So one, two, three, four. If I settle, like, say, over here, so I've I can have a, a harbour. I might just settle here. And then we'll just we'll 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 figure out how to do I mean, there's actually there's some woods here. Selling here. Potential, yeah, there could be some, there could be some good stuff. So now we're moving in the right direction. There's, that's why we sent the scout, because this scout was waiting to ambush me. What a dick. Right, get to here. Heal. Someone just finished Etamananki. This is why this is a stupid idea. This is such a stupid idea. I should be building another settler. And, oh, stop settling towards me. Then again, I don't need this land. I'm settling south, so it's fine. Everything's under control. Um, you... Exit and just kill this guy, which you can do, right? Yes, he's dead. Good. Okay. Get to here. Why would you like me to settle there? I mean, I guess if I settle here, I've got better... Okay, you know what? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. If these guys are producing, yeah, a huge amount of... This could actually be a really interesting spot, potentially for preserve. This could be a potentially interesting preserve. Yeah, that could be a really interesting preserve. Yeah, I'm going to settle here. I'm going to settle here. I uh, can't do it this turn. Uh, everything. I'm never going to. Okay, I'm working towards a religion. I'm building stone engine. Why am I building stone engine? Deity, this is so stupid. You get some of it back. Okay, now this. This is going to be. A oh, ho, ho, ho. Now we're cocky talking. So. Now we're adding, now for once, Cleopatra is doing something. So, resources along floodplains gain food and culture. Own floodplains glance appeal. So, okay, look at this. It's a resource on a floodplain. That's a resource on a floodplain. So, as a result, I'm now, I've just got a, I, I, my culture's going in the right direction. So, why would you, no, work this. Why would you work that? We don't need the gold that much, you useless bastard. Right, okay, and unless I've countered wrong. Yeah, that's an acceptable spot for a settler. So that's acceptable because you can't put cities too close together. Now, this city is going to get the mother flipping job done. Okay, that's going to work way, way better. Um, we're going to go grow. Yeah, seven turns till growth. I know it says 13 there, but that 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 slow, that slow updates slower. Um, we do also have the ability to get out a builder, which I could do now. And you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a builder down. Oh, I need the builder up here. If this plan's gonna work, I need the builder up here. This city is doing just fine by itself. So just make sure this this area is now safe. Just okay. Now we can just keep this scout going in this direction. Don't worry about anything else. Everything's fine. Start building. Start building a builder. We're going to need. We're going to. Need. Build, we'll, Are you building it down there? Yeah, I'm gonna buy a builder up here. I'm gonna build a builder down oh, here. I so see. we're gonna need to, we're gonna need two of them. We're gonna need two. I think this is this it's because nothing else. Sphinx. We need more builders than you would expect in this game. Oh, good. Here comes round two. But you're now finally ready. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, you fucked up. You fucked up coming into my neighborhood, boys. You fucked it this time. Oh yeah. Oh flipping yeah. Now now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that's right. That's flipping right. Okay. Now I just need to find ideally more rivers, more floodplains. Just need no more. This is working fine. Uh, shout out to Molly who says uh, it's only been about thirty-five minutes since the game started, and I feel like John's being super efficient. But also, hole. I've never played on higher difficulty than Prince. Okay, this is fine. We just need to check nothing else is coming. By the way, I'd like to kill you. Uh, this is all absolutely fine. That's just, that was just Etamananki. That was the Etamananki warning. Okay, start going towards, uh, yes, we said bronze working. That's 18 turns off, which is, it's going to arrive at exactly the same. 
<laughs> right, well, fuck this then. Uh, then my, my, my plan down here literally doesn't work. Uh, so in which Wait, case... what plan doesn't work? I can't chop rainforest to gain production to speed up Stonehenge because by the time I've developed the ability to chop rainforest... You will have finished Stonehenge. Exactly. Well, actually, I could chop the... Hang on. Am I allowed to ch remove the quarry? Allows chopping of woods and harvesting of copper, but that's the one thing I don't want to get rid of. So that would be chopping of rainforest. That's harvesting of stone. That's masonry, so I don't have that. I could chop the normal forest next to it, but I want the normal forest because normal forest is, um, that's providing me with appeal. Like, I need the normal forest because we're playing a cocking appeal game. So I can't chop normal forest. Uh, I mean, in theory, are there any other normal forests I could chop? There's this one down here, but I would need to buy the, t no, I need, I need this. Flip's sake. Uh, okay, cool. Cancel that. Holy site. Don't build a holy site. Start working on monument and just buy buy builder. With this city's good. This city's the real city. Like that that city up there. That that city. Don't worry about it. It's fine. But this is this is the real city up here. All right. Now we start moving our scouts in this direction. Thank you, Jerusalem, for sorting out that situation over here. I just need to hope there's not like more coming. But I think I don't think there should be more coming. And now I've got, like, a promotion and this. I should just be able to chase these guys back to their base and destroy them. Uh, but... Ooh, river! Okay, and floodplains! Okay, now... Are they regular or de desert? They're regular, so I don't gain the production, but I still gain the bonus appeal. Nice. So it's, it's kind of okay. And if this fails, I get a fair bit of the production back anyway. So it's fine. You cross the river... And now, my knowledge of irrigation has been boosted. That's now a five... Yeah, five food, two wow. production, one coach tile is good. I will, I will flip has and take that. Has the appeal now changed for that region? The appeal has sort of changed. Oh, uh, wow, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That... You built your city on a disgusting tile and immediately it's, like, breathtaking. Precisely. Like, that's so been now, quick. So now, if I build... I'm thinking preserve here because that's, that's already breathtaking. That's bre that's already breathtaking. Um, so if we preserve here, uh, let's just let's just pin this. You need you need to be using pins when you're playing as Cleopatra. If this is preserved, and the key to preserve is make sure when you're setting up your preserve, you don't accidentally um, destroy the thing that's providing the appeal. Like in the past, many times I have set down a preserve, thinking, "Oh, this area is beautiful," but in doing so, I destroyed the woods under the preserve, and that removed the appeal, making the area useless. Lol. So that's that's a thing that can happen. Um, I mean, actually, uh, this is nice too, but then I'd rather have this be a farm because this is actually, that farm is not on, is that a floodplain? That can't be a floodplain, right? Is that just a normal farm? I think that's just a normal, yeah, that's just a normal farm. So don't worry about that. Um, I'm so tempted just to say fuck. Oh, we can take out this. We can take it. Oh, no, wait, no, we can't. Sorry, I thought we could take out you. Um... I mean, the alternative is that this is kind of nice. This is this is all right. This is all good here. The alternative is putting the preserve here. Then that would be that would be good. That would be good. But there would be a mountain. There's more tiles to work if I do it here. And if I build this, will all this will just be charming. But if I if I tear down this rainforest eventually, which I can just do, I can just tear down this rainforest down the line. Then this will become... Yeah, I think this will be fine. And then what we do is we build maybe one... We could build a Sphinx somewhere. Hang on, what are the rules for Sphinxes? Uh, ba 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 Okay, unlock a bit unique to Egypt. Plus one faith, plus one culture. That's fine. Faith if next... A bonus faith if next to a wonder. Culture if built on a floodplain. So if I build... Yeah, if I put a Sphinx down on this floodplain. Though it's a bit of a waste of a floodplain. It's all right. It will boost... Um. It will boost this tile and this tile. So I think this is going to be this could be our first Sphinx right here when this goes down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pin that too, cause cause, you know, otherwise I forget. Uh Sphinx Sphinx! There it is. Sphinx here. Alright, that's that's how this is this is this is all going to This city's going to be great. This is if by some sheer ridiculous dumb thing. 
We actually... Oh, he stands to... He decided to stand and attack me. Good. That's actually amazing because that means I can kill him. And if I'm lucky, maybe... Uh, I don't know if I... I'm probably not due a second promotion. Uh, so that's you, Dad. Uh, right. Now what we do is we go to here and... Though Maze is normally trash, it's on Floodplain. It's Cleopatra. It's fine. We're almost ready to start work on... As soon as this gets to second second uh, thing, I'm just starting uh, production of that. I'm just kind of hoping nothing's going on down over here. Oh, hello. Who lives here? Ah, that'll be where Canada is. Ah, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, because that's going to make it a bit difficult to settle over here. Uh, we might be able to forward settle Canada. I mean, bare minimum, I know they can't attack me back. But then again, I can also just move over here. Sorry, where was Canada? I think that's Canada's border there. Ah, I think that's Canada's yeah. border, I'm pretty sure. This isn't going as badly as you might expect. To be honest, for the, the start, this is... Yeah, okay. Nate in chat was literally just saying this really isn't going that badly. It could be going so much worse. This could be a lot worse. Okay, let's just make sure. Yeah, let's just take out your second scout. Make sure you don't do anything. I'm going to spend my second build on making this better. So that's now even more food. That's now up to two and two. I assume you're working, you're the, working the two farms. This city is doing the job. I'm going to move them over to Settler. It's 42. That feels... Ah, it's probably just because... Well, in all fairness, in only six turns, we're going to move up to three. And there's another 2-2 two -two tile right here, which is kind of okay. And then, yeah, I'm going to... Then the third build of this guy is going to be the Sphinx. Because we're going to rush that preserve pretty fast. And, yeah, move in that direction. That's got to be Canada right by Jerusalem. Uh, oh, hang on. Kamea has declared war on the Maori. Good. That means they're attacking each other. Good. Uh, basically, if AI go to war on Deity, thumbs up. Because it means they're not attacking you. Because I'm yeah, by far enough. the weakest player on the map. Like, literally, <coughs> excuse me, I start with no troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they start with free troops. So if they're attacking... Yeah, because the AI cheats in this game. Ex well, literally on high difficulty, they get free stuff. They yeah, start yeah, yeah, with yeah. free stuff. That's fine. You know that you know that going into it. That That's fine. So, like, as a result of that, I'm okay with, like, yeah, the fact that Khmer's attacking Maori is good. I would like, uh, yeah, Mapuche to attack Canada. Mm. Uh, that would be great. Although Mapuche's actually got not that much military strength, which is excellently good news. So, okay, now just start wailing on this here scout. Just make sure he doesn't find this city. This is fine. I'm just going to start going in this direction. Uh, I can't go any further that way, so that's absolutely fine. I could ideally... Your people are lazy and unworthy. Well, give me a minute to catch up, okay? It's data. You start behind, you catch up later. All right, it's all good to be fine. And just keep moving you in this direction. We just need to basically pin down the scout so it can't cause any more trouble. Uh, everything's going to be... Um, no one's had... No one's got Stonehenge yet. Which is weird. I kind of... I mean, you might be lucky. If no one else spawns next to a stone, or no one just prioritizes it, I mean, this could be... It's... Yeah, Max said uh, in chat was just saying in before Lautaro uh, finishes Stonehenge first. It would be hilarious if he did, but yeah. I'm not seeing it yet. Yeah. And oh gosh darn it, right, you're here. Um, Hold position. Uh, actually, do I want you to hold position? Uh, that is, I wouldn't mind you instead. I wouldn't mind going back one step. Is that a hill? Hang on. Are you a hill? Come on, game. That's Rainforest Plains. That's rainforest. I'll be okay. Bare minimum. I'm, I'm retreating into favorable defensive terrain. If they've got another cocking warrior out, let's just figure out what's going on here. Because what I would really like to see is, yeah, uh, Mapuche uh, going towards Canada. That would be really good. Because that that would just that would just that would make my day. That would make my day right there. So we're only three turns away from population three down here. We've got population three here already, which is pretty good. You guys, I assume. Ah, oh, and they've we've we've expanded to bananas. Okay, you're here. Canada's going to come and help me deal with scout number two. I'm just going to fortify here and let him attack me. He's probably going to, and he's in, I'm in a good defensive position to stop that. Just go in this direction. There's a volcano. And now we just let time move on. Now we just let time move, and it's all going to work out. Everything's going to be fine. Come on, try and attack. Yeah, you try and attack me, you stupid bastard. This is going to work. I'm in good defense. I'm in a really good defensive position. Uh, you did, you did, you did, okay, damage. There's the Sphinx. Okay. Now that's uh, something towards builders. Uh, I can now move. To, yeah, bonus production. I don't need faith anymore because uh, I've already spent my faith on my Pantheon. So I can now change over to production. Obviously, keep 
keep barbarian strength. Confirm that policy. That should speed up produ that should speed up production of Stonehenge. That could have sped up production of Stonehenge a lot already. Uh, but honestly, three production working two, 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 three. That banana's nice. You better be working the cocking banana, by the way. You are, you sensible bastards. I would have expected the AI to stupidly go for the cotton, but it's decided against it on this occasion, which is great news. Okay. Foreign trade so I can start linking these settlements together. Sensible. Government plaza, never going to hurt. Uh, foreign trade is also, uh, that's towards wonders. But it's 23 away. Stonehenge will be settled before that becomes a thing one way or the other. I'm going to go for foreign trade. I wouldn't mind a road tying these things together. I'm just going to fortify here. Excuse me. Fortify here. You go in this direction. Find some more shit over here. This is fine. Everything's, everything's fine. We're, I know we're behind right now, but then, like, when we get preserves, that's when things are going to start working for us. And you are going to be... Okay, I've finished off that builder. Uh, but I haven't leveled up, which is unfortunate. My progress towards early empire is improving. I'm going to fall back to my own territory to heal up. Bare minimum, at least we took out these uh, these guys, but I'll keep them on the near side. Everything is... This is, this is, this is, okay, I'm going to be oh, honest. Oh, yeah, where are the pun names for the cities? That's true. Ooh, Good point from Sag. That's true. You know what? I, I accept, I accept, we, we, we fully accept recommendations for, well, you know what? Let's figure out whether Stonehenge is going to be a fail or not. Because if it's, if, that could change, that could very much change the name change of the city. Change the pun name of the city, But like, you yeah. know, this is down here that is like, you know, entirely uh, about just... amazing farms and, uh, and these beautiful, beautiful floodplains. Like, you know. Farms, floodplains. I'm, I'm open for suggestions on, on that front. By, well, it's coastal. Yeah. It's it's not it's not a technically a coastal city means you settle on the coast. Oh, ten ten turns to the end of ancient. I've got five era score, and it's impossible. How much do you? Oh, twelve. Wow. I mean, in theory, I could I could get Stonehenge before that happens, and uh, I could also get a. You know what? I can avoid the Dark Age. If I I can I can build a Sphinx. That's going to be plus three or four. And if I get the Stonehenge, that's a wonder. That would be enough to avoid a Dark Age. Which would be interesting. Just settle here. And now just start moving in this direction. Okay, so that's all Canada. We know Canada's there. Don't forget to move Magnus. Don't forget to move Magnus. What for? Uh, I'm assuming that was a, a building thing. but uh, yeah. Right now Magnus is doing nothing but Groundbreaker. I'm not doing plot harvesting. Uh, because I'm the final build is going to be the Sphinx. I can avoid the Dark Age with the Sphinx and with Stonehenge, because I'm going to get Stonehenge! I challenge God himself to stop me! Um, everything's going to be fine. I, this is, it's, it's weird I've not failed yet. Which make like, I feel like if I was going to fail, I would have already failed. Which makes me think possibly, just possibly, no one else is building it? In this huge deity match? All right, let's remind people what the rules for coming up with a uh, with a pun city name is. It has to be a pun based on what's around, like a river, a farm, some floodplains. Yeah. Um, it has to be a pun with the name of a city. Yeah. And it has to be a pun oh. that we can understand without you having to explain it. Because if it's... If you have to explain it, then it's not funny. Five turns to go. No, that was that wasn't that wasn't Stonehenge. Someone else has built the pyramids. Which well, is that seems rude. Which is a shame because that actually would have been a good one for me yeah. to build. There is a wonder up here. Uh, that's what uh, a what's like a flood pain, pain is very fun, but it's not a city. Oh, a Nancy's tricks. Okay, because we've got heroes on, so yeah. I've just discovered a Nancy. Uh, a Nancy could let me basically go and mess up a Canada's. Uh, Canada's Day by just basically going and stealing their resources off them but I would need a monument to do it four turns to go four turns this this could happen but I'm not going to actually put down the the Sphinx until such time as then again if I put down the Sphinx okay that would represent culture and faith which would get me foreign trade faster, but it doesn't actually help me in any other way. But like, if I'm if I'm not going to avoid the Dark Age, I may as well n not waste the Sphinx era score. It four turns to go. Come on, come on, go! Give me cooking Stonehenge on deity with zero chopping. 
three turns to go, and uh, that scout can have a pr uh, can have a promotion. Uh, that's nice. Uh, move faster on the hills. There's more hills than anything else going on here. So you've built the pyramids. It would have been nice to build the pyramids because they have to go on desert. So I was thinking yeah. maybe I could get the pyramids down here. But he, he's rushed pyramids. Amazingly, the rush pyramids, uh, nothing else. Um, two, three turns to go. Three turns. Just, just healing up my warrior before we go and kill that bloody those bloody barbarians. Okay, two to two turns to go. Two turns. Why were you going this way? Don't go this way. Go this way. Go this way and investigate what's going on up here. Because we could, we might be able to find some desert floodplains up oh, here. There's the pyramids. Hmm. There's the pyramids. Oh, you're right. There they are. They're they're really good ones. They're proper yeah. S. They're proper S tier wonder. Two turns to go. And I think if oh hang on. Oh, I think possibly Napuche killed it for me. I'm also interested in creating. I think I've got it. I think because I get to go screen. first before the AI, meaning if I've if I've got one turn to go and they've got one turn to go, I think I get it automatically. I think I might have just got Stonehenge because it's one turn away and I take my turn before the AI takes its turn. I think I've got it, which is ludicrous. Um, if so, okay, I've got to choose my research. Uh, right, what do I need to do here? Uh, mining I've already got. Masonry, I don't need to rush the pyramid, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, I need to get my science in order, so I need to get pottery down, uh, which is fine. We've taken out all of you guys. You can now just stay here. Civic is obviously, yeah, we're going mysticism. Normally, I wouldn't rush mysticism, but I found the pantheon, but, like, I just want the preserve and the grove. Because that is plus two. Oh, people are saying the AI takes a turn before you get your turn, John. It's taking its turn now. Oh, shit. Uh, if right now an AI is one turn away, the AI gets it. Oh, no. But, like, and now I've said I've got it, I'm going to get it. I, could, I couldn't possibly fail at this point. Like, yeah, that sure. that would be too that would be too funny to happen. Yeah, Uncle Carp's Gaming Corner says, I've <sighs> definitely lost wonders with one turn left to the AI. Shit. I mean, I know, I kind of want to... It's a completely stupid, but there's a real... Look at this. Look at this bullshit. Yeah. This is not where I am. I'd need to, like, literally move a settler to the far side of the Mapuche, which would be insane. Like, this is this is either going to be this really is... funny or really amazing. Yeah, that's what necessary come school on, things come said. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is either give, going give to be it, really good give, or we restart. <gasps> I got Deity Stonehenge! Whoa! And muscle into an upright position, and then say, "Right, lads, we've got Stonehenge, mother flippers." That gets me a giant pile of era score, and then, and now, now we, now we do it. Now we put down my Sphinx, which is worth plus four era score. Boom! Dark Age avoided. Religion guaranteed. <laughs> How many religions are there right now? How many? There's only one. This is supposed to be like the final one, but. Fuck it. Let's go. So are we now starting a religion? We're starting a religion, mother flippers. Great person activated. Uh, what is that? How How with zero chopping did I get Stonehenge on deity? That's ludicrous. That is actually ludicrous. Congratulations. Sorry, I doubted you, John. What heresy is this? That is actually stupid. No. You hench the fuck out of that stone. I don't know how that even happened. I, I, Hot goth for the win. I'm genuinely confused as to how this occurred. Mm. I don't understand how this happened. Um, and hilariously, yes, you don't get holy site adjacency off Stonehenge. Because it's just a wonder, so which is kind of cocking hilarious. Uh, now there is, I could buy a tile that could get me a plus two holy site, but I kind of feel like I don't need to rush holy sites anymore because, well, then again, I can't. Oh God, this is. Well, I, I kind of do, but then that, but it. it, 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 it um, you know All what? Right. So, um. Yeah. People mentioned that the religion should be called Cult of Moose. <laughs> That's fair. You know um, what? That's very fair. Mm. But I'm just trying to, I'm just, I'm just, okay, now we need to plan. You need to plan with hot yeah. goth mommy Cleopatra. Because what we need to figure out is, if I'm going to put this down, it needs to not interfere with my preserves. Because holy site's fine, that's nice, but preserves are what's going to win me the game. Um, also, yeah. suggestion for town name for Akhenaten down there. Yeah. Sphinxfield. Ah, 
I'm 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 underwhelmed. All right, all right. What else, where else could we go? Like if I put it on on this, then we've got two good tiles here. I'd need to chop this. I'd need to chop some of this over here. That's kind of okay. I'm, I'm kind dead. of feeling like I'm going to I'm going to yeah, I'm going to I'm going to preserve on 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 the um on the rice. Are we naming the religion yet? Uh, in a moment we are. I need to just set the production. I need to figure out, okay, if I'm putting that there, and this is going to be all the way around here, then obviously we don't want to be doing... That's a plus a three, and that's annoying. Uh, Wait, why? Because that's a really... Because it's... But then again, if I destroy it, that makes the sub... That makes the towers around it better. That would be a plus three religious tile, which is kind of nice. Oh, it's the best. This would be a plus two, but then that would be... This is right... Why are all the good tiles right in the middle of this? This is not okay. I'm not okay with this. I could hold off building the, the site until we've gone a bit further. That's a plus two, but that's plus two with a cocky volcano. Uh, which generally you don't want to cause too much trouble with. This would be good, but I'd have to buy my way all the way out to it. In fact, this would be really good because this would get me... This would destroy this rainforest. That would be a plus three, and I just have to save up for it. Yeah, that's going to be my holy site. Again, activate the tagging. Just, just, just plan. Just cocky plan. That's going to be my holy site, and it's going to destroy that rainforest, which is going to make everything better. Yeah, lots of adjacencies. Yeah. Um. In which case, probably the best thing we can do, we're, yeah, five turns away from that. Because I should use my first district for the preserve anyway. Let's start working on a, a builder. We've already got a settler down south. Okay, religion time. I'm going to get the pick of the good stuff, actually. So, okay. This is, have um, we agreed that, unlike usual, we are not going to be, this is not tabbyism. This is the cult of moose. Yes. I agree it's the cult of moose. So, I think the that next... That kind of looks a bit like a moose. Kind of looks moosey. Yeah, I mean, I think that I mean, goes. It's, 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 it's kind of moosey. It's it's the best we've got. It's the mooseyest. Yeah, it's it's the best of a bad moose. The cult of 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 moose. There we go. So that's going to be the cult of moose. And we're going to pretty much get our say of the religious belief six. We pretty much got in first. So, okay. We are going. This is an appeal game. Now, mm. work ethic is inherently amazing. Jesuit education oh. is inherently amazing. Yes. Wait, Jake says moosticism. It should be called. <laughs> that will be. That's how we will refer to its followers. Fine. Okay. Choral music is yeah culture. I mean, work ethic is going to be hard to beat. Is like I like Jesuit education because yeah, basically being able to just spam campus buildings really helps you catch up. But work ethic just being. <sighs> The thing is, work ethic, I think to get the most out of work ethic, you need to have gone for, like, a tundra or desert appeal. So you've got, lo you've got plus sixes everywhere. But then again, obviously, I can double that. I can double up the, the appeals. Ooh, chat. Jesuit education or work ethic? That is tough. That's really tough. That is such, that is a nasty one. I'm going to let, I'm going to let chat give, I'm going to let chat give some, give some uh, ideas into that. Clap while we're waiting on that. Uh, Christina suggests for, um, for our main city uh, with Stonehenge, Stone on Trent. Stone on Trent. Kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, Lady Sky says Istanbul. Oh, that's a stretch. It's just hard to pronounce, I think. That's a stretch one. A mm. lot of people going for work ethic, and I kind of agree, because even though, like, plus three production is kind of huge, and you know what? That's won me over. TK1991, right, nothing is as industrious as a moose. I agree. Work says, work, moose says work ethic to me. Work ethic, and then we pick our, yeah, then we pick the housing. Now, good wara I think is good because bonus food is never going to be a bad thing. The what is bonus science? That's always going to be a good thing. Um, there's nothing here pertaining to pertaining to anything else really. I don't. We're not going to be spreading our religion. We're not going for religious victory. This is basically a religion for me. This is my religion for me. Choral music is great too, but I kind of I'll always go for I'll always go for Jesuit over choral. I think. Where's the belief that lets you have free restarts on the game? <laughs> The what is nice, the good... Well, then again, food... Hello, Ted. Hi. 
Hi. Coral music. Hi, Bando. Hello. Are we sitting and being a good boy into the desk? Hi. Ted's sitting and being oh a good boy. Goodness, Did you have a drink you. recently? Because you're very wet. Did you just dribble on my hand? Thank you. I appreciate no, well, that. I think he just had I think like he's a... been. I think he's been dribbling while he's asleep. Yeah, And he, he woke up and that. came over. He does that. You know what? I, I think I think the, the what is is I'm acceptable with that. And then found this religion, which is now up to... That's another two era score. So that's absolutely fine. And now this is basically... This is free... Hi, Ted. This is free era score next hit. Hello, do you want to get past us? Hi. Ted, you can't want to... Ted, you can't... Oh, hi. Hi. Ted is doing... Ted is actually kind of pouring at us right now. Are you little paws? Let me go sit with you for a little bit, baby. Yeah. So Claire's going to go sit with Ted for a little bit because Ted's feeling Hi. like he wants... Sorry, I just poked Ted in the eye. Ted's, Ted's oh, feeling he did like... did that to you the other day. He did. He punched me in the eye the other day. So now we're even. Um, so, okay. That's now 17 turns out, which is pretty good. Who are we working on? That's working on there, which is... You know what? No, I'm going to say work on this. 15 turns. Oh, but then that slows down mysticism. Um, do I want to rush Miss? Yeah, you know what? I think I'd, uh, I'd rather have mysticism sooner. Getting mysticism online, I think, is better. So I'm going to let them work this tile. This tile that is... Uh, you can go, by the way, so I can... Yeah, there is a production on that tile. But that's... Two culture is pretty good. And already up to that, over here, we're up to... Yeah, look at this. Before we've even put down the preserve, breathtaking, breathtaking, breathtaking. Charming charm is going to become breathtaking, and we're going to tear down this rainforest. It's going to be damn sexy. It's going to be sexy. It's going to be uh, damn sexy. So, okay. Everything's... This is going surprisingly well. Like, this is w going weirdly well, actually. Oh, don't me. Claire is playing with Ted right now and getting unfortunately savaged. Yeah, okay. He, he has a Brussels sprout in a Christmas hat that he got for Christmas. Oh, he's got the he's got the Christmas Brussels sprout. Ah, st hey, hey, stop stop advancing in this direction, Canada. Not okay. Uh, I was kind of hoping we might be able to steal some of this floodplain, but Canada's uh, taken this bit of land. But that's fine. Our third city was going to be here anyway, so it was always going to be a stretch. So Canada wasn't going to come this way. Canada is a chill neighbour. Even if they don't like me, they can't attack me without denouncing me, and they generally are chill. So it's going to be fine. Um, so okay, we're working towards our preserves. Preserves are going to be our first everything. And now, yeah, just start moving around the corner in this direction. Just to keep anything's going on. This looks like it might be the edge of this continent. Then just start moving down in this direction. So, okay. Now we're just getting out our, our builders, our everythings. Everything's going to be fine. We just need to get out, yeah, a handful of builders. We need to tear down a few bits and pieces. Ancient era ends in one turn. So, okay, it's going to be a normal age. But we're going to be going for golden medieval. Having a religion is such a good setup. Because it, it it doesn't guarantee golden. It doesn't guarantee golden uh, medieval. Then again, oh. Okay. The problem I've got here is if I don't have any holy sites. Actually, because I've got four, I can get out. I can get out another one. So, okay. Here's the thing. Mysticism's done. Great. Don't worry about Oracle. We're never going to get that. Uh, great science points. Don't worry about that. you said about Stonehenge. It's all going to be fine. Uh, so, don't worry about any of that. Make my dedication. Uh, Mapuche's in golden. Everyone else is in normal. That shouldn't be a huge problem. Here's the thing. Exodus the Evangelist. Two error score every time you convert a city to your founded religion. Really, really good. Ted's just flopped over there, is he? So, like, and there's so, like, you know, and there's so many cities with almost no population where a single spread will, like, there's, like, you know, there's just 12, 14 error score sitting nearby. Like, Easy. And I'm thinking that's that's got to be so good. Like, okay, fine. Monumentality, fine. But am I going to build more districts? Like, double the number of districts that I'm going to convert people. Even if it takes me a bit of time to get the 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 uh, things online. I don't think so. We're going for Exodus the Evangelist. And we're going to try and go for Golden Medieval. Okay? It's going to be fine. And then, yeah. Early Empire is obviously 50% production towards Settlers. Uh, very important. Uh, arguably the most important thing right now. We've got envoys we could send. Uh, I do have one with Jerusalem right now. I might hold that. It's weird I've only run into one city-state. 
I should really get another scout out to figure out what the cock's going on down here. But my scout is just kind of way off in this direction and has found some amazing land that I'll probably never be able to use. So I'm just going to hold on to that envoy for now because it's not going to do anything for the time being. But I don't know what's going on the other side of this desert. I'm hoping maybe there's more rivers. I should really send someone down there to explore. Because I feel like, you know what, I'm good to... Ooh. Ooh. Canada. Canada, what's your army doing here? Canada! Canada has to... Uh, can, Canada can't declare a, a, a surprise war. They're not allowed to. It, it's illegal. Canada. Me and you. We're friends, right? Canadian Expeditionary Force. Responds to as many emergencies as school competitions funds. That's fine. He's part, he's part of the Void Singers. He's also friendly with Mapuche, which is worrying. I'm going to send you a delegation. Canada has no need of trifling gifts. I'm deeply worried Canada might be planning to, um, might be planning to, uh, yes, uh, condemn me and then consider going to war. If I get murdered by Canada, they're normally really chill. But I'm worried that they've got kind of got troops around. Canada? Chill out, Canada. Just need Canada to chill the, to chill the flip out for a second. Just want Canada to chill out. Okay. Canada is... Canada can't declare a surprise war. They have to... Well, they can't unless you tell them that moose are chill. I, thought clay I think they're, they're angry at my moose religion. Mm. They're angry at my moose religion where we teach that mooses are friendly and chill and not a problem. That's, 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 that's what's going on here, I think. Yeah, they're upset about the cultural appropriation of the moose. Let's get writing down. Oh. Yes. Um, if you find a, a tile with, um, with like, uh, cattle or, or animals. Yeah. Moose cow. Nice. Like it. Mm. Like it. Uh, also, if there's one where you uh, make a dam, antlers dam. That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. So now we just need to, yeah, we need to at some point get a holy site out. For the simple reason that, yeah, we need the holy site in order to produce, you know, uh, religious units to convert all these guys to my religion. Which is fine. There's going to be a fair few people who can be easily converted. But for the time being, that's 135 away. Uh, should I? You know what? I'm kind of thinking, because I need to tear down this anyway, first district in this area ought to be that. So, okay, in three turns, we can start work on the holy site. There's going to be a plus three holy site. That's probably worth era score like it gets harder and harder to get era score for impressive districts but plus three is probably enough in the classical era uh, i would think uh right loop around here that's a dead end apparently so okay now time is just passing i'm sending this oh, warrior great. down yes Shout out to Sci Firestorm who gave us five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, fun fact, Canada is the reason many of the Geneva Conventions exist because of the horrible stuff we did in World War One. Happy New Year. I have heard that before. So what? I think I misclicked somewhere. Now you're going off in that direction. Don't go in that direction. Go down over here and build a farm on this bonus resource. Because I mean, you know. Why wouldn't you? I'm French and British and John's British, so we're not going to, like, sit here and say things about yeah. things that people have done in wars. So, yeah, there's a preserve here that's going to, yeah, give us a tiny bit of housing, really not much. But the holy site is what we really want. So I'm just going to put another turn of investment into, into a slinger because I'm getting a little... It's good. Then again, ah, oh, but trader, I'd like a trader, I'd like a trader, I'd like a trader, I'd like a trader. Um, Richard says, uh, trader. the capital is, um, the capital is the religious center and also has rainforest. It should be Hollywood. <laughs> or Hollywood. Yes, but yes. I couldn't pronounce it properly. Yes. Well, kind of like that, kind of like that. Uh, okay, replace plus one production with 50% uh, towards settlers because we are producing settlers right now and we want to produce more. You go down in this direction. Also, Sethlehem. Sethlehem, I love that. That's, yeah. that's sexy. Oh, I found Mogadishu. Hello, Mogadishu. That is trade units can't be plunged on water. It's never going to hurt. Uh, you know what? That's bonus gold. I'm going to put my one person there because that just gets me one extra gold, which at this point in the game uh, is pretty good. Right. But more importantly, yeah, holy site. Bye. 
that just got more cooking expensive. Stop getting more expensive, you decks. You cross the water tomorrow. This is now going pretty well. Uh, you are now working, although that's not bad, you know, for a, for a for, for pop tile. Let's get state workforce down because we're just rushing towards a new proper McJibble. And now promote... Plus 3% growth in the city. Trade routes ending it here. Provide plus 2 food or, yeah, provisions. So now we provision. And now with provision in play, now what we do is we reassign you to here. Because you're going to be... Oh, gosh darn it. I need you to settle before, that, before that's done in a perfect world. Um, okay. Let's, let's lock in the... Everything's fine. I want you to be in place before the settler's done, because otherwise it costs me a population for no reason. This is all very... The game is working against me. The, this game is working against me. And Canada is... Canada just asks for open borders. I don't want to give you open borders. I'm, I'm sorry. Scared. You were being you were being a shitty friend, I'm Canada. I'm sorry, but I'm not... No, for 23 gold, you're not coming into my territory. Because I feel like you're just going to abuse that to attack me. Okay. I... D d Price get is easy. Canada. Claire, help me. Canada is... It's okay. Canada's not real. Canada can't hurt me. Canada's not real. Canada can't hurt me. Okay. Now, this time... This time... One, four, five... Four, three, faith. And that's going to be done in 16 turns, which is not bad. Not bad at all. You and then you, your first, is actually going to be the preserve here. And we're just going to wait a couple... We're just going to do a couple of turns of that and then go back over to Settler, which is not going to be done until Magnus is in play. Everything's fine. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do I have... There is iron... There's iron nearby, but not in range of any of the cities I'm currently pumping out. But this city will be able to get iron. So I could start moving towards iron working. Uh, alternatively, I could get the plantations down, which would not be a terrible idea. I'm just going to work towards masonry, just because I, I kind of wouldn't mind having walls up. I just kind of feel like I want a giant stone thing between me and Canada uh, right now. Poor Seal says open borders can't be used against you militarily, at least. It can't be, but like I think it encourages them to surround your city and then do something. I, I think <laughs> it's it's a worrying thing you don't want to do. Lois points out, um, John is just your family in Canada coming to visit. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, right, one farm. So, okay, that's now a five, a five food, one culture tile, which I'm pretty chill about. And we can also, yeah, now we've got, do we have a take bronze working, by the way? Yes, we're done with bronze working. So we can now start um... shopping. The Red Messiah says, um, when the settler gets to one turn, you can cancel the settler so that the city has no production. And then click and control click end turn. The production will roll over and not be wasted. Yes, that is true. Mm. But I'm going to, I'm going to be okay for the time being. I think I want to tear down this rainforest. I, I want to tear down this rainforest too, actually. If I tear down this rainforest, I think that's going to be good for these ones. So I'm going to move you to here it's gonna take you a while to get there uh but i can use that to pump out a holy site faster um do you want to tear down all the rainforest most of it there's mogadishu has 10 cocky million warriors we're gonna get we're gonna get three decent starting cities down here it's a little bit slow but like you know really you, you need to be rolling a little bit faster than this but like it's when the when we start getting the the preserves rolling, then shit's going to get interesting. Then all of a sudden, things start speeding up. So, okay. Time to figure out what's going on in the um, desert. And in a perfect world, I think I just saw the edge of maybe some water. Like that that looks green to me. Yeah. That looks, that looks green. like an oasis for which you've Oasis got... is good. Oasis yeah. is... Wait, is Oasis? Oasis is part of the Lady, the lady of Reeds and Marshes. Are you sure? Yes. You're right, Oasis, Marsh, Oasis, and Desert Floodplain. Uh, and speaking of which, there is also, yes, a marsh down here, which in theory, if I could afford it, I could expand down to. Do I just want to... You know what? I may as well tear this down. Actually, which one of these is the most important to tear down? You're important to tear down. You're important to tear down. But I've only got two... I've only got two builds, so I kind of feel like I have to prioritize taking out these two as the priority. And I just want to get two guys. Could you? Would you guys, like... Mind just just hold still. 
Just please move out of the way so I can explore further. My scout is struggling to find anything. But I'm kind of hoping there might be another river down here. So you're almost in play now. We can start chopping soon. Uh, it's kind of a shame. Ah, it's kind of a shame that, yes, he's not here for the chopping. But bare minimum, uh, I'd say that's probably the better. Kanda's backing off a little bit, which is good. Now move back over to Settler, which is three away and you're one away. Let's figure out what's going on here. Unless that's the ocean. There's the ocean. There's a bit more of that. That looks like the beginning of, uh, uh yeah, that's, that's the source of a river. There might be some good stuff on the far side of this here desert. Canada's just bumbling around, and I don't trust them, and I don't like them, and I'm scared. If, like, because the problem with deity is, if you, uh, the AI, if the AI just decides, hey, fuck you, uh, you die. Especially as Canada has got 300 military strength to my 30 right now. This is quite, quite a lot. So, okay, just see what else we've got here. Yeah, we go, if we're lucky, there might be some more stuff here. So, okay. Keep on keeping on. Keep on digging in. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, someone's built the Great Bath. Buddhism is happening over here. I'm guessing that's going to be Kamea's religion. But they seem to be not desperately expanding in a hurry in this direction. Uh, let's see what we've got here. There's... Ah! My first goody hut of the entire cooking area. And Claire, we've got more floodplain. Your flood first one? Goody hut. Little barbaric, little tiny oh. tribal villages give you free shed. But I had like... No, this is the first one I found, which is wild. That All of this, there was none. That's really unlucky. Um, like, this game's had some wild good luck and some wild bad luck. I have a question, by the way. Yes. Are you, in future, planning to uh, take the city-state uh, of Jerusalem? No, probably not. I like okay. it. It's, it's better as a buffer state between me and Canada. City-states as buffer states are very useful. Because somebody suggested uh, renaming one of your city or that one when you, if, if and when you take it to Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Ooh, is that some... That looks... That looks wondery to me. Uh, yeah. That's interesting. I might just go and have a little look see what's going on over there. But yeah, for the time being, focus on... Yeah, we need to get this down because clearly Kamea are sort of in this direction because we're starting to get Lloyd's penalties. This is a good spot for a few bits and pieces. There's a load of marsh, which works really well. So you are going to start going in that direction. You are going to start working on the preserve again. And we're going to get that preserve down. You are going to... Why are you not going to chop this? Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Hello there. Um, Allows the chopping of rainforest. Because it's not inside. It's not, it's not in the... Oh... Oh, okay, it will be next turn. It will be next turn. We can... Ah, oh, but then I have to cocky buy it. But if I don't dip it... it mm, oh, fuck. Oh, I'll fuck this right up. Um, Okay, we have to go and chop this one. Because that's... Because... Because... Oh, God. Um, Everything's fine. It's not in the Empire. I don't own the tile. Oh, fuck me. Um... It's all fine. Uh, Magnus, you go back over to the original city now at this point. Now you've helped out with the, the settler thing. You just get over to here. You you start going in this direction and settle on stone. Don't I didn't own that tile. Hmm. So I can't chop it because I don't own it. Right, let's see what's going on over here. There's definitely something going on. That's not the great that's not White Cliffs of Dover, is it? Except that's a terrible one for I hope not. Uh, everything's fine. Buddhism is spreading over there, so something's over here. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Right, we're gonna get you down momentarily. It's all good to be fine. You're trading with me, apparently. Hello? What? What is this? And it is... It is Under the, the cliffs, of cliffs of Dover! Boo! There's Mulan. I could, I could rush out a hero. That would be sufficient defense to keep everyone from, like, attacking me on sight, which would be good. You're almost ready to move. That's two turns away. Okay, now this time, this guy we can chop. We can do some chopping over here. It is equally important there we go. There's uh, the wonders. But we don't need that right now. And there's political philosophy. And I have... Have I met? Yes, I just met my third down over here. Good. There's a cad. Uh, they're kind of useless, aren't they? Yeah, full damage to walls. That's a war one. We're not going to be doing war. You're not in a position to do war. Oh, um, hi. Hi, guys. You're just accompanying your 
your your guy here. You're not you're not attacking me, right? <laughs> I'm sure they're not attacking me. Um, okay. I could rush a victory at this point. No, you know what? No, Owls of Minerva. Let's go. Extra economic policy slot. Uh, that's good. We're not training any more people at the moment. So give me give me the production in the city. Yeah, give me bonus production in the city. That's good. You can now shop. And me and Mapuche are friends. Canada doesn't like it. He does like it. Good, 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 good. That's actually kind of good news in that case. Good. That means two out of the three people around me like me more on account of joining the Owls of Minerva. And the only person that doesn't is Canada. And Canada generally aren't going to cause that much trouble. Hopefully. Um, okay. What I need to do, however, is... Yeah, I could get myself more production by buying the... By buying this marsh tile. Which could be interesting. That could be very interesting. Pfft, uh, but then I'd need to... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy that. That's a really good tile. So I've got, that's a 3-2. That's a 3-2. Do we even have... Uh, we don't have irrigation yet, so we can't get the bonus gold off the bananas. We could go and get... And we could... John, same deal. Uh, that could be a Sphinx, which could be interesting. The Sphinx here. But then... Uh, okay, hang on. Think. Think, think, think. If that's going to be... Sphinx, then... Uh, if that's going to be Sphinx, then I don't know where the Sphinx is going to go in this city. Let's not worry about that just yet. I need to get a holy site down and a and a shrine down so I can at least start training missionaries because that's era score. That's just free era score right there. You can now be destroyed. Yes? Mooshinaries. <laughs> it's terrible, but I love it. Yeah, I know. We could go. Is this an okay settler? Yeah, I can settle. I can settle there, which is kind of good. Ooh, does Magnus's groundbreaker effect work if he's not established yet? I don't know, but he'll be established later, for the time being. That's almost in play. That should be some era score, and then we need to get down. Yeah, that will let, that will grow this and let me do that. Uh, what else can you even do, buddy? What's the most sensible thing? No sensible thing for you is probably come down a here and help out with the, and just get the rice down. Just get the cities growing. We'll 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 build and we'll build a new builder. You can just come down to this city. So you can ah, you can get that down. Okay. So that's down. Thebes has immediately got a four to look look at that. So many that that's that's sexy. So what do we have here? This is basically this is marsh. This is just marsh territory. This is a giant pile of marsh. And that marsh is... And we've got a 4-2, which is sexy. And there's anything. what? Rice? What else? There's some rice. That's it for now. The, this, we, if we're going to get iron, this is where we're going to get it from. Let's also have a look see yeah, what we can do in terms of adjacency. There's another plus three holy site here. But I kind of feel like I would like campus. Uh, and the preserve can't go anywhere yet. But the entire point is, yeah, this is going to be... A very good. Oh, good. The iron spawned where I was obviously planning to put the cocky preserve down. Because obviously it did. Um, hmm, hmm, everything's fine. This would be a decent spot for, yeah, a, a, a campus. That's a plus two campus. Once you get up to 100 gold to buy that, I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, for the time being, maybe let's get granary down. Uh, actually, do I need granary? Like, I, I probably will need granary. Because, like, housing is already going to start becoming a problem oh. here pretty soon. Like, housing is already... Yeah, we're low on amenities. Housing is already slowing down. The AI in Thebes is working the wrong tile. That is weird. Why on earth is it doing that? That was uh, cocking thank you, weird. That was so odd that it was doing that. I don't know why it would make... would literally go for an inferior tile. I do not know. Maybe it sees something invisible under here. But if there's iron here, that strikes me as weird, unusual. But okay, fine. Whatever. Um... Could get Monument down. Yeah, let's get Monument down because obviously we're playing a hero mode. So we could get out some heroes. Uh, so, okay. I can get a city down over here as well, potentially. I'm hoping for some era score off a plus three holy site up here. Then we have to get Shrine down. Shrine next is... Ah, uh, but then uh, I kind of want that preserve. Oh, God. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was what plus three era score because it's, it's fairly generous. Uh, so you can now be removed. That's fine. We could now build a preserve in 10 turns immediately. 
or a shrine in seven. How much to buy a shrine? A shrine is... A shrine's 420. The thing is, the preserve doesn't do anything until I get the building in the preserve down, which is quite a long way away. We have to get shrine down first. Shrine first. It, it has to be shrine first. Okay, bare minimum, we've got some good stuff going on here, which is all a-okay. You need to just start coming back in this direction. I think we can put a... We can put a settler down over here or here. That we can just kind of... We can grab some of these, which is kind of okay. That's, that's all right. It works. Um, also, isn't the preserver... No, you can't Hello, you... Okay, Kamea is being chill with me. Preserves. Are preserves... Are they culture bombs or neutral culture bombs? Uh, culture bombs adjacent neutral tiles. Right, I can't culture bomb a card. I'd be tempted to kill a card. I'm going to be honest. That's that's a thing I might be tempted to do. Just for the sake of getting them out the cocking way. Uh, but let's just check if there's anything else going on. Like any other rivers or anything going on around here. Because that river's going down that direction. That is tundra. So we don't want to go too much further south. That's fine. Everything's fine. We're behind at the moment, but you always... Oh, Mapuche just declared war in Jerusalem. Why? Why, 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 why? They're just attacking them. They're just straight up attacking Jerusalem. Uh, that's interesting. Kamea likes me. That's good. Right, declare friendship. Yes, Kamea and me are friends. Good, 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 good. And Kamea are at war with... I think we heard earlier that it was the Maori. They're attacking the Maori. So me and Kamea are friends. And I'm hoping that means... Excuse me. Please stay out of, out of my... Out of my everything. Feed the world. Uh, temples and shrines and meeting houses. Okay, he's sort of shred spreading his religion in this direction. Which I don't really want because I've got my own religion actually. I know it, no one has it apart from literally the cult of the moose is losing followers in its own holy city. Because wow. there, there's no priests. Because we never built a holy site. Because uh, normally if I'm going for religion I, I kind of forgot that that was a thing. Okay, more people have built great bath. Uh, and hanging, someone's about hanging gardens. Sometimes the age just doesn't bother with hanging gardens. Oh, I think we just found, uh, yeah, there we go. Hello, Coupe. You're awesome. I love you. You're really cool. Uh, it's an honor to meet you. Love to sample your hospitality. Right, there's Coupe. And unfortunately, he's actually settled on what would have been a really good spot for me. No. That's annoying. We may have to, we may have to go and kill him. Uh, if we could get an army to, the problem is Kamea might kill him first. Actually, if we're lucky, Kamea might raise this. They might burn it. Is that your capital? I don't know. Uh, do a deal with you. We should be able to see a list of your cities. Yeah, that's your capital if it's at the top, I think. So then again, actually, unless it's not, because it's not listed as a... I think it's not. I think it's the capitals don't get listed. So I think, if we're lucky, Kamea burns this to the ground, and we might be able to rush in and seize it, which could be kind of interesting. So you're right here. Yeah, Monk of Evil, I don't like you either, buddy. You're a dick. Um, oh, bringing in there's the a catapults. new Canadian city. Quebec. Oh, but it's losing loyalty. <sighs> oh, oh, I might be able to steal it. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, you, you lose, you lose Quebec, mate. We're gonna, okay, here's the thing. This is why, this is where Sexy Hot Goth Mummy still... starts actually doing something. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the thing. She's very good at growing fast like and going like high population like five population five population what about to become two what's he got one population here three in victoria i'm exerting pressure loyalty pressure on this guy and that means if we're lucky this will flip to me mm. this this could be interesting this could be very interesting um you yeah just build a farm here just just get even, even cocky more. That rice is going to keep us growing in a hurry. That's about to be two population. <laughs> this is going to be five in no time. Oh, God. What? The chat is just amused uh, at the notion that Quebec City is uh, Immediately losing... wanting to declare independence. Uh, losing loyalty to Canada. It's immediately indeed. wanting to declare... The, mo the moment it existed, it was like, no. Independence. Independence. Well, I did it in a Quebec accent, Claire, obviously. Yes. That's yes, the yes, yes, yes. dear, oh dear, Claire. Uh, right, I do have... Do I have things I could want to harvest? Yeah, I might want to try and harvest the cotton. Could go for some irrigation. That's interesting. We have to get... A, yeah, we have to convert Canada to my religion here. I'm just going to keep an eye on this because I'm really hoping 
Kamea burns this and doesn't take it. Uh, and I don't know what they're more likely to do. But I'm really hoping that they... Oh, you are moving in. I don't think you're going to be able to stand up to this. Kamea is absolutely slaughtering them. Okay, Kamea is on the warpath, but they're on my side. This city's starting to get somewhere, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm going to need to buy another builder at some point. Builders are 3, 4, 5 at the moment. The shrine's almost done. I've banked some faith, but not much. But now we've got that holy site in place. That's doing better than it was. So, yeah, this is four turns away. You, buddy, actually, you know what? I do not have enough money to buy this, and I think I would like to switch over to campus, a plus two campus. Uh, it would be alternatively a plus three holy site of woods. So that would get me era score. But no, I, I need some science. I need some cocking science. I need one library. Uh, you, you can fall behind a bit in the early game, that's fine, but you can't fall down that much. And I'm really hoping, by the way, Mapuche just wastes all of his strength on Jerusalem and can't crack them. Because city-states and deities start with walls, so nice. it's going to be difficult for him to crack Jerusalem. So I'm kind of hoping he'll just waste some of his strength on that. You're just building boats right here. I'm staying... I, I want to stay... I don't want to, like, you know, get in the way while you're doing this. Like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get in the way of you doing that. But you've not got walls. But he's also actually got 32 strength in defense, which is kind of interesting. So that's just you've got some decent units. <sighs> Everything's fine. The yeah, the preserve's nearly done, but the preserve is not gonna be worth anything, as I say, until the first building's done. That when it comes online, we're swimming in culture. Till then, garbage. Uh, that's the problem with the the uh, with the um, Goth Mommy Cleopatra game. It takes a little bit of time to come online. It's mm. got to be okay. The 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 things down. Do I have any good campuses? I do have a plus three campus up by the thing, but it's got to be preserved, right? <sighs> yes, I think so. This is we've like if you if you're not going to play to your civ strengths, don't even bother. Like what? Why are you even here? Like, just stay here and just watch what these guys are doing. And we're hoping they're just spamming a huge amount of pieces. You don't have... Hang on. How much... How much... Oh, wow. Maori's actually got 360 military strength. But I suspect it's all in his fleet. I suspect it's fleet, nothing else. So that would be... That would be kind of interesting, if so. Thousands so, okay. With... Get this sorted out. Is there any chance, by the way, uh, settler-wise... Oh, I could actually settle here. And then I could, if, if they do destroy this, I could take it later. Okay. Everything's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. I should really be pumping out more settlers, by the way. Uh, why did I send you back here? I mean, I guess, like, you could... Uh, I need that golden age. Uh, I also need a missionary, but that's 220. It's going to take... Wow, that's very expensive, actually. But I can convert these. You have put a governor into Quebec City to stabilize it. But whether that governor will stay there and whether it can stand up to my rising population, I don't know. <sighs> There's the chariot archer. Let's get that ready because that could be some easy bonus score if I need it. Uh, I should really be... What is the priority here? Is it growing or is it... How much for a settler? Ten turns for a settler. Yes, get me a settler. But I would like to have a road that connects these two cities together at some point. So, and until that happens, then it's going to take... It's going to be a long journey for that cocky settler, isn't it? Oh, cock me. This is a bit of a nightmare. Okay, come here, come here, come here. We're, we're supposed to be friends. I've got my own religion. Mooseism. It's not much of a religion. We're, we're going to be converting away from it soon. Um... At, at some point. Uh, can you do something about that? At some point, I can get out missionaries to try and get Canada on my side. I'd, can I ask them to not convert to me? Is that a request I can make? Ask for promise. I need diplomatic favour. I can ask him not to convert my cities, but I've got zero diplomatic favour. So right now, I don't have the ability to do so. Okay, now we've got our first preserve down. The appeal all around it is breathtaking, aside from that one tile there. But on top of that, we can also... They've immediately started working on these tiles. That's kind of nice. I think this tile's got to go to Grove. 
and you've got to focus on producing a satellite, and you've got to get something out in the way of science. We've just got to get some science in play. But once this grove is done... What? Go away! The problem is Khmer's really good at spamming faith, and they've probably got so many Ocot. I think Moosism might be about to die. Because, because... Okay, here, okay, we've got political philosophy. We've got a better religion. Okay, classical... Classical Republic, Oligarchy, or Autocracy. We've got to take, yeah, the bonus housing and amenities, because we're already running into housing and amenity problems. So we're going to take Classical Republic. That gets me... Yeah, first Envoy Ascent is worth two. That's good. Um, on top of that, I wouldn't mind... We're not building any of that. Faith in gold is better than nothing. Could take great scientist points. Um, what else is worth taking at the moment? Not much, to be honest. I mean, tile purchase down. I'm going to need to build builders. I'm going to get a trade route at some point. Uh, take some great scientist points. Sure, I'll trade that out later. This is, okay, uh, interesting. Um, do I want, at this point, recorded history is, actually, campus uh, is good. Theology is good, because bear in mind, my holy sites are also worth production. Let's go towards drama and poetry, and then we'll go towards theology. Which will be fine. And then, yeah, they can... Oh, Jerusalem just lost a lot of its strength. Okay, possibly Mapuche is going to absolutely destroy uh, Jerusalem. I'm not sure. We'll have, to, we'll have to see about that. Oh, Quebec's losing loyalty again. Quebec, they've literally, got a, they've literally got a governor in play. And they can't keep Quebec. My population is rising too fast, lol. Okay, we're going to get this, this down in no time whatsoever. Which is great. You are going... Yeah, you have to focus on... Did I already wait? Did I already start work on this? Preserve, preserves. Yeah, I did. Preserves only nine away. It's fine. Everything's under control. Please stop spreading Buddhism. Please stop. I have my own moose religion, and I don't appreciate this. Speaking of which, I can finally get my own moose person out. Okay. You're about to. Re you're you're about to convert Hello. to moose. Hello. We have a Ted. Hi, Ted. Hi. Hello. He's come to hang out under the desk He's with decided, us. Ted, do you like to sit down under the desk? Do you like to sit down next to us? Or are you just kind of wandering around? <gasps> yes, Hi. you are a good boy. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, we've lost. Yeah, someone's got Machu Picchu because everyone always gets Machu Picchu. Oracle, the AI loves Oracle. Don't even never try and get Oracle. Hi, Ted. Hello. He's such, such a good, such a good boy. But he's like, why is the religion not named after me? You always used to name religions after Tabby. Why do I not get a religion? I mean, I was going to say that it should be Teddyism today, but yes. then we did the moose thing. But then we went for moose instead. Okay. Ooh. We just have to... I mean, they're just burning this guy's thing down. I'm not sure they've got the strength to break into it, though. Actually, they've got a catapult. Nothing can stop that catapult because there's literally no walls. So eventually they're going to knock this down... You're just... Why would you cross a river to get in here? The problem is they can't really put it under siege because it's got a sea access point. So that's going to be difficult. They're going to really struggle to... No, 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 no. I want you to go this direction, please. Go this direction. We've got no roads. How much to buy a trader? 316. I might purchase a trader at some point. And then... Oh! What do you mean I pile filth on the land? And dump it? There is literally no pollution. Literally. Well, okay, I have been chopping. Maybe he doesn't like me chopping. No, don't don't send your missionaries up in this direction. This is my bit of the world. Stop it. Stop it now. This is my... This is... We're supposed to be friends. Also, at bare minimum, at least I'm getting diplomatic favor from my new religion. So that's, that's good. Oh, Jerusalem's almost dead. I'm glad I didn't send anything towards Jerusalem. Uh, Mapuche's just attacking Jerusalem. But Mapuche's pretty chill with me. And if Mapuche were to attack me, I could, in theory, ask Khmer to come and assist. They'd probably join, whether they'd be that useful. No, I can't give you my diplomatic favour. I kind of needed to ask Mapuche to stop converting my bloody cities. How much for one pig? Because I bet you'll give me the pig for, like, nothing. Um, like, one Make it equitable. No, I just want it to be one. 18. I know you'll give me the truffles for, like, nothing. Like, you just need to 
20. 25. That, well, this is just unacceptable to me. Okay. Truffles are for... Two diplomatic favour. You just... Okay, you know what? I'll tell you the diplomatic favour for the truffles. Fine. I, I, I need the luxuries. We're not going to be having any other amenities for any other reason for some... Oh, I forgot my scouts up here, by the way. My scouts just been up here doing nothing for a very long time. Lol. <laughs> oh, God. This is... This could be going better. This could be going worse. We just need to convert... Actually, if Quebec is my religion, I think that makes them more likely to want to switch to... To me. Also, I love it when the comments is a British man upsetting the Maori people. History is repeating itself. What did we do to the Maori? I thought that was one of the people we didn't I'm annoy. Sorry, we did the same thing to the Maori we did to everybody else. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we were the colonisation thing. I, I, I thought we mostly didn't have too much against them. Well, oh. they were there and and then we decided it was just that's, ni they, nice free real estate. Hello, Ted. That's... Well, was, wait, was New Zealand us? I know we were Australia. I thought I thought mm. we did Australia, then Australia did New Zealand, then New Zealand did that. Like, that's... I think we're a couple okay, of... Okay, but I think I when think we're Australia, a couple of things removed. I think when Australia did colonialism in New Zealand, we were in charge of Australia. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. fair. People are naming actual treaties, which worries me. Um, <laughs> that'll be when we did it. Okay. Just, just get in this direction. Everything's going to be fine. We're just New Zealand. I'm so sorry. We love you. <laughs> did we do New Zealand? I thought Australia did New Zealand, and we did Australia. Who did us? Who did New Zealand? Wait, hang on. No, that was that was Amsterdam. That's the Dutch. The Dutch were da the Dutch were New Zealand. It's literally called New Zealand. That's weird. Our hands are clean on that one. That's That John, was the Dutch. John. Yes. John. Yes. Stop talking. You're digging. That's true. I feel like... Okay, the Dutch must have had something to do with this. Apparently, New Zealand became a British colony in 1840. Oh, did we steal it off the Dutch? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's fair. That's, that's okay. Listen, I didn't know the history, but I just assumed that Britain had fucked over the Maori and, you know, everybody that's else. That's fair. It's a fair assumption. Oh, good. They're leaving. They're leaving now. That's good. That's good. I'm not sure they ever converted Quebec. And now what we can do is we can just walk in, do a spread. And there we go. The Cult of Moose is now converted. And there we go. We've now got two flipping McJibbles. And now we just send you over here. And now we start converting people in a cocking hurry. This Apparently, is where the era store starts New coming Zealand in. New Zealand off the French. France had New Zealand? When? France know, was man. never in that bit of the world. That wasn't so your bit of the world. So much colonialism. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Yeah, apparently the Union Jack to this day is on both the Australian and New Zealand flags. So... Okay, that's true. That's that's yeah. a true thing. Yeah, that's that's correct. Uh. That... <laughs> John 2024 cancellation speed run. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to every country on earth for all the things we did. Okay, I'd just like to apologize in general for everything. Is that, 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 does that cover everything? I think that should cover everything. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Okay, now we can't expand to the north, or at least if we expand to the north, it would be a bit on the tricky side because, yeah, Mapuche is coming in this direction. So I feel like we shouldn't because there's not much going on up here aside from potentially some interesting uh, some interesting stuff here. But I'm not sure whether you can even get past this. Slide. I think this might be a dead end. I have no idea. Oh. Um, but I think we should definitely consider... Oh, they stole a cad. They stole a cad. Shit. Okay, that's interesting. I think they're not interested in burning this to the ground. Um, they've taken a cad off us. Which means, in theory, we could attempt to take this back. But that's going to make life very tricky. Oh. Kamea's eating this territory. Mapuche's eating this territory. I'm feeling very boxed in right now. I'm feeling really worryingly boxed in. Oh, that's kind of scary. Okay. Uh, I'm worried this game's running into trouble. Okay, we have to play the loyalty game. I think we've got to we've got to basically play aggressive 
and go the loyalty game and just basically go and try and convert those guys and uh, a hope basically uh this is very very dangerous weirdly there's oh there's a there's something going on over here don't know what's going on in this part of the world these days possibly mapuche expands in that direction i don't know um recorded history will let us double up campus adjacency Theo uh theology will let us double up holy site adjacency which is probably for the better that will probably be yeah that will generate a fair amount of stuff for us so yeah that's worth something let's get the preserver down at this point unless trader and four Trader and Fall could be sent somewhere else, which is probably worth more to me immediately. Then, then again, how much was it to buy the trader? Trader is only three to five. That's not that many to ah. You know what? We'll we'll, we'll just build the trader. Then we'll do preserve. Because once again, the preserver is useless until we've done a fair whack of chopping. So okay. Canada is hanging out here. Jerusalem may be about to Don't fall, though invent. not yet by the looks of it. Okay, you. Do a spread here. There's another two uh, uh, no, another two era score. We're starting to yeah get Canada on side. You're going to convert soon. Let's see if we can convert Jerusalem. But actually, Jerusalem's quite populous. Uh, maybe we try and get uh, Mapuche on side. Oh, this is getting a little bit scary. We're just running low on places to expand to. We do have a free expand here in the center, which actually could help us with converting Quebec. It's not a great location, but like it's, we could just we could just expand here. Like this is an allowable spot. You know what? Actually, I think that's the move. I think the move is even though this is not an ideal location for us, regardless, it will let us lay down more pressure. We have, we need to steal Quebec, use Quebec to steal Victoria, because Canada's in a long line. Canada's like weirdly settled in a line. And I think we could use that to roll up Canada, especially if we can go into a gold. Yeah, that's that's the play. We will we'll trade more settlers that can deal with this down here. In fact, yeah, like um, Akitatan can deal with that. I think basically our, our plan has to be s rob Canada. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to go in and we need to steal Canada. Um, oh God, I'm being British again, aren't I? Yeah. I we need to go in and steal Canada from the French. Okay, that's that's the plan right now. Because there is one acceptable space. I think we could do that. I mean, in theory, we might be able... To... Mapuche's army is not looking great. And for some reason, they never finished off Jerusalem. So Mapuche probably won't attack me. We could also get one, one city up here. And then we could start thinking about moving through Mapuche. But I feel like rolling up Canada is actually the best bet we've got. It's not a spectacular plan. Kamea's being kept busy trying to deal with the Maori. With the, uh, Ma Ma Maori. Da -da -da. Uh, let's just go and spy on Canada with my scout and see what else is going on here. But, like, I think it's got to be... Yeah, we've got to play the, the game here. And I think we've got to go and start expanding. This guy's not going to convert Jerusalem. Actually, you know what? Jerusalem is... Five, uh, but yeah, you know what? We I think we can convert Jerusalem with this one remaining spread, and we're already at. Hang on, we've got at least twenty-two turns. We're going to get at least one more. We should be able to get at least one more missionary out, which should be enough to get Mapuche to be my religion, which is good. We've also got our religion down here, which is pretty solid. So we can we can basically yeah we can go down south and convert our own cities. That's nice. But okay, you cross this. You're not going to be able to do that this turn. Trade is almost done. Which will be useful for, yeah, maybe speeding up the, uh, yeah, this relationship. We'll just get a road down here. Because this is, this is bad territory. Please convert. It didn't convert, but it will convert due to pressure at some point. Um, and then the next missionary is going to cost me 420. We're gaining 13 which is not bad. And actually, you know what? In seven turns, this is going to go bananas. Because the grove is going to explode. Um, that's actually got us the housing we need as well. Housing here is, yeah, five out of three. So the, the amenities is good. You're ready to go here. There's That's the trader. Yep, sorry. I forgot about that. The trader was the thing. Go to, yeah, Akitatan right here. Just get the... Uh, but then again, that's not the... I feel like the better option is actually to go to Thebes. Uh, purely because that's the more difficult path to go down. So you just do that. Yeah, begin that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, Jerusalem's asking for a trade route, but we're going to have to pass on that for now. 
That gets currency up. You get settled. Canada's probably going to ask me not to settle near them, but fuck Canada. Um, we've got a good starting tile to work here because this, yeah, this, this marsh tile now becomes here, which is fine. We just need to grow as fast as possible. Just absolutely spam pops like crazy. Anything that leads to more pops being spammed, the better. Let's just get archer ready just in case someone attacks me. Now, we could go for preserve unless we desperately need... I wouldn't mind more housing from the granary, but... No, preserve also gets me housing. And that's done in eight. We're nearly ready for... Yeah, we're nearly ready for uh, another builder. How much was a builder again? Builder was what? About three, three, four, five. Yeah, we're getting in the, we're going in the right direction. This is the right direction. And you, buddy, you need to, uh, yeah, lay down some uh, holy site is... Actually, there's a decent holy... There's some decent plus two, plus three holy sites here. There's an also decent... Yeah, there's some decent... Uh, that's a decent plus two. I don't need that for... Actually, you know what, John? Before you do anything, check the appeal. Check if there's, like, a, a good appeal here. Because I suspect there really is... There might be over here. Like, if I just chop down all of this, this might become decent appeal. But don't worry about that for now. This is going to be... Then again, if I put this here... If I destroy this with a, with a preserve here... This could be mega double preserve. Oh, that's sexy. Mega double preserve. <sighs> oh, oh yes, that's that's kind of fun actually. Hi, Ted. Hi. Hello. One, two, three. Yeah, I think he, I think I'm willing to do that. I think I'm willing to. Is that going to be my first move here? Hi, Ted. Um, that would mean I didn't want to use this, unfortunately. I think I need to get holy sites. Yeah, you know what? That's that's an okay. That plus two holy sites okay. That's only a two one tile, and the the forest isn't doing anything. Let's get you out first. Let's get holy site out. That this city is going to grow pretty quick. If I could actually, I could buy a granary to force the growth rate. But I'm okay. What I'm more interested in is the growth. When the growth pops, shit's going to get real. You want to give me money for diplomatic favor? Absolutely not. You've got four cities, so you've not really expanded so far. Uh, refuse the deal. Sorry, Mapuche. We're not doing anything with you for the time being. And, yep, yeah, obviously... Ah, here's where things get sexy. If you deliberately forward settle someone, they tell you not to, you agree. That just gets you 30 diplomatic favor for free, which is kind of sexy. You want to give me iron... You also, you want to now want to buy that diplomatic favor. So I can now sell him that diplomatic favor for stuff. But no, I want to keep it. I'd rather do you a deal during my turn. Basically telling you to piss off and stop converting my cities. Like, seriously, stop it. Mathematics is going in the right direction. This is... Snowball is not the right term. But it's not as bad as it might have been. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, we probably want the water mill. Because that is... Uh, yeah, bonus resources and uh, bonus resources improved by farm gain plus one food. That's really good. And also, yeah, that's the water mill would be really good here. But don't worry about that just for the time being. How much housing do we have over in Thebes? Thebes is six housing. But I feel like we should get a library down. For only 12, I think that's that's the play. Hey, that's the play right there. Let's get let's get one library down. Hi, Ted. I think Ted might want to go up for his evening wee. Yeah, I was just going to say. It is half 11. Hi, Ted. Hi. You take Ted out for a little garden break. I think he'd like a garden break. Yeah. Go. Go, go. Come on. Come on. Off you go. Yeah, you know what's going on. Right. Everything's going to be absolutely fine. That's going to grow in no time whatsoever. We're going to build a road going in this direction. That's going to be very useful. We need to... Jerusalem's healing, suggesting... Oh, there's a... Yeah, there's a big army. kanda has got a big army, but armies don't help you. Armies don't help you like defend against loyalty so we've just got to pile on all of the people and claire's not here but screw it thank you very very much to logan g who just came in with a hundred us dollars hi john and claire recently won my disability claim after almost five years of fighting in general misery your content was a bright spot in an otherwise dark time here's a tiny piece of it for all those times i want to donate but couldn't and you're very very welcome indeed but please if it's you know this is literally your disability claim money Keep it and spend it on all the things that make your life good and happy and better and easier. But, like, thank you so, so much. And I'm so glad to hear that we help in whatever way, little way we can. And I'm so glad to hear it's all, you know, worked out in the end. So, 
Okay, let's see if maybe I can ask you. They'll respect your wishes. I'm disappointed you can't see the area. Yes! Okay, he's agreed not to convert my cities. That's good news. Also, he's converted this. He's taken this. Um, okay. It's going to be difficult to win you over, isn't it? Yes, it probably is. So, okay, 240. I just need, yeah, once I get a little bit more faith in. Kanda's got, like, a big military, but if we're right... Oh, Jerusalem's even a healing its own walls up. Brilliant. So, okay, Mabuche failed to take Jerusalem. They almost got there, then just didn't quite... And now, yeah, the settlers coming down. We've got good roads coming in. You just need to come in. Where else could we? You know what? I should probably send my. I'm just going to send my scout up in this direction. And just see what else we can find. See what else we can find over here. Jerusalem's safe for now, and also would like to be sent a trade route, but you know we're kind of busy for the time being. We've got roads coming in, so we can now actually move around the empire without it being such a problem, which is good because obviously we want to be. Building settlers up here where we've got Magnus without having to move him all the time. So you're fine. And me and Kamea are friends. They've taken uh, the Maori city. Maori's probably got one or two cities around, but we can't see them right now. So in which case, we should probably just start, yeah, moving my troops over in this direction and seeing what happens. Like, eventually, we might be able... To win a stupid, like, war against these guys? It's not impossible. Uh, how much would a settler be? Settler would be 16 from here. I wouldn't mind maybe building a settler from, yeah, Akatatan. And just basically forward settling this guy. Oh, I think he's thinking of doing precisely the same, damn it. And I am not in a position to go to war to, to like, steal that settler. Like, you know, going to war to steal a settler, 100%, consider it. But, like, we're, we're not in a position to uh, to do that right now. We're not in a position to do that. So, okay. I'm kind of hoping... Please, please piss off. Like, just go go over here somewhere. Like, don't cause trouble for me. What? Where are you even... He's going to go here, isn't he? I was just thinking of forward settling him here. And he's going to do it. If he does it, we might have to consider trying to aggressively forward an settle anyway. Using air. our governors to it assist. To and no maybe... Yep, there's theology. Them. Good, 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 good. That gets me holy site uh, adjacency bonuses. That's a bonus three production in all of the cities that have like that adjacency. So, because yeah, that it doubles up the faith, but it also doubles up the production. So that's going to speed up the rate at which I can get that out. That's now only three turns away. You're going to be faster. You should be growing fast. Quebec is holding. It's because of the governor. It's entirely because of the governor. We just have to, we have to hit that uh, golden age. That, that's the trick. We've got to hit that golden age. Um, 240. Two turns, we can get that. We are maybe as little as 15 turns away from that. I'm worried about that golden age I was going for. Oh, okay. Uh, if you don't hit that golden age, that could be a problem. That could be a real problem. Let's just get iron working in play just because, yeah, I'd like to have the option of buying some iron. Recorded history could increase. Yeah, that's a good way of getting additional science, potentially. I don't have to. It's not boosted. Ugh. Governors might not be enough in the long run. He might have to move that governor, too. Eventually, you'll have to move that governor. Oh, there's a giant pile of water here. Oh, that's nice. There's loads of water in this desert. That's kind of cool. Uh, that might mean we could settle a little bit further away. And, like, regardless... Okay, this... Excuse me. You said you wouldn't... Oh, he said he wouldn't settle us. He didn't say anything about Canada. Okay. That's a problem. Um, and... Oh! There it is! There it is! There it is! Right. So now shit gets real fast. Because now, all of a sudden, uh, Akatan can start growing like there's no cocky tomorrow. Uh, so, okay. That's, that's, that's the shit. That's the shit right there. That's the, that's the mother flipping stuff. Uh, okay. That's, that's, that's what we like. That's what we like to see. That's what we want to see right there. Uh, so, okay. What we need to do now is, yeah, get a settler out. I don't know where the settler's going, but it, it, he's going somewhere and we might have to start playing this game. Eventually... With plus 8 off governor, but plus 5.3. If we can hit golden age, we can flip it. And then we can start working up the hill. Okay. 
Ba -ba 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 um, we also need, what is the most logical thing to do? I think we need to start thinking about, yes, this is going to be done soon. So we need to get out a builder over here. We need to buy a builder. Because the builder might need to do a little bit of chopping and also a little bit of sphinx placement to get this working properly. Because in two turns, that's going to be ready. And then we'll see what the state of, the state of play is over there. So, you're going to start growing soon. The population is going to start... Like, uh, the population here is rising way faster than the population of Quebec City. That's the important thing. So, you're almost done. Just start moving you in this direction. That's all absolutely fine. There's so many good tiles in this city. There's some lovely tiles in this city. This, this city's great. This is a this is a solid starting city. Akatan, uh, Akatatan down here is... Is... Yeah. Working. Thebes is growing fast. Which is kind of nice. There's got plenty of stuff going on here. That was a very fast outing. Ted's yeah, back. Oh, he just wanted to get out, do his wee, and get back in. Yeah, he didn't even do his circuit. He does where he has. He just charged out, did a wee, and charged back in. Well, he charged out, did a wee, then he checked the two particular spots he likes to check. But normally he goes back out again, and he just came back. Yeah. Okay, there is. Yes, we need to. You're going to convert. Oh, you already converted. Okay. Get over here. We just need to... Oh, that's a lot of era score we need very quickly. That's a lot of era score we need in a hurry. Can I possibly find a way to squeeze out another to convert these two cities back to me? And the problem is you've decided to... Yes. Uh, we're friends. So I think we've got open borders by default. Meaning he can just walk straight through me and convert Canada. But then again, I've already got the era score for converting Canada. Them being not like part of my religion doesn't really like matter in any meaningful way. Uh, if you convert them again. No, you can't do that. They can't. It's it's first time only. Oh. It is absolutely first time only, unfortunately. Right, get to here. We're not going to set up a miner here, obviously. They're backing off. Good. This are these tiles. These tiles. This is, this is, this is where shit gets sexy. Because all of a sudden, okay, fine. We're miles behind in science, but our culture is going to catch up in a bloody hurry. So, okay. Now we check the new appeal. Appeal here is looking good. That's, that's looking sexy. That's, that's solid right there. So, now what we want to do is yes you we want to chop but now we can start chopping now we can start chopping because we chop rainforest rainforest is needs needs to be chopped rainforest sucks no one likes rainforest so this is this is just free production for us we do have the ability to go for grove and that's going to be done in like no time unless we need housing is holding for now let's get the grove out like we need to start playing a culture game. Like, fine, we'll catch up on science later. We just need to not fall too far behind. But culture, we can keep up. And there's all sorts of wonders in culture that we've got a chance of getting. Oh, my goodness. I, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I saw that the moment it came in. But, but feel you free to... it out. Yep, I oh, did. Good. But feel free to but feel free to say thank you as well. Yes, thank you, Logan. And I'm really glad you won your claim. Yes, exactly. Uh, I mean, but look at this. I'm not, sometimes with uh, so, ooh. that's what a flipping preserve that's doing its job looks like. Mm. I know, sexy, sexy, sexy stuff right there. Uh, oh, we yes. have a new city as well. Basically, this is just aggressive attacking of Canada, and now we just need to find a way to get to Golden Age. And I don't know if it's going to even be possible. It depends when the Golden Age falls. There's, because it could be any time between, yep, yeah, there we go, you are, you, you're, me and your friends. It could be any time between 12 turns and 42 turns. When it says 12 to 42, what it generally means is 12. <laughs> um, that's what it means. So we're just going to send up to here. We've got an envoy. We could, we could become suzerain of Jerusalem. Now that means my cities with holy sites exert pressure as if they were holy cities. That would help protect my religion. And also, that's worth era score. So that's two era score. And also, we've learnt about... Oh, Hamiko. I could get a Hamiko out. I could get out... Yeah, dedication to Hamiko. But I would need the mon I need a monument to do it. Does anyone even have a monument? Does anyone, did anyone ever build a monument? You could have a monument in five and then three. And we could get out a hero. And then we could use that to catch up by basically just sending it into territory we don't like. And stealing shit. 
uh, like, you know, just messing with Canada, basically. Like, and Nancy in particular, who is allowed to basically steal other people's resources. Hamiko is very good. Hamiko's really good. Especially if it can, you know, for generating Era Skull, because you just go around basically plunking down, plunking down everything. Himiko is really good. Um, I'm tempted to go for Himiko. Uh, we just need to, yeah, get some. Yeah, Himiko is amazing. Himiko best hero. Himiko is. I I think Hercules is best hero. I, I I I will I will back Hercules as best hero. But I I, I agree she's what? pretty bloody good. Huh? Did you just call her Hercules? No, Hercules is best hero. Oh okay. No, Hercules is best hero. Hercules can just look at the district and say, "Bang, that's done now." Hercules mm. is so good. I'm sorry, but Hercules is best. I think Sinbad is second best. Sinbad is hilarious just because the amount of gold can turbocharge an early game. Like, if I got Sinbad, I'd be pro I'd be beelining that. Absolute priority. Right. All right. Also, yeah. your su superb uh, super chat reading of that message that came in reminded me and the rest of chat that... Oh, uh, fuck. What did I do? Yeah, you just haven't let me speak for a while. Oh, have I not? Really? Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is this right. is a tense game, as it turns I out. I know, I know, and you love it. Yes, but I do. Yes, we do have messages uh, in the. Well, I tell uh, you what, I think we're in a rel we're probably entering a relatively calm period right yeah. now. So this is a good time for you to do precisely some of that. Indeed, indeed. Uh, oh shit! Come here, broke the promise to me. <gasps> John did the thing! Kamea! I know. We were friends! We are friends! What the fuck are you doing? Their, their promise of not proselytizing. I can't believe this. What a bunch of penises. <laughs> they promised me they wouldn't! And then they did! I would never break a promise. Claire. Did you just break a promise to them? No. You know what? I'm glad Mapuche is having its ass handed to it by some ridiculously advanced barbarians who are just battering your cities. I'm glad that's happening. Yeah, look at that. 12 to 42 means 9, in fact. Uh, right, it's time for us to... I think this is actually... I think, I think your plan was... Your, your uh, Himiko plan was 8, right? Yeah, but it's not. I don't think it's enough. Um. Okay, let's just check the appeal ratings here. The appeal's looking good. And then if we, yeah, if we just tear down, if we go here and continue tearing this down, then that's going to be, yeah, the grove's going to be solid. Sadly, you don't get era score for amazing groves, which I think is really sad. Like, I think if you get them for amazing districts, you just get them for amazing groves because preserves can't generate era score. That's their one downside. Amazing districts can generate things, but um, groves can't. Uh, preserves just do not generate uh, era score ever. They just can't. There's no way to do it because they don't have adjacency, technically. Um, you can chop down that. Which is going to be fine. And that's going to get rid of all the local rainforest. Because fuck rainforest. I think we're going to miss out on Golden Age. And that's so sad. Uh, because even if we get 2-2-2. Two, two and two, You know what? I think we might want to maybe hold off on converting. And instead go all in on exactly the same next time. I think we just basically hold our, our missionaries back. And we do precisely the same next time. Next time we, we do uh, March the Evangelist and we have to go for Golden Age Renaissance. Because I do not think we're going to be hitting it this turn. I don't... Like, getting to 12 in 9 turns. I mean, I've got my Chariot Archer that in theory I could punch out. That would be 4. But then I'd need to convert so many cities and I, do, I don't even have the faith for another... No, it's not going to work. That's it's, a lot of necessary points. Yeah. Oof. Like, it's, it's not going to. So what we're going to do is you're just going to go to sleep here. And you're going to convert them at next era. So it's going to be normal era. If we're lucky, Canada theoretically could be in dark era. But I don't think so. And we're not taking that. I'm not giving you anything. I don't trust you. Uh, Canada could fall into dark age. It is unlikely. But it could happen. I, d I doubt it. I mean, I don't know what they have or haven't been doing. A yeah. shout out to Adam who uh, gave us $2 and says that guy's about to break his promise not to convert you just he, before he did that. He did. What a dick. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, as 
that that was very beautiful. That was very beautiful interrupting of me immediately after you said that it was a good time for me to read. Well, that I understand. So bad. No, I know, darling. I understand that. It's a bad thing. Uh, but shout out to Bendrix, who's been a member for 33 months. Uh, and since I haven't caught a stream in over a year, so excited to see one of my favorite games. Happy New Year, you wonderful people. Happy New Year. Uh, Smack gave us 150 uh, Serbian dinars uh, and a little, like, how is it going, uh, waving dog sticker. There are so many barbarians around Mapuche right now. He's just mm -hmm. getting he's just getting dog piled by barbarians on all sides. And I suspect my scout might be about to die to barbarian legionaries. No. Oh, wow. Good somersault. All right, my scout's dead. The, the Romans have stolen my cat. Bare minimum. I think we just got... That was my river, wasn't it? That just gained even more flipping. Yep, my river just got even better. Which is good. Okay, and also, equally importantly... Yep, look at that. That's now looking sexy Beautiful. as anything. So what we need to do now, I think is... Yes, if this is going to be also... Ah, but if this is... If that's a preserve, it's the best preserve we're going to get. But if that's a preserve, that's going to, yeah, mean it can only affect four tiles. Rather than the full surrounding six, which is what you really want. So I could just tear this down and then put up a sphinx. Uh, yes. Can I ask a stupid question? Yes. Uh, so you see the tile where you've got the pin right now? Yes. Why don't you do it like in the tile directly to the left of that. Because that, if I can improve it, will become a green tile. So like if I either tear down nearby rainforest that makes this tile lesser because rainforest is ugly and people hate it. This rainforest is nice because the nearby tiles are nicer than the rainforest itself which is passing on ugliness to this is why you need to think carefully when you're playing as Cleopatra. Mm. Because tiles aren't just their own charm they're also the ch they 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 impact the charm of their neighbors meaning mm. often an ug a tile that generates ugliness can itself be pretty if it's surrounded by prettiness yeah. it's re yeah this is why you need to think very carefully uh, but, but like, if it works you get shit like this yeah yeah i just thought that putting a preserve would like improve the tile uh, the preserve will improve all the tiles around it i'm still mm. thinking preserve him might be sensible but for the time being, we need to hold off. But Canada is determined not to lose Quebec. I think if we can lay enough pressure on them, we can do it. And if we just keep barreling up our population, and we are growing faster than them, eventually it will happen. Eventually they can't stop us. We can eat Quebec. Classical over in six. Okay. And speaking of which, do we need more housing? Housing is just holding, but it's not going to hold for long. I think we might need to potentially invest in, yeah, granaries here as well. Uh, granaries only four, only four turns. So we need the housing, if nothing else. We just need, like, that's the thing. High growth, high growth societies, like when you're playing games with lots of preserves and generating lots of food, you absolutely want 100% need, like, to be thinking about housing more often than you would otherwise. Like, Canada doesn't need to think about housing, because Canada's doing its own shit. Uh, Canada's, Canada's just busy uh, being growing at incredibly snail pace. But, okay, you... You could be taken down right now, I don't, because I don't, I don't want to have to buy this tile if I can avoid it. I want to save up my money to buying more builders, because the early game, generally, I'm spending all my gold on builders. But yes, we're holding for the time being. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to Gary, who gave us £20 and says that 2023 was awesome. Thank you, John, Claire, and Ted. Uh, what big release uh, are you most excited for this year? Ooh. I mean, well, you know what? We, when you say big release, um, the, oh, what's it called? The, is it the Little Squire? The, 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 the storybook game from Devolver Digital, I think, is, is going to be adorable. Bloodlines 2 is either going to be the best game ever or the worst game ever. It's either going to be a complete disaster or it's going to be incredible. It, it's hard to say. Uh, that one, I'm really looking forward to how the hell that one turns out. That's going to be really fascinating to see what the hell goes on there. Um, there is a, now a plus three right there. It's on Volcano, which I do not like. But, I mean, or Plaza or Theatre. I do, I really want Theatre. What's that theatre coming from? That's for adjacent. Oh, yeah, adjacent wonders, obviously. Uh, I could get a nice theatre square down. I feel like we need a campus and... In medieval, I think plus three isn't enough. 
to get you any to get you any bonus era score. Hmm. Because we've got you down, we've got the preserve down, and we've got that we've got this down. So this is now looking good. So we've now got this here, and we've got this here. So that's we're now going to start generating a lot of everything. And your housing should be okay. Yeah, eleven housing. You're going to be okay for housing for quite some time. I think we need to keep our. We need to let. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. This is. I'm gonna regret this because this is going to. This is going to cocking hurt. Um. I'm gonna lay that down just to lock it in. But I think actually I should go for settler and get a settler along here because I can just squeeze one in without the mapoot without it causing problems for the mapoot chain. And then. Uh yeah, and let's see. Um, mm -mm -mm. a government plaza in Shadet to apply pressure might work. That's Wait, from Adam. government? I know government plazas are uh, give loyalty to you, but do they apply? I'm not sure they provide. They provide loyalty to this city. I'm not sure they provide pressure to other cities. I'm not sure that's how that works. Mm. I, I'm not. I don't think that's how that works. Uh, I'm willing to be corrected, but I don't believe that's how that is. Uh, and Adam also says, uh, Adam also gave us two uh, dollars and says, save the missionary to reconvert your capital. Uh, I don't need to reconvert my capital. My capital's fine. Uh, but there's various people mentioning that if you would stop focusing on uh, converting Quebec for a minute, you could reconvert your cities that are slipping away from moose religion yeah but it's gonna be difficult to get enough uh to get enough people out to make it happen so i'm just going to hold out for now and we're just going to yeah we're going to convert everyone over here that's absolutely fine the downside is it's gonna take missionaries bloody ages to get over to our cities but like i think we're just gonna start it's three turns we cannot do it so we're gonna do it next era we're going to go absolutely bananas and we're just gonna punch it there's a good natural defense here we're a little bit pinned in. Uh, this is what you don't want to see. You're just a little bit pinned in, which makes me think we might want to start looking at islands. And there's Everything random extra era score from I am working. Recorded history. I could get bonus uh, adjacency districts. Yeah, screw scientist points. Get me a bit more. That's worth an extra two science, which I know doesn't sound that much, but at this point in the game, it's not nothing. And it's going to, it'll, it'll become better as time goes by. And now, yeah, two turns to go. You can't do anything. I think we've kind of seen everything there is to see around here. So you just get moving back over in this direction. Currency. Currency is interesting. Currency, yeah, trade routes is a good way of booting bits and pieces. Let's get currency moving in the right direction. Civic and what do we want to be moving towards here? Anything that would give us... Oh, you know what? Feudalism. Feudalism for, yeah, just pow mega powering my forts, uh, my farm, sorry, is interesting. And then governor title, we could go up to ritual, That's it's, that'll be medieval, so yeah, if we could just hold that, we could get the guild of vault, we do not need the guild of vault. Pingala, Moksha is interesting, but again, we're not playing a religious game, we just are religious. Uh, land acquisition, ooh, Reina. And forestry management. Oh, now that's interesting. Because, yeah, there is a whole bunch of unimproved things around here. Like, yeah, here, 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 and here. Raina is, yeah, there's more forest around here. If we kind of give her there, that's, that's a good, that's a good four. And, ooh, Raina is never going to hurt. Yeah, plus two gold for every. And also... Tiles adjacent to unimproved features receive plus one appeal. Mm. That's interesting. I hadn't really thought about that. But then well, that, that would mean Raina would that... be stuck in that city forever, which is not good. Doesn't that kind of negate the fact that those tiles mm. are giving ugly points to the tiles next door? Kind of, yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get Raina out. Raina is good. We'll just get Raina down Akata and Akatata and we'll work from there. That's going to be fine. It's going to be a new era. Mm. If Kand is in a golden age, that could be kind of bad. Uh, but even then, I don't think they can put enough pressure on us to make anything bad happen, to be honest. And then we've got settlers over here. No one can settle in this no man's land. Classical era in one. There is the settler. 
I am going to go and forward settle these fuckers because they did it to me first. And whether this is going to work out or not, I don't know. But basically, fuck you, Dex. Um, you shouldn't have done that to me. To be honest, actually, if we're going into, like, si a sixth city, for the fact we've not had a Golden Age yet, that's not bad. Uh, that's that's actually quite pleasing. Sorry, I keep saying at some point you're going to be allowed to speak, and it just doesn't seem to happen, does it? Carry on, Claire. I've, um... You know what? I, I, I'm I somewhat experienced with that issue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, shout out to Alaria, who uh, has been a member for 70 months uh, and says it might be late for you, but it's perfect timing for me in Australia. Uh This is also one of my favorite games of all time, so it's a great start to my Friday. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, yes. I'm tempted just to, actually, to be honest, just to go for more settlers out of this city, but where would they go? Like, I can put one settler here, and I'm planning to put one settler here. Every other settler hasn't really got anywhere else to go, so for the time being, let's just improve these cities. So, and actually, a water mill's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, let's, let's say that for now. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. The Great Loud Lobster has been a member for 29 months and says, Happy New Year and thank you for lifting my mood while I was sick over New Year's with Victorian Orphan Chic. Uh, that was great. I loved House Flipper 2's stream. That was such fun. That was a very good stream. Like, 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 and for this. Like, sometimes I walk away from a stream and just say, You know what? That was an okay stream. I, it, wasn't, it didn't quite work out as I wanted it to. And I, 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 I'm a, my own biggest critic. But I wonder the thing. I, like, I watch it, over that one. Be like, yes, spot on, nailed it. It's and never like uh, because normal age Canada. At least it's not golden age. Yeah. Oh, but dark age Mapuche. Mm. That's intriguing. Oh, could we lay pressure on them? I mean, that's, they're a bit awkwardly placed for me to put pressure on them, but we'll have to say. And yes, we're going for Exodus of the Evangelist again, but this time we're going to convert you. And we're going to convert our cities back. And we're going to start converting you. There we go. So there we go. We've immediately started earning points. And then these guys have already, like, mostly converted to me. So then we're just going to bring you over to here. Just maybe, yeah, uh, go in this direction. Don't go into the fog of war. Um, oh, sorry. If at all possible. Um, Claire, by the way, if you wonder why you occasionally have muttered apologies, Claire likes turning her chair and sort of banging her chair into me on occasion. She's a monster, basically. You have a, a bunch more room on the other side. I'm squished in. It's true, but if I do that, my hands aren't in the right place to comfortably play the game. I have to go to shuffle a tiny bit. Claire's shuffling me away from the mic. I'm basically being censored right now. Yeah, right. I wonder how that feels. Right, right to here. So, okay, and now we just basically start spamming missionaries constantly. For now, Canada is holding, but we'll have to, we, like, we have to take Quebec City. But we're going to take Quebec City off Canada. Fuck Canada. Quebec City's going to belong to us, damn it. Preserve, meanwhile, if we want to get that done, we have to, yeah, if we want to start building this preserve at Thebes, and I think we absolutely should, then this needs to go here. And this is going to be where that is. And this should be a very good preserve. We haven't got a Sphinx down yet. Uh, anywhere in this city. Just remind me of Sphinxes. Uh, here. I do like how you get it so early in the game. So, yeah. It's always plus one faith plus culture. Always boost appeal plus two. And plus two faith if it's next to a wonder. It provides bonus culture if it's on a floodplain. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, it might guide you into which way you went. But it, you wouldn't, like, make absolutely hardcore decisions uh, based on that alone. But, yeah, I can't help but notice what we do have here is, yeah. If we did want to put that there, this would be a good spot for a Sphinx, potentially. Because then it boosts this tile. It boosts this tile as well. So if we were to put a preserve here, it would help them out. So at some point, I may, when we next have a build route, I might sphinx up this spot. Because I think that put, would be... Put, put a pin. Yeah, you know what? That's that's sensible. Let's 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 just sphinx this up. There we go. Bow chicka pow, sphinx. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Things should now be a little bit calm. Please don't move your stupid thing. There we go. Don't block the space I'm planning to move into. 
Thank you. Okay. He's going to be annoyed at me, by the way. Oh, the World Congress exists. That's that's lovely. Um, I, I don't particularly care. Um, let's have great scientist points. And if you want to send trade routes to me, great. But I'm not wasting any of my diplomatic favor on it. Uh, I, I don't care. This, this isn't important to me right now. And great admirals don't earn points. And someone we haven't met gets better trade routes. Hooray, I guess. Right, there's another two points from converting Shadet back over to my side. This guy starts moving in the right direction. And yeah, we're starting to starting to make some progress here. Starting to make some progress. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. I've got somebody in chat asking uh, when the December patron cast might come out. Uh, I don't know precisely. Like in like a week and a half or something. We've got a bit. We've got a bit delayed because there's the been no year. Works. It's the new year. Well, it is out. It is, well, the, the submission threads are out. It's yeah. new year. We're labeling it. It's new year. Yeah, but what I'm saying is there's been like roadworks this week and there's been a jackhammer. So we've been just a bit slowed down. Yes. In our work, which is unfortunate. Precisely. And if I can, I would like to sneak this before they get it. Whether I'm going to be able to or not is questionable. So, okay. What does appeal look like down here, by the way? Uh, not terrible. Like, I can, I can imagine we could potentially do some good stuff. Yeah, like this spot here might be a really nice... Yeah, that's it. That's that's the spot. That's my that's my spot for a preserve. Preserve is going northwards. That's a lovely spot for a preserve. Uh, so, in which case, in the meantime, focus on... Do you have anything you can do? The problem is, yeah, this is, this is desert space. We're relying entirely on these handful of uh, squares to keep us going, but they're not going to be doing that much for us. And it is still fresh water. We've got literally no... Uh, yeah, we've got literally no amenities for this society, so that's, that's good. Uh, maybe just focus on, yeah, granary. I mean, the nice thing is, culture makes city grow fast. So we'll hopefully expand to this tile before they get it, because obviously resources on floodplains are worth a lot to me. So we'll see what happens there. And we'll see also maybe if there's a different, better spot available for, um, yeah, the preserves. We'll have to bloody see as time goes by. And yes, I promise I'll settle elsewhere in future. Lol, I'm, I'm lying. I'm not going to. Right. So right now we're losing loyalty, but only a little bit. So there's an emergency somewhere, but it doesn't involve me, so I don't care. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Dreams of Quiet well, Calamity, not... who uh, gave us $5. Grand username. Mm -hmm. uh, and says, John, I will pay real money for you to play Red Dead Redemption 2 on April Fool's Day and compliment it as a bold new direction for the Pippa Funnel series. I feel like that would be not popular in various mm. ways. Yes, indeed. Uh, dear, oh dear. Sag uh, has been a member for 43 months and says, yes, more Civ 6. And I wish you all the best for 2024. And to you too. And to you too indeed. And everybody in chat, of course. Uh, I'm going to need your help for this one. Oh uh, dear. Bitter Magic uh -huh. gave us uh, $20. Why is that not that bad? Hello, headquarters. I've seen a moose. I'm going to pet it. Yes, I'm going to pet it. There you go. That's it. Sorry, right. I can't really do the Hello Headquarters voice and I didn't uh -huh. ruin it. Okay, plus one housing in the event of that. I'll leave that for now. We don't need that urgently. But yeah, Mapuche is rapidly coming round to being my religion, which is good. And I'm pretty sure we just saw Auckland, which I've already got to... Was I the first person to discover them? If so, how did I discover them? Also, are you guys sitting on floodplain? St everyone, can everyone just stop it? Auckland's really good, by the way. Uh, but only if you've got water. How did you discover them? I don't... Oh, they sent a boat over here. They, they sent a boat and they were just like, Hey, does anyone exist? And I was the first person they found. And thus, they gave me a settler. Sorry, they gave me an envoy, but it counted as two. Because it was the first one ever. So that's that's bloody convenient. Uh, okay, that's that's great. What did you want me to do, by the way? You want me to... Oh, they want to be converted religiously. I'd love to convert you too, but I'm not sure I know how boats work. If you can give one of my guys a lift back to your island, I will convert you. 
Can you not build build some form some form of a port in uh, a cannon? Not yet. No. Okay. Bloody hell. That's that's I that's don't know. that's well beyond does for the time being. Also, oh dear, we might have to pay these guys I off. I don't know. I don't really understand this game. Well, it's it's this is a particularly complex society mm. to understand. Boats are much later down the line, and please convert straight away. Didn't convert straight away, but that's fine. They're going to convert. And you're going to convert too, so okay. Oh. Yes. Shout out to MB Brit who says, uh, in honor of, in honor of this stream, I'm going to get a Blame Canada burger from a nearby burger place. Nice. It's a beef burger with poutine on it. Nice. That sounds delicious. I love poutine. Yeah. Various people have said, oh, now now that we've talked of ca Canada so much, I'm hungry. I'm getting poutine for dinner, uh -huh. and I'm so fucking jealous. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. Okay, what we need to do is we need to sort out, yes, these individuals. Uh, you've just popped up. There's Canada is trading with me. Good, 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 good. What we need to do is, yeah, we need to get you up to here in this direction just to settle over in the here, which is good. Your housing is okay. Amenities are low. We might just need to train a builder normally just for the sake of locking down some luxuries. Because we could lock down jade and cotton. Actually, we've already got cotton. We need uh, we need to lock down the jade. We have very few luxury goods, I'll admit. There's problems with this location, I will not deny. Right, take you out. And you are now badly wounded. And hopefully, Khmer will take care of this barbarian encampment for me. You're just walking in that direction. Ooh, uh, speaking of which, there you go, harbors. Nice. We can start working. We can start producing boats in the future. And we need to lock down this location so it does not go. It doesn't uh, break. Because until once we start getting more people on board, it'll be fine. But it's going to take time to do it. Actually, you know what? You are growing by yourself in just nine turns. We'll take that, which is good. Yeah, that's that's a okay. Ooh, it's going to be close, but I think we could just about survive it. Now, there's no point us getting additional... Yeah, get get working on the campus again. And you're just going to go north. And you're going to do with the scout before it becomes a problem. You're going to keep the pressure on Canada. You're just going to keep growing forever. And that's going to help pressure on uh, Naken. It's all going to be fine. Oh, that's true. We can get a hero out. Let's, that's a, absolutely a thing Thebes should be working on. We'll do that before we finish anything else, though. Ah, the reason we're not working on the preserve is because, yeah, the scouts started standing in, so we couldn't work on it. Clam! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Jackie, who gave us $25 uh, and says, uh, I've been watching for four years and um, catching uh, mm, 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 and catching my first live stream. Sorry. Uh, I fell in love via Crusader King 3 videos and started watching stream VODs thanks to Claire playing Dorf Romantic. Aww. Uh, thank you for years of laughter, especially during my COVID this past week. I'm doing great, and I don't have COVID brain at all. Nice. Uh, my dogs say hi to Ted. Oh, good dogs. Ted, Ted loves that. Ted likes that. Mm. Ted's up for that. Okay, still 50 turns to go. We're making good, solid progress here. Let's get you back down over here. They are just, they're expanding so aggressively uh, in this bit of the world. We're going to have to send a governor down just to stabilize Neken until it starts uh, so it starts growing a little bit more. You are, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have moved to this tile. That could potentially cause trouble. Guys, could you maybe deal with this barbarian situation for me? Ideally, that would be, that would be great. I'd really, truly appreciate that. So, okay. We just need to survive long enough. For, yes, this whole... This is... Everything's going to be fine, probably. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Martial Artiste, uh, who gave us... Uh, who's been a member for two months, even. Uh, and uh, says, Start that garden indoors! FYI, that came in about the time that I made that joke about Russian Before we gardening. actually started playing. Yeah, 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 yeah before yeah, we actually yeah, started yeah, playing. Yeah. I see, I see. When we were doing I, the I, I see the problem, yes. Yes. Um, Martial Artist, I am, I'm working on that. I've just, uh, I'm working on my indoor seed starting setup, indeed. Uh, so, yes. 
Oof. Let's see. Now there is a nice, easy, simple, yeah, campus that could be put down over here. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, sorry, a commercial hub even. Commercial by river is just an easy plus two. There's a plus three here from adjacent district, but I do not want to be, you know, building on that space because then it wouldn't count anymore. So, I mean, we could also just build over here because then in when there is eventually a harbor, they will mutually support each other. So yeah, having a commercial hub over there is not the worst thing in the world. Do you need granary for housing? Housing is holding for now. Let's get commercial hub out instead. Yeah, that's fine. First ever commercial hub. Only a plus two, but it will be boosted by the harbor down the line. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to David and Nick, uh, who both became new channel members today. So welcome to the Green Club, uh, folks. I've got a lot of messages about the Zoo Tycoon video, by nice. the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Shout out to Excelsius, who's been a member for 75 months. Uh, and says, I loved, loved, loved John fulfilling librarian Seth's thousand day wish. Nice. I hope you two had a good entry into 2024. Will Claire stop John from saying just one more turn? Never. No. No, absolutely no. not. I'm literally right now being paid to not do that. Yeah. Mm. Right, back to the preserve. Now we've driven off the scout, which oh, is dear. good. You are not rebelling for some time. This society is just growing really fast, which is really positive. Your promise to Canadian. Okay, we, prom we promised the Canadians we wouldn't forward settle them. That has now been officially done. But there is no way for us to keep doing it. They're just a little bit. There's just even though it feels like this weird giant area here. It's just a little bit too close to the existing cities. And okay, defense. change policies if we want to. Defensive buildings. Uh, oh, mausoleum is nice, but I'm not really by the sea right now, so it doesn't really matter to be honest. But more importantly, the governor title is, I think, we want to. Yes, probably get. Then again. Uh, do we need to rush Victor? Victor feels unnecessary. Hmm. Getting Liang active and operational, never cocking a hurts. Yeah, I'm just going to send Liang down to uh, our new city just to just to firm up its loyalty. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, you're now growing nicely. You're nearly done with your holy site, which will also represent production. Which is great. Campus is all almost done here. This city's ready to go down. Right over here. Edfu! I like that. It's a good name. Also, apparently there's stuff going on around the corner here that we did not realize previously, which is delightful. Uh, and we have got some... Ooh, plus four holy sign. Now, that's Ew. worth some stuff. That suggests this is probably... Probably, yeah, there's not much going on here. You are... This is zero amenities available, lol. Um, yeah. That suggests that's probably... Uh, let's get a campus down. There's a plus three campus here, but I wouldn't mind the plus four. Just for safety. Just for now. What are you working on, by the way, that you're taking? No, don't work on the coffee. We'll do the coffee later. Not co Coffee later, not now. Okay. Uh, Check the state of the appeal. There's maybe something we could do around here. I mean, if, if this is already green and with this much rainforest around, that suggests to me... Something could be done, though we'd need to chop that down, which we won't be able to do. So that's going to be difficult. Uh, for the time being, focus on just get granary down while you're doing some initial growing. That's that's fine. It will it will artificially boost you a bit more down the line. It's going to be fine. We'll just we'll, I just want to see what's going on around the corner. And you just keep trying to convert these dicks. This is. The population so big, it's actually difficult to convert my own cities back to this. No, you're not getting open borders, especially off of 21 gold. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Okay, you cleared out those barbarians. That's excellent. Thebes is looking strong. We are recovering loyalty here. The question is whether ultimately, yeah, the loyalty from Akitatan can help try and knock down Kompong Sve. In a golden age, a theoretically, it's possible, but it's going to be tricky. You, by the way, are... You know what? I should just be trying to convert the rest of Canada. The rest of Canada is an easier mark than trying to bring my own bloody settlements <laughs> back on board. Hilariously. Uh, it's going to take... Yeah, that's going to be quite tricky to... Quite tricky to bloody do. Uh, so, yes, we'll have to see about that. Claire! 
Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Paul who gave us five dollars uh, and says, I'm going to be very sad if John doesn't build a few more zoos. We will definitely build. Zoos are quite deep into the tech tree. We'll see whether we get to zoos. I think they mean in Zoo Tycoon. Oh, fair enough. This was during the Zoo Tycoon conversation. Uh, as we mentioned in uh, in chat uh, at the very beginning of the stream, um, we would love to stream Zoo Tycoon. It's just that we literally have it running tricky. on a different computer, different computer. because uh, John's computer doesn't have a CD drive. Exactly. Uh, Hilariously. So, yeah. I mean, we could record it, so presumably we would be able to stream it, but we just need to like put it into place, and we haven't. Yes. We didn't have Bit time to do that today. Side. You know. Bit on the tricky side. We'll have to say. Uh, but that is. I mean, you know. I don't think you would object to it on Not a... Not in like, the yeah, slightest, exactly. no. Uh, Grey Morality gave us $5. It says, Day 1 of Asking for Civilization 3. Lol. Uh, and Lupus uh, also gave us $5 and wanted to know how many days in a row from the next video request. And is that number higher for a series? <laughs> yes, definitely. Mm. 100%, yeah. Dear, oh dear. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple more comments, and then I've got a lot of uh, fun questions to, oh dear. to dig into. Right, okay. To yeah. Toss those at me. Uh, well, let's start with uh, just the comments, because I think they came earlier. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, shout out to uh, Keenan, who gave us £10. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, I've been watching for a few years now, and I just wanted to say thank you for all the content. Uh, it's helped me get through some seriously tough times with my mental health. Oh, well, well glad to help. Hopefully very things glad are going we better. can help. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's always... Librarian Seth points out in chat that Zoo Tycoon has expansions that add dinosaurs, and you can use a cheat code for unicorns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Technically, unfortunately, it was day two of requesting Zoo Tycoon that you specified that you wanted to do all the DLC. That was a different request. The first request simply stated that you wanted it to be Zoo Tycoon. So I kind of feel like that one's on you. Yeah, but you know how you said that if they requested it for 1,230 days, they could have it? Yeah. And then you recorded the video, and then another day happened, and they requested it again, and they did day 1,231. No, it, it has to reset straight back down to 1,000. Straight back down to zero. It has to be another 1,230 requests before we do Zoo Tycoon again. Mm -hmm. Or indeed Zoo Tycoon 2. Dear, oh dear. Uh, Dan gave us uh, £10 and uh, is giving some love for the Starfield series. Hey, John, Claire, and Chad, I wanted to say I'm loving Starfield. I'm a bit behind, but I'm looking forward to you finding a Sports Direct mug and then having to expand your ship to accommodate it. <laughs> the problem is, it's just I, the, the fact that you, every cocking thing constantly resets, so you have to constantly um, relay out, have to constantly relay out uh, all of your mugs every time you make any change to the ship. is so annoying. Just let us save where things are if we've not made any changes to the internals. Come on, game. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, we're ready for more missionaries. But I think these missionaries ought to go, yeah, just north. Because some of these are, like, half ready to convert already, though. Ooh, Hinduism is a thing that exists. Somebody is doing Hinduism. Okay, that's of interest. And this trade has got to be nearly ready to be... Uh, changed about so we can start having roads running down south as well. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, this is interesting. Shout out to Darth Sasquatch mm -hmm. uh, who gave us $5 and wants to know, John and Claire, um, if you could spend a day with any historical figure, who would it be? Aristophanes. Would you go to their time or bring them forward? Definitely theirs, because we need to see what the what the theatre looked like in action. Aristophanes, every time. Not even difficult. Aristophanes, let's go. Mm -hmm. Right, let's look at the appeal of this new preserve. That's looking... Mm, okay. I think we need to... Yeah, we need to destroy... We need to destroy this. This needs to be torn down. If we tear that down, that will probably be okay. That campus, unfortunately, got just got immediately caught in a... Uh, Yes, that campus got immediately caught in a bit of an issue there. Okay, let's 
fix the campus quickly, which is only going to take two turns. You, I need to buy a new builder for 370. I also need to, yeah, if I can, that I could use that to get coffee in the Empire. Then the Empire would have coffee and Claire would be happy again. Yes. Uh, Claire, Claire definitely wants there to be coffee in the Empire. Um, you, buddy, can just have, yeah, focus on the grove over here. You're growing nicely. We don't have the iron to make you into a warrior, which is a shame. You are trying to expand. Stop trying to expand. Jesus, Khmer, chill out. Okay, Khmer's being very aggressive on the expansion. This is really, this should be my territory. And Khmer's doing that. So we've got like some cities down. And Canada, meanwhile, is absolutely aggressively refusing to let Quebec go. All right. Quebec wants to join, leave Canada and join Mooseland. Respect their wishes, Canada. Goodness sake. Eventually, they won't be able to stop us. We'll be able to lose Golden Age pressure, especially if they go into a Dark Age. And they seem to be kind of stagnant right now. As an age request, we don't know who it's for, so it doesn't affect us in the slightest. Everything's going to be fine. And, and we're pretty close. Yeah, I need to buy this so I can see what's going on. Does this actually keep going? What the shit is going around the corner over here? This is okay. This, I think we just need to start building. It's, there's a plus five? I think that might be a dead end. Possibly. Who, who cares? It's a plus five. Is that, it would also be a plus five holy site. Let's just get the plus four. Let's get the plus, you know what? There's this era score in them there hills. All right. That's that's the thing we need to focus on. Uh, literally, this is this is how Civ works. There is era score in them there hills. That's, that's, that's how it just functions. Um, right. As soon as you get up to four, we'll probably put a... Yeah, we'll put a McJibble down here. We'll put preserve down here. That'll be that preserve. Then we can have double preserve around here. Uh, double preserve beam will be magnificent. Everything's going to be fine. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to MB Brit, who gave us 10 Australian dollars. Uh, and uh, says, Merry New Year. A dollar for every year I've been watching many a true nerd. 2023. Sorry. <laughs> 2023 was rough, but your content has kept me going. I am doing a week-long course at Oxford this year. Ooh. John, any highlights I need to see? Uh, I don't know if they do guest passes to the Oxford Union, which is the debating society. Uh, if they can, it's uh, the bar is cheap and the guests are interesting. Uh, but but I mean, it's probably changed a lot in the 20 odd years uh, oh, since Jesus. I've been there, so I feel like I shouldn't. The ice cream place. Uh, G and D's, yep. Yeah. Uh, G and D's ice cream. There's one down by Christchurch, one up in Jericho to the north, and I think there was a third one down in Cowley somewhere. Uh, but I never went to that one, I don't think, and some misremembering. So yeah, there was uh, yeah G and D's for the ice cream. Excellent ice cream in wacky flavors. Do I want to try and get a good commercial hub down, or do I want to try and go for... Oh, yes, Monument. Let's get Monument down, because we do need to maybe get a hero out, because we're up to 53 out of 55. We've got 40 turns left to go, and we've got a lot of converting we can nice. do yet. Nice. This is it. Golden Renaissance, which is... I mean... Then we can start converting our faith into settlers. They will need to use medieval to try and figure out where those settlers are going to go. Because it's fine being able to pump out settlers. But if they can't cocky do anything, what's the point? Uh, so, okay. You convert Winnipeg uh, to be more moosey. It's almost ready to go already. And you are now starting to stabilize a little bit. What can we do to maybe... Uh, you could have a commercial hub. You have a harbor, hilariously. But commercial hub's got to be for the better. Yeah, the commercial hub's the uh, the better option right there. Though the commercial hub will mean eating, yeah, what would be nice territory here. Let's just uh, appeal this. Where's the right appeal option? I feel like the right appeal option is, in fact, yeah, up top. It's up top. It's not down south. So don't worry about the appeal of these particular things. Just get a commercial up down there. Let's just get some more traders out as soon as possible. Once these are done, we'll start getting more passive income in. Everything's fine. And there should be... Yeah, when we upgrade Reyna next, we can, at that point, start, uh, yeah, getting some extra additional gold off the various forests. And whatnot. Also, you should be. Uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You do one more convert, please. There we go. There's another two. So we're at 55 that we needed. Are you in the right city? Swap over. That should be. 
Is that worth... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that losing... Does it lose... Yeah, it loses one. It loses... It gains an extra food from being inside this territory. But these guys aren't working it anyway. Because, just because, yeah, this is... They've just got better tiles to work. So it actually doesn't matter. So in which case, you may as well have it. Because at least then, you know, you will want it at some point. We can farm that. That's worth housing. It's all going to be fine. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Oh, a shout out to Chitara, who's been a member for four years uh, and wants to know, John, what is your best advice for a Civ 6 newbie uh, that you wish you knew the first few times you played? Ooh, interesting. You should... Mm. <laughs> early game expansion. If you don't expand pretty aggressively early game, you're going to find yourself like boxed in and even though i've expanded pretty aggressively even so i'm now a bit boxed in i am now more boxed in than i would like to be uh which is a problem so yes that's a problem you are are you moosey you're getting towards being a moosey so yeah we'll need we'll need more to also go and finish off these guys but that's another two settlements we can get up here we've got to convert to these guys your dominant religion you're going more Buddhism, which is interesting. So we need to get, yeah, the next, uh, can we get you out? Uh, we can, but I'm going to wait one turn, because once this is out, then you'll be able to spawn it at shit at, and that will be much easier to work with. And then, do I want market? I mean, market is gold, and gold is good, but holy site is nice too. There's not really a great place to put the holy site. Adjacencies are not Cleopatra's strong suit. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go for an 11 turn, 11 turn market, 11 turn market. Let's just check the settler lens quickly. We could squeeze in another town over there, which is of interest. Whether it would be really worth. I mean, it's a town. A town is district. This is why you want to expand aggressively. It, like, unlike in real life, where like a town in an awful environment would just be, you know, would probably turn out to be a money sink. You can't lose money on a town in Civ. Mm -hmm. A town is an environment that is one land that belongs to you, and two, like the ability to produce more uh, population and the ability to produce more districts, and districts produce, you know, produce resources and resources win the game. Like, a, like having more towns is pretty much an unquestionable good. There's nothing bad about having ten bajillion towns. So maybe just having one extra town right over here, just for the sake of yeah, literally it's there is not gonna it's not gonna hurt unless these guys decide to go and get it first. But what you may but notice wouldn't is wouldn't it be better to have an extra town in between like Akitatan and Nikon because it's got Oasis tiles? Uh, but I'm not sure it's even possible. Oh, fair enough. Uh, I do not know how it works to settle new cities in looking, this game. There is, is one spot confusing. that would be acceptable, but it will be surrounded, so oh, it's not going to work. The yeah. settler lens says no, it's now too close to other ah, to I It's see. now too close to other towns, unfortunately. There's like a few spots that will be uh, uh, far enough away, but I'd be suffering loyalty penalties. But I could get over here. There's one spot that is acceptable to settle over there. Now, what we should, however, do is have a look see at our different. Yeah, remind me how a Nancy works. I quite like. I think a Nancy is pretty good. So a Nancy is yeah, can ignore penalties while moving around. When used on a bonus of extra resource, consumes the resource and converts it into a giant burst. Any improvement present is destroyed. I could use that to go and fuck up Canada. Um. Operation fuck up Canada. Let's go. Anyway, uh, shout out to uh. Yeah, various people in chat. Joseph, uh, Joseph Maxwell, uh, who both point out that you can lose things. Cities can go rogue. Uh, if a town gets taken by another civ, you uh, have you lost money on it? True. I suppose technically you could argue you invested production into a settler, and if that settler then loses, but like as long as you're not ridiculously going out the way, like if you're if you're in your core empire where you're very safe and the territory is firmly yours, having a few more territories in it, mm. yes, then that's going to be that's going to work for you. Now I'm going to get another four era score for the chariot archer if I'm um, when I build that. I'm not sure we need to like rush that or anything. This city has. Buh, 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 buh. Could do with more amenities because everything needs more cocky amenities. Um, let's get you. Yeah, let's just get you a granary in play for the time being. That's fine. Once we save, I need to save up money for. 
yeah, Ed Fu to basically just get coffee. Coffee is is how we're going to is how we're going to save the world. Coffee is going to sort out everything, isn't it, Claire? Yeah, absolutely. Damn yeah, straight. That's how I feel about that's it. That's how it all works. The times. Mm -hmm. But you may notice, by the way, that Netkin is already up to three people, whereas their town over here, mm -hmm. at Kong Pond's Fair, has only got two. This is why we want to be playing this game. This is why we want to be playing that game right there. And uh, feudalism is nice, so grouped farms will start kind of, you know, making giant piles of bits and pieces. We might theoretically have some grouped farms. Uh, not particularly on this occasion. We could have uh, a selection of farms around here. If we were to need them, we're okay for the time being. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to a Verdant Squire who gave us five pounds and wants to know, Hey, John, what's the funnest Fallout series you've done for the channel, including mods like Frost? <sighs> funnest? Yeah. I think there was a lot of joy in creating Fallout 3 Kill Everything because so much of that was completely improvised on the fly, which looking back was insane that we just improvised that. It was barely planned at all. Like some of the best bits that series were literally like I was walking to where I was planning to do the episode and walked past him and thought, oh shit, that would be a really good spot for X, Y, or Z, uh, which was remarkable when you think about it. Uh, that was really fun uh, to put together. Um, there's a, there's something I'm thinking of putting together. It will be an insane amount of work, potentially, but I think it could be really fun that I'm really looking forward to putting together. So no spoilers, but I've kind of got something in mind for the future that could be really fun, actually. You'll have to give me spoilers over dinner. I'll give you spoilers over dinner. Uh, is Shadet on fire right now? Red Rune wants to know. Some of Shadet is on fire, but oh people dear. just, uh, but like that, they'll, they'll, those forests will just, they'll come back. Uh, better and stronger. It's good. Forest fires are good in the long run because it'll it'll come back later. There's a Nancy. A Nancy is now here. So what we want to do now is we want to say, oh shit. Hey Canada, Canada just lost two populations to that fire. <gasps> they were working the tiles as they caught fire, meaning Canada is now way more vulnerable to potentially being sniped. Okay. Hey Canada, remember those open borders that you wanted all this time? I would love to have open borders so that, like, you know, we can... Oh, make the deal more equitable. Out of, yeah, for eight gold and for pigs. Yeah, give me the pigs. I need the pigs. Okay, so now now we've got open borders with Canada, meaning my my, my friend Nancy feels like coming into your town. He's, yeah, just to, like, you know, help them rebuild. Exactly. He's uh, From the fire. And Nancy, as you could clearly see, is a good person who's here to, like, do good things. And, and not basically steal all your luxury resources and convert them into fuel. <laughs> it's all going to be fine. Uh, dear, oh dear. It's Abadana, uh, which I don't really want or need. I could get a light. Yeah, I feel like I should get a bit of... I mean, I'm, I'm behind in science. Culture is not so bad. Culture is harder to get in the early game. That's not so bad. Uh, yeah, keep on keeping on. Everything's gonna be fine. This is this is looking uh, sort of okay. Claire, this is very sweet. Uh, Maxwell in chat says, honestly, podcasts podcasts seem super fun to make in general. It seems like you have a lot of fun when you're with Dan and Matt in collaboration. I remember when you guys first connected. Good times. You've come so far. Yeah, the, the, it it is nice and easy to put together. We we just sort of, we can just flow into each other without much effort, which is always lovely when you find people you can do that with. Plus, Matt edits it, so it's no work for me, which is great. No less editing, spectacular. Good. Less editing is the good stuff. Damn it. Yeah, but I, I do remember, like, I was working, I was working a, in an office in a different job mm -hmm. when Dan first messaged you. Yes, I said you were freaked out, DM, yeah. about it. That was fun. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Lip cube. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it was adorable. Okay, so there we go. The forest is now regrowing and it's stronger. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to come over here. And we're just going to steal this. And we're just going to basically steal this and convert it into a giant pile of culture. Normal people believe oh, there we go. Look at that. I've just, I've just made kill. huge amounts of tech progress. We're going to catch up by basically stealing everything in Canada that's not nailed down. We're going to steal the entirety of Canada. That's that's my plan for getting caught up at this point. So, oh, you know what? Auckland. Let's put one envoy there. That lets, that's t another two. There's Hippolyta, who's not so exciting to my mind. So, Auckland is... Hang oh, hang on. Auckland just showed me a huge amount of info. Oh, shit. Hey, remember how I was just saying we need new lands? 
Guess what Auckland just showed me? Mm. A giant island that nice. Auckland lives on with no one else on it. And then more... Oh, shit. This is... Oh, this is this is the shit right build here. Build some boats, build some boats, build some boats. You ain't wrong. Let's fucking go. We now know where our future lies. We're, we're boxed in here. But if we can beat Kamea to this island, to whatever's going on over here, uh, one on the bottom of this island, this island over here, before Canada gets to it, we're fucking... Oh, yeah. This is... This is... This is... Okay. So, Canada, we're sending in the devil to basically tear down anything that's not nailed down. And then... Which is going to help us catch up and tack. And then we, we're going in. Okay, are we, have we already got all of the tech we need for? Yeah, all, um, all land units can already embark. Great. Mathematics, let's go. We're going to that island. That's how we catch up. This is how we catch up right here. Is there even some flipping flood? There's no floodplain there. There might be some floodplain over on this side. There could be a little bit of floodplain, we'll have to say. Right. We now know when we hit our golden renaissance era, this is where we're going. This is what we're doing with it. So, okay, let's get more missionaries out over here. That's absolutely fine. You, buddy, are going to convert Thebes. And then you're going to convert Nakan, which should be pretty easy to do. And then, you know what? These dicks converted my cities. Fuck them. I'm converting theirs. They've got no right to complain. Is, um, is Thebes still not Moosey? Thebes is kind of still not moosey. Yeah. But we can fix that. We're gonna, I'm going to go send people around to fix that. Candace are probably going to at some point say, could you please tell the devil to stop ste literally stealing my resources from me? Uh, and if, if he does say that, we'll have to say yes. But I'm not sure whether Candace knows how to ask me to stop doing this. So it's any bonus or luxury resource, but not strategic. So we can steal bananas. I'm going to go and... Ha ha! I'm going to steal your bananas, Canada. What are you going to do about it, you stupid dicks? This is excellent. The chat would like to remind you to not go around calling other people's gods the devil. On top of all the colonizers. Wait, is, is, wait, I thought Nancy was like a, a mythological hero. I didn't realize actually this was a religious thing. Like all the others aren't. Like Sinbad is a mythological hero, not a god. And uh, uh, Hippolyta is a hero, not a god. Um... I mean, uh, animal tricksters, mm. but like Loki's a trickster, but he's a god. I thought this was, I thought none of them were gods. Cause I, cause like Hercules, actually Hercules is a demigod. Uh, Mulan is definitely not a god. Like mm. these are all generally figures from mythology yeah. who are heroes, but are not divine. Cause I thought they specifically chose not gods yeah, for this I reason. Because of it, because otherwise, you know, it would be kind of odd to watch, like, you know, gods be beaten up or shot or whatever when they were actively followed That's religions. True. Like, so I, I thought that was what was not the case, but uh, I, I may be, uh, maybe mis I may be mistaken, I'll have to say. And hang on, we've lost territory to. <gasps> they culture bombed my wheat! Oh, you fuckers are going to pay. You fuckers are going to pay for this you are going to suffer for this oh we're gonna have we're gonna have to steal all of this before this game's over we're gonna have to steal this shit off them kong pon Svei is going to be made mine how cocking dare you this is uh, this is unacceptable to me okay we need to we need to use our missionaries to convert thebes uh we just need to convert more cities we're 10 points off and i've not even got out my unique unit that's another four right in there right cult of moose is there but it's going down but we've still got the points that's 64 out of that that's another two points you get to points so quickly doing this doing it this way it's great um uh -huh. keep on keeping on everything's fine and then aha you're oh bananas you say Oh dear, my bananas now, bitches! <laughs> the funny thing is, by doing this, I'm literally denying Canada luxury resources. Which means, like, they they are going to keep it... It's going to be harder for them to keep their cities happy. Which is going to make it easier for me to break what back away from them. <laughs> yes! This is great. I'm catching up on tech very fast by stealing Canada's bananas. <laughs> and as she spreads it to Canada. Yes, I've stolen your bananas. Now we shall learn the secret to building dams using this banana. That's how it works. And now I'm going to go steal more bananas 
Yeah, that's right, bitches. More bananas yet. We ain't done. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, life is good. Plan. Yeah, that's a, just a really interesting point from uh, Rainier in chat who says, uh, I'm a myth and legends lecturer. Ooh. Some cultures do not differentiate or have different ideas of what is a god or a mythological figure. They are seen as deities in their own right. That's fair and reasonable. That's super interesting. Thank Very you. interesting. Right, let's get a plus three commercial. I'm not sure whether plus three is enough to get me any benefits, but we've got a lot of shit about to finish in the next two turns. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Maxwell, who's been a member for 25 months, uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, I'm glad I caught you. John, uh, have you ever heard of Project Hospital? Uh, it would probably be your jam. And also, Seven Ways to Die? Se wait, Seven Ways to Die? Seven Days to Die. Haven't we played Seven Days to Die? I don't know. I searched Seven Days to Die on the channel and didn't find it, but... And maybe they give a hundred ways to die, which is a different, unrelated game. Uh, all this early access. Woot. Nice. This is, it rings a bell. Uh, what was the other one? Sorry. Uh, Project Hospital. Was that one of the flibbly jibbly jibblers? Um, one of the, like, uh, original hospital tycoon takeoffs. I think it might have been. I don't, I don't know. I, d I think it might have been. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, right, let's just get more missionaries up because then we're just going to send them up. Yeah, you're going up here to convert the rest of Mapuche, but we're well on target for that Renaissance Golden Age. You kind of ideally wanted in Medieval, but then again, in Medieval, we wouldn't know where to send the bastards. Now we do. Now we know we're sending them over in this direction, though we do ideally need to get a harbour out so we can, like, you know, send a boat to protect these individuals so you get to here you're not going to be able to yeah you're not gonna be able to convert them away from that you're only gonna be able to create one follower but that's fine um we're gaining gold so slowly which feels weird to me but all right uh everything's fine we do have yeah a whole bunch of stuff just came in so akataten is now looking good that is yeah that work ethic is solid right there we could get there's, there's no adjacencies unless I'm willing to give up one of my good tasks, which is I'm giving up the adjacency. The adjacency I'm getting is like the same as what I'm giving up, which I really don't want to do. Therefore, there's a bit too much space. There's nothing I can do with the desert. Ugh. It's down to that. Go. I can build a dam for additional everything, but I'd rather... B -b 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 -b. No suitable district. You're not wrong, and I could spend money to get myself a harbour, but if I get myself a harbour, then I'm going to um, not have the money to buy the build right Do I you need. have horses to sell? I do have horses to sell. Oh. A thank you to Maxard. Okay. Uh, who do I trust most right now? Canada's actually friendly. Let's declare my friendship to Canada. Yes, okay. Now... Now that we're friends... Isn't that going to ruin your Quebec plan? No, friendship doesn't mean they're less likely to flip. It doesn't matter. Lol. Who doesn't have horses? Who would like horses but doesn't have horses? You've got some horses. I need to find someone who doesn't have horses. Damn it, I think everyone's got horses who I've met. Coupe has... Discuss. Coupe doesn't have horses. Coupe would love some horses. And... Oh... How many, how many horses for a few hundred gold this is? Okay. I'm willing to give you more horses. So horses. Yeah, for 300 gold. Let's, the problem is at some point he'll get diminishing returns. Would you, would you be willing to toss in a tiny bit of your spare cotton as well? Yeah, fine. The, the generally, the AI really low, does gives very low value to a luxury resource if it's a duplicate of one they've already got. Mm. So as a result of that, 300 gold in cotton. That's going to help out with or keeping my territories nice and safe. That's going to mean that straight away we can convert that into one builder for coffee. So Claire, you're going to get coffee yes. in a moment. And you are going to get... Uh, I'd love to get a, a harbour out. But to get a harbour out, I'm basically going to have to build one, two, three. It's going to be this. It's going to be right here. 
I need 104 more gold. Um, could I interest you in additional horses? I'd like, I'd like to buy additional horses, please. Uh, I just need a tiny, tiny bit more gold. Here, here, have, have additional horses. I'm, I'm willing to, I appreciate you now value horses less. Because, okay, I just need 104 gold. It was 104, right? I don't know. Gosh darn it, he's valuing it too highly now. Okay. What would you it... crashed the horse market, John. Okay, someone's going to want to buy a diplomatic favour. Canada fucking loves diplomatic favour. They can't get enough of that shit. So, I just want 100, 200. They will... They'll want to buy this. They'll want to buy this. There we go. 200 gold. How much diplomatic favour do you got? A some. I don't need it for anything. It's fine. I don't want anything from, like, the, the medieval UN. Um, so now I can use that to buy this. Now, is that going to be... Yeah, Harbour. Why are you saying I can't do that? I absolutely can. Why are you not suggesting I buy this tile? Because now, you should suggest I buy that tile. That's a plus two, which is honestly a bit underwhelming. But we, I think we need a harbour because we need to buy boats to protect everything. Um, okay. There's also Petra. We have unlocked Petra, but Petra would do better in Akitatan, so let's not worry about that for the time being. Uh, you guys have... Amenities are fine, a housing is great. I always forget to look down here, by the way, which I should do, because that's just, you know, easier. There's a plus two holy site, which would be there. You've already got a campus with a library, which is not bad. Theatre Square is underwhelming, to be honest. Uh, maybe just get you a water mill, just to get you a little bit more production. Uh, in but I think that yeah selling selling basically flogging all the shit I've got in the world is in fact exactly the correct move good call chat um and oh speaking of which I can also nail, steal everything that's not nailed down in Canada because Canada is just like so oh yeah pigs yeah <laughs> that this must be full of science <laughs> tears the pig open mm, bacon <laughs> scientific and delicious if I had, hang on, what, what else do I need to buy? I need to buy another trader. I've got enough capacity for another trader, which would be really useful for boosting Akitaten even further. Or sending, making a bit more gold. Okay, who else wants to buy the rest of my diplomatic favour? You probably do. Uh, make deal. You've got, oh, you've got no money. Uh, well, there's no point then. Like, we need, we need people who, who, we need people who've got money. Need to, need to sell to people who've got money. Do you have money? You've got, like, some money. You must be willing to, to buy some of this for, like, 200. Come on. Come on. You want the diplomatic favour. There. Fuck it. Sure. Whoa, okay. That was a lot of diplomatic favour, I won't deny. Um, Right, but that lets me buy a... That wasn't enough for a trader. Um, oh my god, amazing. Wait. What, what does a trader cost? 405. Right, I need another 100 and... 10? 110 would do it, right? Um, who else? Okay, C Canada. Uh, I'm back for more, for more things. Uh, I know, I know you want this shit. I know you want this shit. I know you want diplomatic favour. I will say, done. Canada loves diplomatic favour. Yeah, you sold them more diplomatic favour for half the money. I should have sold it to Canada, yeah. I should have sold them for... No, I mean, I'm saying the first time you sold diplomatic favour to Canada, it was 27 for 200 gold, and now it was 28 for 100 gold. Yeah, the the price changes between trades. It's yeah, a... yeah, no, you tanked it. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, this is fine. Everything's Okay. We, we've got this. We allowed us to... Yeah, you, you're welcome to have an embassy in our capital. I trust you now, Canada. Because I'm literally sending an ad into your land to, like, steal your pigs. And you're like, yeah, let's be let's be best friends. I mean, my, my two closest neighbours who have ten times as big an army as me all being, like, chill with me is excellently good news. That's, that's fine. There's guilds. Governor title is available. That mm -hmm. is potentially very good because, uh, yes, bonus two gold from every unimproved feature. So they're down over here. That means, look at this. Technically, nice. floodplain counts as an unimproved feature. Oh, very good. So all of that shit is now available. Oh my goodness. Shout out to Dover who gave us 50 pounds. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and uh, Dover says, uh, hey, John and Claire, I've been with you since the Skyrim days. Good old Benor. Excellent, um, Benor. 
<laughs> you've been there when I went through uh, tough times. You started me on my classical journey and inspired me to take classical studies. Oh, wow. So yes. All, all I can say is thank you so much. Also 50 quid. Nice. Thank you I, very, I, very much indeed. I just like creating classicists is my favorite thing. Yes. I like creating classicists. So, okay, that's just got me a bit of production by sending one trade route over to um, up into Canada. Uh, simultaneously, we're just, you know, going to steal Canada's pigs uh, and convert them into science. Now, some people might point out, John, you appear to be robbing, like, all of the good shit out of Canada and leaving it a barren, scorched wasteland when your long-term plan is to take over Canada. I would say yes, but I need to do this just to help catch me up. Like, this, like these little bursts of science are, are letting me catch up from being so far behind at the start of the game. This is essential for the time being. So, yes, just destroy pigs. There's even more cooking science and culture. Like, this is five, six turns worth of science and culture that I'm just gaining right now. Like, I'm gaining a turn's worth of, like, Canada's super science. Everything's going to be fine, probably. And we're also driving a, a road straight through a preserve, which is absolutely fine. We're like, driving what? We're driving a new road straight through the preserve, oh. but roads don't affect appeal in no. the slightest. So you can just like drive a motorway straight through like this this beautiful park. It was like this this makes this doesn't reduce my enjoyment of it this whatsoever. It's fine. Okay. This is all fine. We don't have enough anything for that. You are still not bloody where you're supposed to be, but we're at 65 out of 70 for goddess, and we've got 25 turns. Now this is why we waited yeah. till last turn. And here comes the coffee. <clears throat> There's the coffee right there. So we've now got coffee, coffee in the Coffee, amper. coffee, coffee. Now, amenities is still low for the time being. But we also need... Yeah, in a perfect world, we should probably bring you back down south. We can bring you to here. It's going to take a few turns to do. But you can, yeah, lock down this cotton. And then drop a sphinx right here. That's what we want to do. Nintendo is snoring gently in the background. <laughs> yeah, if you can hear that. Lol. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Maxwell, who gave us $1 and says, here's a single Ted buck because I am broke. Oh. Which is fair enough. That's and thank you very, very much fair. indeed. Uh, like, r really, a single Ted buck yeah. is like so much more money than ad revenue. Damn straight. <laughs> from watching Huge so amounts. many videos. Yeah. So thank you so much. <laughs> What we could do is, yeah, let's get a road up towards Edfu, because otherwise that is really slow going right now, and this will speed up this guy coming back. Though I'm going to be honest, there's also... Ooh. We've now got... Wait. How have we got two coffees? Let's do some coffee. Do we have coffee? Game's, Did you lose the coffee? Uh, the game's saying now you have got two coffee. You could set up a coffee corporation. Ooh, but, do it. But, like... I mean, there's a coffee over here, but it doesn't belong to our empire. Like... Isn't there a spot where you can, like, search? I don't know where this coffee thinks is here exists. But, okay, before I bring you down, as it's about to be a road coming this way, I'm just sending this guy up to... Aha! It's a dead end. Okay. I figured there might be a dead end here. So, okay, that's absolutely fine. I mean, we could hypercharge the city by basically turning this straight into an industry. I mean, that's absolutely fine. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know whether... Where's the coffee? Is, well, okay. Apparently, Jerusalem's coffee counts as mine. Weird. Uh, okay, that's strange, but whatever. Uh, okay, that's that's completely, that's, that's news to me that that's a thing that you could do. Um, okay. Neckhand's up to five people. Kompong's face still at two. This is, this is what we're going to, this is how we're going to win. Long term... When we're at a golden age, we're going to be able to start laying down some pressure. And also, uh, yeah, Nancy is doing an excellent job here. Oh, maze! Not anymore. Bye. Say goodbye to your delicious, lovely maze, you stupid losers. We're going to power our way to a better, bigger government. Oh. Yes. Uh, good news from Catbat, who gave us $5 and says, I lost my job last year and it was really rough, but your videos helped me smile and laugh. I just got a new job and wanted to say thank you. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. I hope it's a great job. Yes, indeed. And uh, best of luck uh, with the new job. Uh, S. Smith also gave us 
twelve dollars and thirty cents. And says I'm just dropping off a donation to say thank you for yesterday's video. Oh. It's twelve thirty. Ah! Is that actually Seth? No, it can't be because the username's different. Of course yes. not. Yes. Uh, okay. Just, just a Seth appreciator. Seth appreciator. Yeah. You were struggling with that one for a second there. Yeah, well, there's a lot of Seth. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to make this work. Okay, now convert. This. There we go. There's another two era score from you. We're going to move you over to here. Buddhism exists somewhere. We've mostly converted... I mean, uh, Canada is only a matter of time till they join uh, the cult of the moose. There just doesn't seem to be much religious competition. These guys aren't interested in, like, progressing much further into our territory. Uh, at the moment, at least. There's this guy... And say that, then this guy shows up right here, but who cares? I don't care. Uh, it's fine. And then there's a special thing. It doesn't involve me. There's clearly another, like, continent. We, we, we see about half of the world right now. Clearly there's another giant continent somewhere that's got the other half of the players on it. So that's all absolutely a-okay. Keep you moving in the right direction. We're almost flipping there. What's that, by the way? Is that the Casada? No, that's Apadana. That's Apadana. Yeah, gosh darn things. The pyramids. Can't believe he stole my pyramids. Right, getting over to here. Oh, I can steal their coffee. Yes, do it, do it, do and it. And steal it. their coffee. Screw, screw their bananas. We're going to steal their coffee. I prefer that. Steal their luxury. We're going to literally break, break into Canada to steal their coffee. And this is plus two food. Go steal Tim Hortons from them. There we go. We're going to turn this into a coffee corporation just in case Good. we lose Jerusalem. So we've now got a coffee company up here in Edfu, uh, which is fine. And I'm hoping this means, yeah, housing is struggling, but we are now finally almost getting somewhere with uh luxury resources which is good you need to come down here and lay down a sphinx by the way all right this is this, things are starting to look a little bit more positive all of a sudden clap uh yeah shout out to department of redundancy department yeah, who gave us five swiss francs uh, scotland. it's scotland scotland exists somewhere apparently mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, Department of Redundancy Department yeah, says, Hey, everybody, hey, and Happy New Year from Switzerland. I couldn't drop by any sooner, but I'm loving the Starfield videos. Keep them coming. They will be. We'll be doing the entire base game right there. It's looking very good. I, I enjoy it hugely. Clearly, some people have just got a real bee in their bonnets about Starfield. I don't know why. I don't see what's wrong with Starfield that you couldn't say was just as wrong with plenty of other Bethesda games. But some people have got properly annoyed about it for some reason. Like, it's one, it's one thing, I think some people have taken it very far. So I think some people have got to the stage where now where they've sort of like, you know, they're doing that whole online identity is now attached to hating thing. I, I think there's it, it's gone too far. Like, mostly negative for Starfield is ridiculous on Steam. Like, absolutely... I'll give you maybe mixed or maybe positive. Your mileage may vary. But people like, you know, people are like commenting on like, my games of the year list being like, oh, Starfield shouldn't be in this. So I was like, I clearly like this particular exact format of games. I like Bethesda yeah, games. Yeah, my is, game of how, the year. How on earth are you surprised about this? What, how? How, yeah, if, how does if that you, surprise if, you? If John hated it, we wouldn't be doing a super long series like this. Like, I need more housing. Uh, housing is actually a real problem. Um, dam. Yeah, let's create, let's put a dam up. A dam is housing. A dam is also good for adjacencies potentially down the line. That will be good. And yeah, thankfully, the trader has made a nice path for my builder to run down on to get that sphinx down. So that should actually be much easier to do now. Cla! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, well, I made a Tim Hortons joke, and people are now discussing the quality, the, the falling quality of Tim Hortons, oh dear. which has lost its uh, its uh, its charm some oh years no. ago, apparently. <gasps> Shocking. Indeed, I mean, I don't really know much uh, much about it, but uh, yes, let's see. And there we go. The final Mapuche city is converted, and with that, we are 71 out of 70. Next nah. age, Golden Age is locked in. Now, what we need is, what I'm seeing, to my mind, is Canada appears to be kind of stagnant. They're not really doing much. They're not really expanding much. So what I'm really hoping, what that means is, they're going to a Dark Age. And by the way, I just stole Canada's coffee. Nice. 
Uh, okay, what else? What have we learned? Yeah. We've just been told a huge amount of that. We could get, yeah, bonus faith for every shrine, which is good. What are the important wonders? I mean, receiving relics every time you you, you discover a new natural wonder. We've seen barely any natural wonders. Candy could be interesting. No one... Uh, Bologna, someone's gone for it. Uh, bonus McGibbly Jibbles there. World in, I can pass. Camusi is uh, not particularly interesting, to be honest. Auckland, we've already got. I'm going to go for candy. And I think, hang on, doesn't my first count? Yeah, my first counts as two. And then this will push me up to three and also make me candy suzerain. Uh, which is good, because that means... <gasps> Claire? It's Sinbad! It's mother flipping Sinbad! Uh, okay. We apologize for headphones. What does Sinbad do? Sinbad sails around the world, Ooh. discovering new continents and getting giant piles of gold for killing uh, bad people. And also discovers natural wonders that now generate relics for me thanks to Very candy. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit just got real. Shit just got real. I now get a relic every time I discover a new natural wonder. Where am I even going to store these relics? I mean, I've got... That's heroic relic only. I could put one relic inside the palace. I need to build temples so I've got spots for my relics. Woo! Okay. Yes. Just remember that uh, Remember that people have uh, headphones. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, dear, oh dear. Yeah. I mean, bling, Blind Dog points out, yeah. Obviously, the thing with Starfield is... Lots of people wanted Fallout 5, and it wasn't Fallout 5, and yes. they got sad. It was Fallout 4 in space. What I'd be really interested to see is, what would have happened if they'd released Starfield in 2015 and Fallout 4 last year? Yeah. I wonder how response would have varied. There's an interesting thought experiment. Um, okay, I don't care about this, and also I sold all my diplomatic favour, so I can't really get, like, involved. So, like, yeah, there, I've, I've picked random things. I, I'm, a, I'm a very productive contributing member of you know the flipping world congress right here so robert the bruce generates shit and melee is strong great um i also have have i got any charges left attack range one range strength no i think i can do anything i think i can now not do any more charges no nope, i don't have charges bring a nancy home and nancy may now come home there is nothing more he could do bless him clap oh my goodness shout out to fabulous magpie Ooh. beautiful username gave us a hundred australian dollars to do you know what for today best dollars Woo, best dollary dues best dollary dues uh, it says, Happy New Year, John, Claire, and Teddy. Just dropping in to wish you all the best. I've been watching for a long time now, and I wanted to say thanks for all the laughs. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that was a very sad noise there. Sorry, I was reading at the same time I was reading the rest of chat. That's I all. see. Uh, various people uh, defending you over the headphone thing, uh, saying that the, the level was right for them. Right, for you to just sound cute. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Right, there goes Preserve the next over here. This build is now running, now actually gets to move at speaks. We've actually got a road set up to Edfu, which is marvellous. That's going to be, hang on, we've got, wow. We're, we're going to be, this is going to be era score. There could be no more era score over here. We're actually going to be, we're going to be, go, we're going to blast well over what we need to do. Quebec is at four. Akatatan is now at 9. Thebes is... Oh, Buddhism is being spread to Quebec. But honestly, there's now a good mutually... Re there's now a good circle of, uh, you know, the uh, the cult of Moose that's gonna really going to make it difficult for Kamea to do much to get past them. Uh, I can't believe Kamea culture-bombed me. I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm furious that they culture-bombed me. How dare you? How flipping dare you, you dicks. Also, I like this long straight road. I love a, I love a good long straight road. That's a good road. Road that runs all the way from Edfu, all the way down to the capital, and then all the way down to the mountains before turning around to get to Thebes. That's, I find that very pleasing. Very pleasing indeed. Claire! Uh, we are uh, currently nice. caught up. Yes. Shout out to Richard Lawson in chat, uh, who says, Wow, librarian says the zoo has grown substantially. <laughs> Very, very <laughs> nice indeed. Dear, oh dear. Okay, we're growing nicely here. 
We're going to be, yeah, we're going to get boats out. We could, and you know what? Screw boats. We're going to get Sinbad out from Akitatan. And he can basically go and clear the seas to make sure that there's plenty of empty space on all of these islands. Because, yeah, just check the settler thing. We are, we're going to have to land on the far side of this isle, of that island near Canada. Because Canada's going to exert pressure over the water. But we are absolutely fine on this island. It's fine, though. It's low-lying. We're going to need to, yeah, rush that. There's also this over here. There's a fair few nasty things. But then again, you are about to become a city-state, uh, which is fine. And then there's Bologna, which we've already seen previously. That might be on the same... Actually, that's not being influenced by anyone we don't know, which is interesting. Aside from Scotland. That's how we know where Scotland is. Suggesting, you know what, I think there might be a huge amount of land grabbing we can do out on the islands. Like, sometimes continents and islands, the islands are a bit underwhelming. These are good islands. These are very interesting islands, in fact. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Ooh, did Quebec just go Buddhist? Uh, Quebec did. has gone Buddhist, but it won't last. It's clearly declining. It's surround. It's too. It's too. It's equal that, but it's receiving so much pressure from me. It will not last. Not a chance is that staying. Is that staying Buddhist? That's going to go. Uh, that's going to change over. And also, by the way, I can see here. Yeah, you're expanding in that direction right now. You are growing that, that, and that. Yeah, you're lacking in production, aren't you? Lacking in production. Um. Okay. I'll spend a bit of gold giving you a 3-2 just to make sure that no one else gets that because you can definitely have that to speed up that a little bit. Yeah, that's good. All right, that's nice. And here comes uh, the next Sphinx. Right, so that Sphinx is now there. And now as a result of that, this is now all golden. There's a new nice. preserve going down here. When this is finished, that's going to boost these. So those are going to be perfect too. And then we're going to put the building in. And then this is going to be double pumped. So it's going to... But when it's done, it's going to have like four culture, four faith. Nice. Amazing, amazing tiles. They're going to be the best tiles. It's going to be beautiful. Clap! Uh, yeah, Max said in chat, uh, reminding you, uh, please, please, John, when you uh, send out those boats, escort your settlers, build galleys. We're going to... Well, we, we, but yeah, I think we might be able to clear the seas in part just using Sinbad, and he can also escort the settlers too. So mm. Sinbad is going to be uh, our the, the biggest damn hero. Oh! We just discovered there, the Giant's the Causeway, which and means... And that gives us Which stuff, gives right? us a relic, and relics are great because relics are flipping faith and tourism. Uh, we've discovered orders. We don't want... The problem is I, I now have nowhere else to put relics. So I need to start building, like, temples in a hurry because, yes, temples come with relic slots. <laughs> oh, no. This is... This is wild. Um, just in case we discovered more natural wonders, I might need to build a temple as a priority. <laughs> Because otherwise, I'm not sure what happens to the to the relic if it's, there's nowhere for it to go. So this is oh, this is fascinating stuff right here. Right, get me a market down. That's gold, and it's also more traders. Though to be honest, I think it might be time for. You say there's nowhere for the preserve to go. I think there's somewhere for the preserve to go. I think the preserve goes right there. Actually, thank you very very much indeed. So preserve goes here. So does that improve tiles you don't own? It. It, when it finishes, it culture bombs all neutral tiles around it. If it doesn't belong to someone else, these will belong to me. Oh, uh, okay. So that's a way to get the tiles without yes. spending money on and it. it. That's also, cool. And it also makes them better. Yeah. So yeah, these are already yeah. perfect. These ones are going to be made good. And the, these ones are going to be made breathtaking. This one will become charming. Nice. And then, th so that's going to be a really nice, that's going to be as good as this when it's done, which is really, really good. So and again, those are, that's that. an Oasis tile. Yeah. So, yeah, and the Oasis is gaining bonus production anyway, so that's going to be good. So, yeah, this is going to be lovely round here. This, so this is something like useless desert. Like, this is what preserves are good at. They take useless desert tiles and turn them into good shit. Like, they, they become good productive tiles for you. So that's lovely. So, okay. We're doing very, very nicely. We just need to... Honestly, now I just want them to hurry up and get to the next era. Because now what I should probably start doing is I should start banking faith. Because when we hit the next era... Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Does monumentality... Does that exist in Renaissance? Oh, shit. If it doesn't, that's going to be a problem. I don't actually know whether you... I think I think it might be the last era you can do it. I think Renaissance, you could spam... You could spam people with faith, faith and gold, right? 
Oh, I really hope so. Blimey, that's going to be embarrassing if you can't. Right, in come the temples. You're growing nicely. The whole reason we needed to get the dam done, by the way, of course, was, yes, John, don't forget, you needed the housing, so otherwise your capital is basically stagnant for the time being. Everything's going to be fine. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Molly, uh, who says, I love that you're playing just one more turn. Means y'all are still streaming when I get <gasps> off of work. Hercules! Yes! Hercules, who points to district and says, fuck it, that's done now. Okay. Um, we so need wait, to get have that. have we recruited him yet? Or no, we've just, just discovered his existence. So we've recruited Anansi. We're going to recruit Simba, but as you recruit more and more heroes, they get ex exponentially more expensive. So you've already like started recruiting Simba. No, I haven't. Did, did, you, did you just call him it? Simba? What? Did you just call him Simba? Simba. <laughs> Monument. Yeah. And we've got to recruit him here because he needs to spawn into the water. Mm. So that's why we need that. So he needs to be recruited here. And there is at least good production in this space. And speaking of which, at some point we need to get Petra down. But Petra could, in theory, be in Neken if no one else wants it. That's going to take a long time to do. We're going to need to have a lot of production to make that happen. That's going to be difficult, actually. Okay, that's going to be fun. Uh, Neken would be the ideal candidate for Petra, of course. But, you know, whether it can do that. You just stay there, by the way. You count as strength, so you like you know you're scaring enemies from attacking. You're scaring off enemies from attacking me. There's even more beautiful sphinxes right there. Don't really want too many sphinxes, but you know they make decent enough tiles. It's always good to have a decent enough tile. Oh, you've got a great. Uh, you've got a flipping uh, Isadora of Miletus. Good for you. Uh, what else are people starting to do in terms of great people? We're working towards the the yeah great people. We're probably not going to get that. We've just discovered cartography, which is brilliant. Uh, I wouldn't mind more yeah more free traders. That's five point seven. That's two point three. We're actually making a lot of great merchant points because we've really doubled down. Like this is what you do that the um. The AI doesn't do. The player is very good at picking a strategy and committing all its cities to it. Whereas the AI is making decisions on a second by second basis. And as a result, one city can do one thing and one city can do another. And it doesn't focus. If you when if you focus on one particular thing, you can generally therefore do very, very well. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Hannah who gave us five dollars uh, and says happy new year I'm ringing it in by getting bottom surgery in less than a week wish me luck congratulations I hope it goes well yeah and best of luck for the surgery and, and know, the recovery yeah and uh, we'll we'll be around for you to watch a lot of MHG exactly we'll flop, you just exactly. Flop, flop on the side just flop on the couch and enjoy uh, enjoy watching that uh, yes, indeed. Okay. Literally, this is going quite well. Because now I'm friends with everybody who lives around me. So they're not going to attack me, even though I've got vastly inferior military. Which is quite positive, because it means I don't need to bother investing in, you know, significant amounts of, uh, significant amounts of strength. So that's, uh, that kind of works for me. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And yeah, the monument's almost done in Akatatan. So that means we can get working on a Simba. It'll probably take about ten turns. Once that's done, and Scotland just is chill with you as long as you don't attack anyone, which is fine. But seriously, I want Canada in a dark age. I want Canada in a cocky dark age while I'm in a golden age and my cities are exploding. And then we're doing it. We're taking cocking Quebec. I'm having it. Thousand year flood. Didn't appear to do any damage, which is good. Because Egypt is mostly, uh, just doesn't seem to take flood damage, to be honest. Is that your thing? Or is that just a, a tendency? Well, I mean... You're yeah, literally on flood plains. Yeah, do not receive damage from floods and also bonus towards districts and wonders placed next to a river, which I always forget, but it does help, of course. Uh, so, yes, that just kind of means, yeah, floods are kind of good things in a way. But I still want the dam over here because the dam will still help me out with housing. It's a good way of getting... It's one of the only ways of getting housing in the very early game, to be honest. Clap! Uh, shout out to Molly who gave us five dollars uh, and says I was mega productive this afternoon at work and I think this might be partly your doing so thank you have the cost of a couple of tacos oh excellent everyone loves tacos everyone loves tacos but because we don't live in uh, California like Molly does we do not have in fact three excellent taco place within 10 no. minutes of the house like she just said she no. has no, it's uh, sad. and that sounds yeah I'm 
If we want tacos, I have to make them, and then I have to, like, learn how to make them good. I don't even know, I think there is a taco place like, anywhere near us, to be honest. I don't recall ever seeing one. Mm. Weird. Um, I mean, there was, but it shut down. Oh, was it? Ah, yeah. that's a shame. Okay, so now, hang on, devotion to... Yeah, I think it's got to be Sinbad. Especially now we've got this whole situation where we can, like... It will generate so much gold, it will hypercharge my empire. Mm -hmm. So, ten turns till we can devote to Sinbad, which is good. And then it's going to be a lot more expensive to devote to Hercules. But if we can get him, he speeds it up. Like, imagine just there. This is going to take twelve turns to finish this preserve. What if I could just point it and say, bang, done. Hercules can do that. He just mm -hmm. points at district and says, that is now done. He yes. can also go into Canada and destroy their districts. Which would be hilarious too. Canada's got a science district. Not anymore. Here we go. Over in nine turns. Excellent. We're going into Renaissance, baby. It's going to be fantastic. Claire. Uh, yeah, we are, uh, as I said, we are caught up. Uh, and now people are just discussing tacos. Look, if you guys, if you have good taco recipes, uh, let me know. Despite the fact that I think I might sound too British to say the word taco properly. <laughs> Lol. Um, but yeah. Like, please let me know if you have any that you would recommend. Sounds uh, right. I'm very much open to that. And yeah, next time we encounter a thing, we now have space in the temple for another relic. For if we discover another natural wonder. And there are a lot of natural wonders out in the world. Like, that's a lot of relics, a lot of tourism, a lot of faith. To be honest, and I'm just banking my faith. I've got over a thousand faith, a, fa a, a thousand faith. That one's hard to say. Uh, ready to go. All right, and a harbor ready to go, and a Sinbad ready to go. We are just oh, we're ready. We're flipping ready. Let's let's cocky go, boys. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, shout out to Adam who gave us five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says happy Thursday, happy belated birthday to Claire. Uh, please don't destroy Canada. Have fun and please pet Ted for me. We're not going to destroy Canada. We are simply going to strip mine it and then absorb it into our empire. It's just going to be under new management. It's it's fine. That's that's not a bad thing at all. We're still gaining era score. And oh, Merchant Republic, baby! Right, 15% production towards districts, 10% golden cities with established governors, which is spectacular. Also, more envoys. We are, like, we're ahead of the game in terms of, yeah, we're doing well in terms of culture. Culture's doing well. Because, like, okay, fine, the numbers don't look always spectacular, like, say, Canada. But we, we, we stole so much from Canada, we're still keeping up. So we're going straight over to Merchant Republic, because that's just a giant pile of additional slots right there so okay what can we do with yeah our what can we do with our actual uh, military order which is not that interesting to be honest i mean i guess bare minimum let's just re just reinforce the uh mcjibbles here colonial officers ooh 15% faster growth and three loyalty per turn for cities not on your original continent now i'm going to work under the assumption that hang on, we'll just we'll just be with you in a second. I'm going to work under the assumption that my original continent. Let's check the continent map here. So we were part of Congo Craton, is how I'm going to assume that, that is, because I always like pronouncing things in a fancy way. Sadly, oh gosh darn it, these islands are also Congo Craton. Well, that's annoying. I was hoping that we'd be going to a different continent in a second, but no. We're not. Instead, there is North America over here that everyone is refusing to go and settle on for whatever reason. Um, but that's uh, that's that wouldn't be worth it. Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping. I was really hoping that therefore there might be. Uh, yes, uh, we might be able to uh, make that change there. So no, that's not going to help us out with our new cities shortly. That's a bit of a shame. Governors provide even more loyalty. Plus one gold from every envoy. You know what? Every little helps when it comes to that. And at this point, I've sent the first on. Actually, you know, there's plenty more to discover. Leave it for now. We're not producing settlers. In fact, we're not going to be producing settlers either. Because we're going to be buying them. So in which case, is it better for us to say, yeah, plus two housing. Plus two housing to speed up everything. Yeah, let's get plus two housing. Plus two housing is not bad. Then again, international trade routes. Ah, we've got like one international trade route. That's going to get uh, my capital moving at speed. Let's get naval tradition up just because that's a that's a gateway blocker for a lot of good text behind it. Clap! 
Uh, yeah, shout out to Yankees fan to 2003 who's been a member for two months uh, and says Happy New Year. Any chance at another cooking video this year? My four-year-old daughter loves them. She thinks you're an amazing cook. Uh, she's wrong. Um, but that's that's the sweet and you know sweet and innocent. Yes, it, indeed. Complete innocence there. Uh, yes. What we need there is it is traditional for those to be done at a particular time of year, and that time of year is not too far off. It's only a few months away. Mm -hmm. So yes, at some point in the not too distant future, absolutely. Let's get one aqueduct down because you need yeah you need some ah but then uh not marsh marsh is actually good in my empire maybe instead market yeah get some market let's get some market down here let's get a little bit of market down everything's going to be fine we need more luxuries at some point I'm going to actually like you know build an entertainment complex just this is the downside of of civs where you're really going hey high growth high population loyalty game etc etc. You, you live in this very strange world where, like, housing and uh, amenities become a big problem. And hang on. Yerevan just started to exist. Hello, Yerevan. What's your deal? A post units can choose from any possible promotion instead of receiving a random promotion. Interesting. And speaking of which, I can actually... Oh, that's true. I can improve... I can improve my religion if I'm willing to spend uh, for one apostle. I'm going to hold off for the time being. Uh, my religion is doing its job just fine, but I can make it better by, like, working on the beliefs, etc., etc. So we'll leave that for now. Clap! Uh, yes, in... Oh, it's Ludwig! Ludwig. Ludwig's great. He's he's insane. And he, he just... Ah, yes, of course. Yes, he, he literally gains... He gains bonus, like, culture and tourism for unfinished wonders. <laughs> you deliberately start building wonders you're not planning to finish, and he gets huge benefits off them. He's... I love him. I I feel like that's... It's, it's so cool. It's such a fun, unique thing. I feel thing. like that's unfair. No, Schwanstein is finished. He was kind of insane, though. Well, I know, but... Listen, have you ever visited a castle with a fucking grotto in it? Because there's nothing better. Uh-huh. Have you, you been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's nice. It's beautiful. It sounds awesome. Uh, you do have to walk up, like, five million stairs to get up there. Yeah. So, yeah. But there's a, there's a grotto... There's a, he paid people to, like, arts and crafts him a fake grotto in his castle. Lol. It's very cool. Okay, me and Ludwig are friends immediately. And, okay, I think what we need to do is we're going to be spamming settlers out of here. You're right there. I need to get a... You need to go and take care of that. We can win a major victory against Ooh. you. Let's just take you out, buddy. Yeah. And uh, you, uh, Max Erd says, don't forget you can give apostles any promotion now instead of three random. Oh, is that part of the... I don't know, but... Is that Jerusalem? Jerusalem is holy cities exert pressure. Mm -hmm. Candy is relics. I thought that was tied to Yerevan. Yeah, I haven't got Yerevan's um, thing yet, so that's not till I have Yerevan. I, I don't have Yerevan yet, so no, I, I, I can't. Um, the bare minimum, we can take out you, and uh, Nancy, with his, his final five turns of life, can just knacker this particular pikeman. The fact you're a pikeman, by the way, reassure, is reassuring to me, because it makes me feel like, um, uh, Babylon's not in the game. <laughs> Babylon can, can mess up some stuff. Also, we should move you down here, and... Honestly, I think you, you, you'll you do fine here as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll make these people swap places. You now go down to Akatitan. That's fine. That's going to replace you. And you are going to go up to here. Because we're going to be spamming uh, settlers out of this as soon as we get going. So the governors are not idle. They're absolutely fine. And yeah, very soon that's going to be all done. Because yeah, we don't want to be sacrificing population. Just float the faith so it's it's about it's gonna happen it's gonna happen very soon there are like so many cocking uh yes so many uh, bloody cocking these bastards everywhere but that's absolutely fine this even we can even go over to candy you're going to try and assault anansi bad call very bad call uh he can just stand at the back and pelt you from across the river and there's nothing you can do about it screw you you stupid loser and yeah he's just got a little sling or whatnot you're not gonna be able to do anything to him so right i'm not sure whether we'll get any era score for knocking this down but like bare minimum it's, it's fun for a nancy in his final moments of life 
The, there's the back of this island. Can we squeeze onto the back of Candy's Island? We absolutely can! Um, there are multiple uh, guys here. But now we've got more money coming in. We can just buy peace with them if need be. This one we can burn down. This one we can burn down. You're almost present, which is spectacular. I could wait. I could maybe delay one turn. Scotland doesn't like me. They've joined something else. I might delay one turn so Sinbad's in the next era. So his era score counts out. I mean, one turn one way or the other doesn't really make too much difference, to be honest. Um, yeah, we'll burn down this encampment. We just need to find... We need to find... Are you going to lose the era score if it happens before the... It doesn't, the era score doesn't carry over. There's no carryover of era oh. score, which is really annoying. Uh, I feel like it should. I think if you're over the Golden Age era, it should get to flow forward, but it does not. Uh, so, like, when you start the next era, you'll just have 70? I'll just be back down to whatever the basic is, yes. Oh, that sucks. It doesn't carry over. Um, you whatever you you only carry over whatever the threshold you've got to is yeah. either nothing or normal or golden. Everything beyond those is wasted. Boo. So it causes you to kind of you know potentially want to think very carefully about this. But it's one turn away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do one turn of lighthouse or one turn of granary, one turn of granary, and then next turn we'll get that just to make sure that Sinbad doesn't actually appear until we are in the next era um so that will be fine if i know like lose sim back someone else claims i'm going to be furious uh but i don't think that's going to happen oh and here comes the golden era here comes the golden age it's cocky golden age time please tell me candace is in dark age please please for the love of god tell me candace is in dark age tell me everyone around me is in dark age i want everyone around me to be in a dark age please i'm begging you and Okay, normal age Canada, but dark age Mapuche. We'll see whether that helps me in any capacity. We'll see whether that does anything. But golden age is good and monumentality is still there. I think this is the last era it shows up in. After this, it, mo it all moves forward. So monumentality is now present. So now I can create um, all civilian units with faith, including settlers. And settlers are cheaper to purchase with yeah, with faith. So, yes, we're going to do that. That's, oh, life suddenly became sexy. And we'll see how Canada does. Over to, oh, oh, Quebec City, Quebec City just started losing loyalty. Just started losing loyalty to my huge amounts of pressure. Oh, dear. Oh, bow chicka bow wow. Oh, no, Quebec going to be mine. Admittedly, Victoria's going to be hard to take because that's not population 12. But, okay, we can take Quebec City. At this point, it's a point of pride that we take Quebec City. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, we, we are, we are caught up. Let's nice. See. How's everyone down in chat then? Everyone down in chat is talking about tacos. And, That's quite uh, right too. Quite duh, bloody duh, right duh. too. Uh. Right, more markets because trade routes are good. We can make a lot of money with trade routes and also get a lot of people on side. So, okay, Nancy's final act before he dies in two turns can be to break down this particular, uh, yes, this particular barbarian camp, which is great. Now the question is, can we do anything to you? Unlikely we're going to be able to do much to you. Unfortunately, yeah, a cad just came with a giant pile of population. So it's going to be tricky for us to flip these guys unless we, uh, I don't know how we'd do it really. I, this is going to be hard. I think, honestly, just expanding like crazy is the better option. But Sinbad is going to generate so much money for us. We can use that to spam buildings that are going to just going to hypercharge our growth. That's the key to making this work. So, okay. We're now in Golden Age. Quebec City is definitely going to start losing. We have now got Sinbad ready to go. You should definitely be... You're saying full loyalty. Ah, there's the, they, they brought the governors back in. But yeah, what Sinbad can do is Sinbad just sails around the world and can just find bad people who he doesn't like. And then he has got eight charges of Sinbad's fortune. So he has got, yes, if he can target any, he can target any adjacent uh, enemy if you know, or barbarian camp. It's either cleared or damaged 50%. And Sinbad immediately earns 750 gold. So we just, um, we just killed that camp and we got 750 gold. That's, that's just what we've got right now. Now we can't do it to land units. Can't do it to land units. So we've got to be a little bit careful in that regard. 
But over here, meanwhile, now we can get ourselves... Actually, we don't need a lighthouse because you've already got a... Yeah, you've already got a market. Yeah, you've already got a market, so lighthouse wouldn't help us. Um, but it would add, yeah, a little bit of extra... Then again, there's barely any coastal tiles in this district. Don't worry about it. Uh, your housing is low, so let's actually finish off that granary. But more importantly... In, no, wait one turn. Wait one turn for Magnus to be settled. Because then we don't lose the population. But now we're suddenly we're swimming in money. Now I've got like 1,500. And by the way, settlers cost 480. I've got 1,654. So all of a sudden, that's, uh, you know, if I just wanted to, I want to say, hey, I, there should be a granary in this location. Or there should, there should be a water. There should be a grove. You know, Sinbad basically just bought me a grove. Congratulations. Look at that. Look at that sexy shit right there. Sim Simbad just basically just gave me that. Right there. So one temple. Right there. And Simbad's going to keep doing that. Simbad's going to do that just like over and over again forever. This territory up here, Edfo. Housing's a bit on the low side. Oh, is it? No, it's not because I just bought a granary. Money. Money makes the goddamn world go round. Simbad. Simbad is sexy as balls. And as we start getting more traders in, as all these markets finish up, we can use that to buy traders immediately, convert those traders into ongoing recurrent revenue, and oh, 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 oh look down here. Look at that. It's a, it, it, I, I see, I see flipping uh, things that Simbad could go and murder down in this direction. So, oh, life is good. Life's about to start accelerating here. And by the way, you want to uh, burn that down. Bye, so long, loser. Oh, good, I'm better at metal casing. And Nancy is going to do that as his final and then he's about to die. Oh. I'm happy. I this know. is going quite well. Like, okay, in science... So you're not going to do a third restart, No, I don't think you? we need to restart. No, I think, <laughs> I think we're doing okay here. I think we're doing okay. Uh, there's Nancy, and Nancy's died, and we've now picked up the epic of Nancy, and etc, etc. Oh, yeah, by the way, yes. as the official clock mistress, I yep. have to tell you, it is 30 minutes past our bedtime. You can go and put the pizza in if you'd like. We could have pizza. We could have live stream pizza. On your nice desk? Okay, fair enough. That's I'm that's sorry. Fair. I want you to have Sif 6 pizza. Yeah. That's something I want for you. Uh huh. But I feel like maybe that's not the best idea. No, you know what? That is a bad idea. Melted cheese is a bad idea on this very nice desk that we uh, spent a lot of time getting. That is getting quite in new. It's quite new, yes. So, okay, we're going to have, there we go, Magnus is now in play, meaning we can now, we can now just start spam, spamming settlers. We can just start spamming settlers. So, okay, the question now, obviously, is where do we want these settlers, where do we want these settlers to go? So, Auckland's going to kind of, like, get in the way to prevent these guys from causing trouble. If need be, we could just hide, to basically buy the settlers to just stop them causing trouble. They could go anywhere they want to. Uh, perfect world, obviously, you're going to be wanting access to uh, fresh water. <laughs> Which is fine, yes. Get you on a bib for the pizza. You just use a coaster, you'll be fine. Okay, this is going to be... So you're now going to be going in that direction. We're nearly done with square rigging, which is very exciting too. Uh -huh. Okay. We do actually have one... I do actually have one spare thing. Jerusalem, we're still candies, right? We're still Auckland's as well. Uh, yeah, actually, we're almost at Muscat, which is plus one amenities in all cities with a commercial district. Yes, that's amazing. That's plus two error score right there, and that is going to be a lot of uh, bonus amenities. I say that with like, so few amenities, but then it's because we need like cocking five of them for these giant populations. It's slowing down population growth a lot, but like it's still it's still not bad. And you, by the way, oh hello, oh look at this, I, I found a ship. So it just took half damage. It's either kill or it's half damage. The next kill will kill it. Uh, and that just got me 750, uh, 750 gold. 750 gold. Right there. So I can just kind of say, you know what? Uh, I'd like, uh, you know, I've just decided I'd like there to be a, a market somewhere. I'd like there to be, you know, a library. I feel like my science is a bit low and my science is a little bit low. So what if there was just a library? Oh, look, there's a library. Now all and just just. Oh, are you gonna buy that like tile that was plus five in the corner? Uh, I can do actually, but given we're finishing off this commercial hub down here, yeah, I think it will probably happen expand by. Expand itself. It'll it'll mean. expand itself as time goes uh, by. If enough. we can buy it when the time is right, if need be. Um, so you're about to start going in that direction. The granary is about to be done, so that's going to speed up the production here because yeah, the housing is limited, but it's about to start exploding again. 
Oh, is that preserve still not done? Huh? That's eight away. You can't spend money to oh, buy... Res you, yeah, can't, yeah. you can't use money to buy districts unless you have a particular upgrade on Reyna in the city that Reyna is in. And Reyna doesn't have the upgrade and also she's up there. Yeah, It's a very enough. advanced upgrade. Uh, so where'd that ship go? And... Oh, look, I found the ship. Let's just get to here. Just next to... Oh, and look, there's, there's even more here. Right, just blow up that ship right over there. That's absolutely fine. This is... Oh, life is... Life is good. So we're just going to put you over to here. And I'm going to use that money to... These are still like galleys, right? Yeah, quadrimes, quadrimes. I'm just going to basically send an escort with these guys. So I'm just going to use that money to buy a very simple ship. Uh, just a basic galley would be fine, to be honest. But apparently we can't do that. We've got to buy... Oh, we've got to buy a caravel. Uh, that would cost 1,400, which we can now afford. But I'd rather just go for a basic quadrime. Which I'm surprised didn't get me, um, I'm surprised it didn't actually get me a Ghibli Gibble, uh, Era Scorers. I'm pretty sure that was my, actually Sinbad was probably my first boat, technically. But, we, and that leaves me with more than enough loose change to, actually I don't have any spare capacity on blah, 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 things right now. That could get a lighthouse, but that is not a sensible use of that money. The market, that market's one turn away from being done. You could have a water mill or a temple, but the temple's already in production. But a water mill will just speed up the production there. And yeah, next turn we'll be able to just... And it's just the amount that Sinbad facilitates in your empire is wild. Absolutely wild. Um, okay. Now I wouldn't mind... Yeah, Thebes should probably build a uh, an entertainment complex somewhere around here. You also still need more housing at some point. An aqueduct could just be right here. That would be okay. A dam as well, actually. Though dams, given I don't take damage from flooding, presumably I kind of want flooding. So I should just take a basic aqueduct right here, and that's fine. So just put, pour more water into the city. Pour more into the city in nine turns. We're going to have, we've got, yeah, over the next uh, three turns, we've got two more traders coming in. And I've got an escort for my trader uh, right here. And Sinbad is just going to basically blow up these guys. And then blow up the base they're on. And then just just money. We'd get, and we can use that money to buy traders immediately. They're going to come and attack Sinbad. Bad idea. I think they... Was that a quadrim so they can attack me from range? But he's really strong. Like, there's there's nothing he can do. Seven damage out of a hundred. He will be absolutely fine. Made progress towards there. Speaking of which, hey guys, by the way. Bang, you're dead now. 750 gold. And I've just got a little bit of extra capacity right here. Who needs a little bit of extra, you know, uh, oomph right now? I mean, I'd say it wouldn't hurt if Edfu had a little bit of extra oomph. So just give Edfu a trader. Bang, Edfu's got a trader now. Life is... Life starts getting sexy when you hit the golden age. Life starts getting very sexy. And you know what? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just double check that it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, entertainment complex needs to be six away from like tiles you wanted to affect. So that's an excellent spot for an entertainment uh, complex right there once we start getting that in play. So you get to here. Connect you to you. And now we start moving you in this direction. And he, he's got an escort so no one can just steal him. So, okay, let's have a think about the logical place for him. There's fresh water here. Though, in theory, you can, you know, there's also fresh water over here. We can just buy off these guys if need be. Is that marshes down there? You're right, there is it's a... It's maybe a bit close to Auckland, but... Yeah, I'm not sure whether we'll even be allowed to settle on it. Yeah, yeah, we could settle all the way down here, but then that would be not fresh water, it's salt water, which is less good in terms of housing availability, because it just represents, like, the limit of your population because they don't have access to fresh water. Um, best probably just to be over here somewhere and just accept that there's going to be, you know, potential problems. This is going to flood in the event of sea, so we'll probably want Which to be Which doesn't like matter to us at all. Global warming flooding does. Oh, yeah, okay. Temporary flooding on floodplains doesn't hurt us. Literally the sea rising and swallowing yeah, okay, the city, I see, I that's see your a problem. Point. Yeah, that's more of a problem. Uh, alternatively, there's this over here. There's some good water here, apparently. I don't even know what's going on over here. But this this feels like a sexier island to me. I feel like that is... That's the sexier place to start off. So I feel like that's where we're going to go first. But when I say uh, first... Uh, by the way, there's more settlers coming. There's settlers. Settlers coming everywhere. There's, there's so many mother-flipping settlers. This is... Oh, this is the good ship. This is the good ship right here. Can I give you guys just like a basic scout? 
Like, a scout won't, won't win against a skirmisher. But, like, what it will do is it will it will mean that the, the, there is at least something that needs to be fought before you can take him out. So I will just send you guys around here. So, okay, we're going to have one on there. We're going to have one over here. Probably more over there as well. And Ludwig would like me to leave Wonder Building to him. Well, you're terrible at it. So, you know, sorry. Uh, no can do. Oh, this is. Okay. This is where we start exploding. And you're going to try and attack me, are you? Yeah, good luck with that, you stupid loser. Let's see if we can finish you in one or not. There are some unfortunately out of control barbarians on this island. That, like, it would appear no one's actually properly dealt with at any point. So that's why we're going to go to this location. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get there. But it's all going to be fine. Let's see if we can kill you in one. Nope, in two, which is kind of limiting how much action you can do, unfortunately. The bare minimum, we have got... Yeah, hang on. Uh, who did I say needed a little bit of help with their everything -ing? Um, Probably you... Oh, yes, it was you over here, wasn't it? Yes, you can go over to here. So, uh, let's just look at, say, uh, production. Yeah, if I trade with my own people, they'll get good production. But if I want to just maximize the amount of gold I'm getting, trading to Victoria gets me, yeah, you know what, production gold, it's not bad. It's not bad as a starting point over there. Yeah, you know what, we're going to go and trade with Victoria. I'm happy for there to not be a road link between me and uh, Mapuche. That's A-OK, -okay, and that's just going to just lead to more and more science, more and more culture. My culture's looking good. This is, you know, this is, this is looking positive. What I should do is I should start buying uh, giant piles of builders. We should just start building. There's, there's shit that could be built at this point. Uh, speaking of which, we don't have... Have I already taken... No, I've not taken construction yet. Hello, it's Hungary! Hungary exists. Hi, Hungary. Lovely to meet you. I'm not sure you're really relevant to me. I think you're somewhere around the corner. There's just so many boats on the ocean right now, but I'm just turning them into money. They're, they're just money to me. And commercial hub, I mean, bonus adjacency. Uh, leave that. That's fine. You can definitely be exploded. We've been a bit unlucky with the killing, but that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Also, apparently we've got a... Oh, uh, a muck jibbly jibble. Right there. Uh, what did I put Liang in? I put Liang in for some reason. No, seriously, what did I put Liang in there particularly? Is it because I just wanted to get working on her? Probably just wanted to get working on her. 20% bonus towards constructing districts. That's absolutely fine. You, Magnus, uh, you're already in play. You could have bonus growth and ter yeah, trade routes to this. Uh, it's not desperately exciting. Probably better... What could we make do? Plus two gold for every citizen in this city is kind of interesting. Ooh, yeah, you know what, sure. And that brings us towards contractor where we can start actually buying districts with gold, which we would absolutely 100% be able to do. Speaking of which, humanism, because for some reason the AI never builds Taj Mahal. So I always get it. And uh, 300 gold and one envoy. That's, wow, pathetic. That's so little gold next to what Simbad's bringing in. Simbad is amazing. But, bare minimum, we've got even more we can do here. We can't build more districts till we hit... 13. So we're, we're pretty close. That's only four turns off from that, which is good. I could spend a little bit of faith on the what. It's more faith than I want to spend when I'd rather be spamming out settlers for the time being. Uh, ancient walls represent nothing but anything else, uh, but a handful of culture, perhaps. Housing is good, but where would an aqueduct, in theory, go? Into the Sphinx. Nope. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable in that case. Now, you could... You could get the rainforest wander down. Plus two culture to all rainforest tiles in the city. Plus one production to all rainforest tiles in the city. I mean, there's a fair few you'll be able to get. One, two, three. There's like four you'll be able to get in the whole thing. Is anyone else going to want that? Apadana. Someone was building Apadana up here. You must be nearly done, right? I swear someone was building Apadana. Yeah, you're you're almost done building Apadana. So don't even bother with that. Is there any more jungle? I mean, you've got a decent amount of jungle. You've got loads of jungle, actually. You know what? Maybe we'll leave that for you. Just build walls. Like, just get some basic walls up. That's absolutely fine. And then Jerusalem is still in play. Candy's still in play. Auckland's still in play. Muscat's still in play. 
Yerevan could be interesting. We could have... Uh, yeah, gain culture equal to 10% of thing. That's now you. You're now in play. Also unlocks King Arthur as an option, but we don't really need him, so that's absolutely fine. Okay. Now, we start moving. And as soon as square rigging is done, which will be in a matter of no time whatsoever, we can start moving troops around a lot, flipping faster. And you need to kill this guy. Clap! Oh dear, oh dear. We're having a fun conversation oh in dear. chat about power oh tools. No. I assume you have strong opinions on this topic. Yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, yeah, just completely new context. John, what's your favorite power tool? I mean... I conceptually like a lathe, but I'm also scared of them. They seem scaring. When you say you conceptually like a lathe... Yeah. It's just kind of... It seems conceptually cool. Like, you know, it just goes spinny, spinny, spin, etc, etc. It seems, it seems like a cool thing. Didn't you say when you were in school? I was scared of them, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I was taught, you know, CDT by a person who had less fingers than they should have on account of, you know... Fewer some... fingers. Exactly. Well, technically, it was like half there, so it was mm. less fingers. There was there was certainly less finger going on. That was uh, that was certainly a thing. Uh, I mean, I could go all the way around here. There is... Yeah, the giant's causeway, which is kind of kind of cool. Next to a giant lake here. That that could be kind of that could be kind of fun, fun thing to kind you of. You don't get bonuses for lakes, though, do you? No, but it's still I mean, fresh. It's, cool. it's fresh water is the point. Oh, it's, I see. It's fresh water is the point. Um, we'll bring you round. Yeah, we'll bring you round in this direction. Are you almost. I think you. I think you're done with all the boats round here, which would be magnificent. So we're just sending. We're sending settlers off every every cocky which way. We're just sending settlers off in a bloody hurry. Just endless, endless waves of settlers, and we 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 don't have enough cover to get all of them safely where they need to go. But I'm hoping that, like you know. All of our little friends will just be doing a good job by themselves. And all of these lovely, 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 lovely sexy city-states will just be keeping the seas mostly clear. And I'm just helping them out with the little moments where they've kind of slightly, ever so slightly failed. But I'm sure they won't. Now kill that. There we go. That's that gone. Education and mass production. I just got bonuses for. Why? I don't even know. Who cocky knows with Sinbad? Sinbad just... Shit just happens. It's fine. And you are going to try and shoot me, aren't you? You probably are at some point. Seriously, let's get this square rigging done, people. And let's get more cocking settlers out, too. We're spamming the settlers out right now. This is marvellous. Cla! Uh, yes, indeed. Did you give me more power tool facts? Sure. Okay. Yeah, go yeah, for it. Yeah, we're now discussing, uh, we're now discussing whether or not uh, a lathe is a power tool or a piece of machinery. I feel like power tool feels like that's a handheld thing, right? That kind of feels Just legit. Put... Mm, okay, fine. That kind of feels legit to me. But, like... I wonder if Kanda would be willing to sell me the Iliad. Like, for enough money. I will not make this under any... You say under any circumstances. What if I toss enough money at... Never mind, he, he meant it. Okay, what about the pigs? 100 gold for the pigs. He would have taken less, but I can't be asked to, to haggle with Canada on this front. And... Uh, okay. Canada is still just... Holding on, thanks to the fact he's obsessed with sending governors to control this situation. But, like, eventually, at some point, we'll be able to do this, though. Actually, what I'm worried about is that the amount of cow, uh, moose religion is going down. The moose religion is going down even quite far into the empire, which is deeply worrying, actually. Uh, so, we'll have to see how, yes, that ultimately ends up looking. But... I mean, we've got almost four grand at this point, which is actually ludicrous. So I'm just going to buy a grove right now. Oh, look at that. All of a sudden, the tiles are good. Uh, and I'm going to buy a market. Oh, look, all of a sudden, I've got additional trade routes. And uh, as uh, speaking of that trade route, I think I'm just going to buy that now. Okay, cool. So now I've got a trade route that I can uh, utilize. And you, I think, just need a little bit of support too. So we're just going to buy one of them too. Okay, so now we've got, got five traders ready to go next turn. Beautiful. Just build a monument here. That's all absolutely fine. Just keep on keeping on. Yeah, just let, let's get you round here. Because I'm a little bit worried there's a possibility of... 
Yes, you guys representing trouble. There's a lot of there's a lot of people on this uh a lot of people on this here situation, on this here island. I think there's no people over here, but there was definitely an indication of fresh water here, suggesting there's probably a lake or a river. We must be able to get a couple of cities down over here. I feel like this feels like a pretty safe angle, so you can just sort of go in that direction too. You can just drive off in that direction. Everything's going to be fine. Clap! Uh, <laughs> sorry, just me and the power tool people in the chat are just like flooring everybody else who's like, well, I did not come up for, I did not come here for this debate. And Anyway, what, what, give me, give me the, the the view as to who are the sides in this debate. No, it's not, it's not sides so much as discussing what the definition of a sandwich is. I see. Like, is a sonic screwdriver a power tool? Yeah. Is a table saw that you like take with you to a job site a power tool? Mm -hmm. Or is one that's like, you know, built into the floor and you have to like get a pallet lift to put it in place is that a power tool mm -hmm. anyway okay victoria's just seeming like a good trading partner for the time being and honestly just getting a road down in that direction <laughs> is not going to hurt either oh dear oh uh, mr dear. mr ray whitey points out that me and the power tool people is a great band name <laughs> oh dear yeah not not untrue but still oh dear uh, well, it's almost two in the morning, mm -hmm. so, you know. I just want to get down some of these new cities, and then mm -hmm. I think we might call it for the time being. Yeah, obviously we'll come back to this. Yes. I because think there's this no is... way there's no way John's going to keep himself uh, away from Civ 6. This is population 7 or greater. Okay, we're not quite ready for that yet. I'll let you build your own waterway. Ottawa is worth a... Show me some production here. Winnipeg is generating... Yeah, you know what? Victoria is pretty solid. I wouldn't mind trading with just the Mapuche. Just for the sake of... Uh, yeah, just getting a get a road going in that direction. Let's just get a road down. That's absolutely fine too. So yeah, we're now swimming in a trade route. Even more trade routes coming in. We, we cannot keep up with the number of trade routes. Which I find delightful. Up to six. This is not bad. For, you know, this point in the game. I'm I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Now, what I'm concerned about, though, is landing on this island. The white owls. You're the purple ravens. You're the purple ravens. The white owls, I think, I, I took out their base. The purple ravens, I can ask them to not attack my cities. But they will attack my civilian units. Landing on this island could be tricky. Because I need to find a spot where they're not. And right now they're sort of just hanging out around here. I've made a good giant pile of money as Simbad. And the amount of money I'm making per turn has just exploded. And like this is this has been a huge, huge moment for us. Uh, culture is now like, you know, broadly in line with other people. Science is catching up. Auckland is not helping. By the way, cocking Auckland is not helping. I think it's possible we might need to bypass this island until we can send some troops to clear it. Uh, I'm making so much progress. Made... There's square rigging, so at least my I'm moving around faster, which is excellent. And then... Buh, 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 buh. Who wants to give me... You know what? Just literally going straight to uh, the capital for food and production is not bad at all. Clap! Uh, yeah, indeed, we are, uh, very much still caught up. Somebody brought, uh, somebody brought up that, uh, there are, uh, there are power lathers, but also manual lathers, mm -hmm. uh, which we always see when we watch the, uh, woodworking show on Channel 4. Ah. Um, Bur is it, what, Britain's Best Woodworkers? Yes, it? something of that nature. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go for Chichen Itza, see if we can get that. It's uh, really, really we'll fun, see. and uh, basically, like, it's a, it's like a, it's like a lathe, but they power it by pedaling. Yes, like the little a, manual one. That is, yeah. that is that is super fun, yes. That is super fun. I really want the lathe, but I feel like that's a, you know, I don't know how to turn, and I feel like turning, you definitely need to, like, take a class or something, you know, like, I wouldn't want to, because my brother, uh, my brother's a carpenter, and, uh... You judge you. Yeah, I mean, like, he wasn't thrilled to learn that I bought myself a table saw, and that, you know, 
like he quizzed me a little bit and he Lol. was then satisfied that i like had understood safety things from watching youtube videos but i feel like a lathe you know you need to learn how it feels mm -hmm. uh dear oh dear you want to oh how dare you try and buy my things off me no, no, no. what are you even talking about that's a ridiculous offer go away mapuche Oh dear. Okay, we're going to get down some of these island settlements, and that that's going to lead to good things. Because yeah, I think now we need to. Now we've got some basics down. Now we need to start pivoting. And oh, I think Mapuche is having a second go at Jerusalem. They finally decided to have another bloody go at Jerusalem. So right, get over to here. There was definitely what looked like yeah evidence of fresh water, possibly in a big lake over in this direction. We're definitely making a faster progress thanks to the square rigging, which is good. Yeah, we're definitely yeah, we're going way, way faster thanks to square rigging. So that's magnificent. I promise how are we going to take care of this? You're just hanging around being annoying, aren't you? I think we're just going to have to bypass it. Bypass it. Go elsewhere. Get the arena down. Let's actually start getting some ancient uh, flipping ancient entertainment in play. We can get a zoo down, and that will provide, yeah, amenities to everyone. But yeah, population is this high. We're just going to struggle to keep up with amenities until a while. And I'm pretty sure this time Mapuche is, yeah, he, he ain't stopping. Mapuche decided the last time he was humiliated by Jerusalem was not okay. And now he's come in to take it. Now he's going to take it or he's going to kill it? He just killed it. Oh, shit. That, hang on. That might change the arithmetic a bit. There is now the ability to get a fresh city out over here for whoever could get to it first. He just started a cocking race. And that is fascinating. No, seriously, what is going on on this island? Uh, you, unsettle and get off here. You can just stay right here too, please. Just go to sleep for the time being. More of you coming in as well. I think there might be, yeah, more capability. I, I don't see what's going on the inside of that island, which is a shame. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. If this guy would like to piss off over here for a bit, or, like, Auckland would like to distract him, great, we'll get that down and the moment it's down, we can buy these individuals off. Then again, they're white owls, so that means I actually can't buy them off. But I could use gold to buy troops to defend against the... Oh, that's... The bloody Island. I should, I should have brought troops. I should have brought troops to help deal with these... Yes. The, yes, the slight The slight issue that, like, these islands are already occupied by people who aren't happy for me to be there, but basically, screw those guys. I, oh, God, I'm being British again, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, you are. I'm yeah. so yeah. sorry. I didn't... <laughs> that, that one was a mistake. That, that one was a mistake there. That I didn't, I didn't mean for... For that but yes this is all I mean, that was your plan all along pretty much okay that's true actually this is this is wildly inefficient over here this over here has always been imperfect if i just tear down this if i just tear down this here that's gonna make these much much nicer and then you know what this is ah but if i tear down this forest that's going to oh la, 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 la. it's gonna cause trouble one two three if i tear down this and then put a sphinx here. Yeah, that's an answer. Activate a builder. We're going to do that. And buy that tile to put a sphinx down on that yeah. hill. I think that's allowed. What? Max Hurd says, your military, one quadrareem, one warrior, one sinbird. We've got scouts as well. Mm -hmm. they're, they're units, kind of. They're mostly units, I think. Just I mean, there's one person who's got less military than you in the world. That is that who? Oh, wait, Kamea? What the fuck happened to your military, mate? I I've no idea what happened to his military. That's cocking wild. Uh, okay, so there's a good lake here, uh, which is marvelous. So yeah, this is a perfectly reasonable place to settle looks like there's more space we can settle more people so okay just keep on bringing you in this direction too so that's going to be one new settlement we just need to figure out whether we can really bring you ashore safely and then get the city set up here and then just start basically throwing up bribes 
money, anything. Just whatever it takes. Um, I'm a little bit concerned. I, you know what? I think maybe we should just go over to the nice safe safe, safe island over here. Like, maybe, th maybe this island wasn't the right... This is a good island, though. This is a good island. Mm. There's just a giant desert here. That that feels like that's less good. Uh, but there's... Oh, they're back. Yeah, fuck it. We'll get, this is this is a more interesting location here, anyway. We're going to go over in this direction. We'll come back to you guys later. Sinbad can just... Sinbad's got 18 more turns of life left. But mysteriously, actually, oh, hang on, what on earth is going on with the ocean here? Like, the entire land just bends around here. Like, he might not be able to circumnavigate the world, which would be interesting if he couldn't do that. I think I'll keep him here for defending our settlers for the time being. So you're here. You are, he are here. You stay here to keep an eye on that island. So, okay. We have now got a brand new settlement right here. And we will get we'll get the gold in pretty pretty quick, I'd say, to start basically like forcing it to grow in a hurry. We can get a really nice harbour out. That's a good starting point. A really nice harbour, given this is like you know literally an island and whatnot. And then yeah, there's clearly some more stuff. But now you're down. We can bring you to yeah over here. The problem is I don't know precisely what's. Oh, I can go here. Oh, that's delightful. Uh, I can see a little bit deeper into this island. Because um, I can actually cut through the city. Problem is, I can't use... Check the peel, by the way. Uh, might be something we can do there. We'll have to see. Um, I can go here. Yeah, I can go. I'll go here. And then you see water into aqueduct. Uh, and then we'll get both of them set down. And that should be fine. So you can go to here. And apparently you're going straight through will be the easiest way to do it. You guys stay there. You guys just basically move in this direction. And we still have plenty of faith. So, okay. In which case, if we go here. We'll probably want to, yeah, go over to Candy's Island after this point. Yeah, let's let's get more settlers out going towards Candy's Island. This is this is what Golden Ages are for. This is this is what Golden Ages is for right here. You just basically are desperately settling everywhere you can and just if you can monopolize island so no one's got a way of getting a foothold on the island good. That That is precisely what you want to do. Get on that island, monopolize it, make sure that no one else can get there. If you get there first and you just literally block it out so like there's no set, there's no viable settle locations bang congratulations you've just basically locked down a huge really big chunk of natural resources which is just absolutely spectacular so okay this is unfortunately this island we're going to need to send something to go and deal with and i don't really have something right now i don't have troops troops aren't really like a thing i do that's you know it's it's, it's, it's unfortunate in a way but i don't really i don't really have those they're just they, they never really appealed shall we say Claire. Uh, Claire. <laughs> good little shout there like that that was good yes indeed i mean i'm gonna be honest we're still talking about power tools what are you even doing over there Claire? right scratch this down now, hang on, what if We're I... We're discussing whether or not you'd know what to do with a 3D printer. Probably not, no. Yeah, that's what I said. He doesn't print paper. He comes to me because I have the printer have in the my office. You have the printer in your room. That's different. <laughs> okay, so if I want to... Yeah, and now we bring <coughs> you two here. And why would you want to have the, the thing there? No, we want to have the thing here. And then again, uh, buh, 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 buh. if I put it here, that would affect both of these tiles. But if I put it here, it affects both of these tiles. Like, it doesn't really make much functional difference at the at the end of things, except... What is that? That's just desert. So it doesn't make any difference at all. Unless you're not allowed to put a sphinx down on a hill. I think you are. Yeah, that's hill. So I, that's, that's definitely got... Because that's as easy as it should be. So that's fine. So Quebec City hilariously is desperately holding out. And refu they, they are just... They're throwing everything they've got... At flippy governors. I should recruit spies to assassinate their governors. If like if we got rid of the governor. If we got rid of the governor, then that would then they could send more governors. I feel like Canada's not let like, like the real Canada. No matter how much Quebec wants to go, they're not letting them go. They are not letting them go. 
And guy, why are you just all running around? Could you not just run over here or something? Like you know, just 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 leave my leave my lovely people alone. Okay, I'm I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best here. Clap. Give to, give me more power. Give me more power tool facts. Uh, well, I contend that the, the <laughs> definition, the uh, platonic ideal of a power oh, tool, if God. you will, uh, is just like, you know, when you've got like a, a work belt or something where you can hold, you know, your screws and whatever. Uh -huh. um, if you have a power tool that you can like pull out of your belt and hold it up and make it go bzz, bzz, and make you look like you're a badass in a spy movie. Yeah. That's so the What spy idea. movie do you know where James Bond pulls out a black and decker and goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't show James Bond more if he did that, to be honest. <laughs> I also like that your idea of a power tool is a black and decker. It's, it's the word that comes to mind. That's a type of tool. It's a brand. It's not a type of tool, but I'll give you it. Wow, you're being a, you're being, you know what? You're being an elitist power tool gatekeeper right now. It's what you're being. Okay, I do apologize. That is true. I was being that. Okay, so if I was to go one, two, three, or this is one. Yeah, we need a sphinx here as well. So we need one sphinx here, and I need another worker to go. Yeah, put another sphinx. Right here, we need to we need to to plug the gaps of uh, some of this with additional sphinxes, sphinxes plural. But everyone's going to where they're supposed to be going. We've got a new little goodie hut right here. There might even be some fresh water over here. Actually, I just can't bloody see it at the moment. So I just need to kind of go and find that. But yeah, we've got one settlement down over here. That's going to be a good little uh, harbor once all's said and done. You're actually attacking Sinbad. How cocky! Dare you? Rude. Uh, right, the problem is I can't take out their camp, Remember unfortunately. There's the machinery, which is good. There is flipping human. humanism. So at least on the side of culture, we're doing pretty well. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll step away from you guys and just let you do your own thing. You are finally ready to go ashore. Right there. It's going to take us a few turns to uh, to get there. But we'll go there and then we'll have lovely access to the Giant's Causeway, which is kind of looking like it's a bit sideways, to be honest. But uh, I'm sure it's all absolutely fine. You can just, like, go and collect the goodie huts. 30 faith. Good in the early game. Not so good now. Not very useful at the moment. Uh, just get around here. Just try and see. No, the, 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 the jungle's so thick, no one's ever seen what the hell's going on inside this society. <laughs> No one's sure what's going on. It could be Kong. King Kong could live in there. It's, it's hard to bloody say. And, okay. Plus one, for, yeah, plus four gold and one faith from all trade routes. That's spectacular. But we're getting somewhere now. We're spreading all of our lovely people everywhere. We might just need to... We could just set up a really bad city over here. That wouldn't even be that bad, to be honest. We could set a decent city up here. Hmm. Peel's nice, actually. It would be interesting. You know what? We could just be up top here. It sure it's boring planes, but there's no raiders there, which is kind of good actually. It's okay. You know what? You're gonna go here. You're finally gonna go here. That's gonna get that down. That makes a huge difference to all of this straight away. So yeah, that those horses, these horses. It's it's the the hashtag lasagna. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, a little bit of lasagna going on there. Very sad. What can you do? Uh, we can have even more Sphinx. Sphinx is like, you know, what else are you going to do with desert tiles, to be honest? Well, uh, desert hills, you could put uh, mines up. You don't want to put mines next to preserves. It's going to knacker their appeal. So that's all absolutely fine. And then two... No oh, wow, builders only two... No, John! You can buy builders on the cheap with faith. Just do that. Why would you not do said thing? Mm. Just do that. And now you can be... Oh, we're finally we're finally almost out of settlers. Uh, Almost out of faith. Mm. So the next, the next, the next bit of faith is going to be a little bit more expensive. We've got like you know five, six set settlements down. This is going to be, this is going to have huge. Look once these, once these get going in the industrial area, the industrial area, this is going to be pretty huge, pretty huge actually. Claire, how's how's the? Is it nothing but power tools, Claire? <laughs> I'm sorry, I ruined your channel. Dear oh dear, uh... dear oh flipping dear. James Bond license to drill. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to build me a cabinet. <laughs> What's the hell? And here we go. Put this down. And there we go. Look at that. 
fixes up that uh, thing yeah. quite nicely. Just a little Sphinx just does such a good job uh, just at fixing that up. And, you know, in useless desert tile, you know, why not? And when time goes by, there'll, there'll be a point where this is going to be good national park territory. The, 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 these will make good national parks as time goes by as well. Now, are we finally ready for... No, you need a fair bit more, a uh, fair bit more yet, though. Uh, oh, but that's Marsh. I like Marsh. Marsh is good. Taj Mahal! Uh, okay, just build walls just in case it can, you know, one day something bad happens. You're building Chichitson right there. The problem is I don't have... Uh, I really don't have much production in these cities. You're 18. You're, you're 25, which is not bad, actually. But this is the capital's only 30. That's low production because Cleopatra doesn't really rely on heavy production. I mean, I'm tempted to jump ship to Taj Mahal, uh, to be honest. But let's instead... Can you do Taj Mahal here? You could, but I'd want you to... I'd prefer you to do Petra. We'll get you over to Petra once you're done with that campus. We've got to let you finish that campus because I'm going to be honest, we just have to... I seriously have to start pivoting into a few more into like more uh, science we, we we can't fall too much more behind on science like you know we're a little bit behind right now i i can't get that much more behind like there is a point where you have to just uh pivot and get back into it now you buddy you go to here yeah that's going to be absolutely fine that's going to be a good spot then we'll just build you a uh we'll just build you an aqueduct to sort out any problems with fresh water. You just go to sleep there. And we are in a pretty good shape, I'd say. You know what? You guys just go up here and figure out what else is going on around the corner. Probably nothing too much. But there might be, like, some really good islands. If there are, I'd rather know about them before someone else does. So that's all going to be absolutely fine. And, uh, okay. Settlement's going down over here. Nearby to a natural... Where this is going to... Actually, it's it's within range of the benefit of a natural wonder. And it's, this is a big culture natural wonder. Which to me feels like... Get off that space. This is the one space I'm not having you on. Get off it. You literally work for me. I am your suzerain. Get the cock out of here. Alright, and... Uh, what else could you do? Uh, buh, 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 buh. Here would be a good spot for... In fact, do we even have construction yet? We should definitely rush construction. We don't have the ability to do sawmills yet. Sawmills are excellent when it comes to that sort of business. So you go there. You guys can do all of that. Ah, yes, you actually get bonus. Uh, you get bonus builds, don't you? Which is delightful. You come over here and build a farm. That is reclaimed land. Feudalism is going to make this very, very nice indeed. So yeah, this is all going to pass benefits on to each other. That's good. Yeah, that's that's solid. So you guys, in a few turns, can start setting up woodworking in the various forests. Though only the forests we're not using for other important reasons, damn it. And then, yeah, we don't need to worry about this copper up here because... Oh, hang on, there's... What is... No, John, don't spend money on that. I don't know what's going on here. There's something on the far side of the mountains. I, I kinda, I'm kind of curious what it is, but I'm not willing to waste that much money on that. No one with kind of Sinbad's giant money influxes. Oh, naturally, you're here. Don't for... you murder them for money with Simba? You definitely could have called him Simba. Yes, because of the cat that we talk about every week. The problem we've got is, no, he can attack naval units and enemy bases. He cannot attack ground units, which is very irritating. Because it means these go fuck's sake, we need to we need to send troops to a We don't have troops. Troops isn't really a thing we have, to be honest. Like, and I could use. I don't have the faith to. Speaking of which, just get get more settlers out. Just just more settlers out. Damn it, more settlers out. We just need to get a foothold somewhere on this cocky island. But they're literally squatting on every cocky bit of it. Just go away. Just just. Go. Are they barbarians? Yeah, they're barbarian. Officially. But they keep... Ooh. It's the it's the, the, the flipping Inca. Hello, Inca. You're generally not a problem as long as you don't no one bothers your mountains. Okay. I just need him to run away so I can just get on ground enough to put down anything. I just need you to run away. They're very much guarding their island right now. Could you just do something? Why are you over there? 
Okay, he just went a long way away. There's World Congress. New districts built by this player. You always win this one. I do not know why. You just do. Buildings in this district. Uh, science, 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 science. Campus. That's what science is. Um, I do not know why, but like you, you seem to always win this one. New districts built by this player. Culture bombs. For some reason, like I, I don't think I've ever lost this. There we go. I won it. No one ever votes for it. The AI just doesn't care about culture bombs. Uh, which is fortunate because I might actually be able to get a little bit of territory back as a result. Because, okay, I kind of want this back. I want this back that they stole off me. I'm just going to take this. And now... I would like this to be, uh, harbour would be fun, but no, how about, uh, blah, 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 holy site, it, it generates absolutely nothing. Theatre square. Okay, I know it generates nothing, but there's barely anything at all. I'm just going to, just going to put science here, and I'm hoping this is going to get me this back. They stole it off me, I want it back. Alright, I'm not, I'm not happy with this. Not happy, I've not been happy with this for a long cooking time, lads. And, Colosseum. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of owning the Colosseum is kind of bananas that no one's built that. I mean, culture, loyalty, and amenities to every city center. If I put that here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it doesn't reach the capital, but it does reach all of these three. If I put it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, it reaches the capital. Uh, that's nice rice. I like that rice. That's good. Oh, you know what? It, there's no shortage of food. We're going to give it a go. That's... Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Right, you get to here. Congratulations. That's now a new continent that we've just settled on for the very first time. I know, by the way, I've never set up the government plaza unless I don't have the ancestral horse and thus we're not getting free builders. I've never been able to fit that into my build yet. Uh, we've kind of been a little bit like, you know, just figuring it out as we go. Figuring it out as we go, but bare minimum. Don't you have a, a lens for city uh, overlap? How would... what? Don't you have a thing that can show you where cities overlap in terms of, like, where your building would affect it? Yes, but I never remember where that is. Oh, okay. I can never. I'm, I'm sure. You're that I'm looking at me like you're you're insane for suggesting it. No, it's actually a thing. You just don't know where it is. I have no idea where it is. Okay. That <coughs> and makes more oh sense. my goodness, look at this! It's a two, it's a four two two tile with no work on it whatsoever. That is a flipping. Why would you not work that? Work on that. What do you mean twenty six? Memphis, are you okay? Um, well, what's wrong with him? It's it's telling me that it's it wants to take 26 turns to grow when it's got four food on one population. Which is, that's wrong. That's just incorrect, actually. But, but, but fine, I guess. Um, we'll give you a granary for now and we'll see how you feel in, in a the, moment. It's the leftmost icon above the map in the bottom left. Okay, wait here and just... I can't get ashore this turn, unfortunately. But I can settle you. Yeah, there we go. That's even more... More coming. Just endless streams of settlers. So at this point, can anyone even settle on here? In theory, Canada could, like, poke on the end. But by the time they get here, I, I welcome them trying. Because I'd just be able to snipe the loyalty at this point. There's nothing that they could... That there's nothing they'd be able to do to make that point. That is a pretty damn good harbour. A plus three harbour is fine, so we'll get working on that as well. These territories are... Yeah, that's taking that's taking nine. That's... Oh, a nice three, three. There's some lovely sexy tiles here, actually. That's, that's kind of nice. Um, what's the appeal on the island? Probably quite bad, actually, just because it's a lot oh. of rain. It's rainforest. Rainforest is sticky and gross and, and I mean, stuff. there are some really good tiles, though, there and might... there's no terrible ones. If I tear down some of this rainforest, it might well work. But some of this rainforest is so good, I want to work it. Mm. So it kind of, it's it's a little bit of, it, it's hard to say what we'll actually uh, end up doing in that regard. Uh, what we do need to do, however, is get some more cocking luxuries into the Empire. Also, John, 
I, I forgot one important thing, which is, yes, we need to go and lock down that area that was just completely opened up by our friends over here. And I completely forgot to build a settler up here. But Jerusalem, when it was destroyed, they burnt Jerusalem down. They didn't capture it, meaning there's now space to settle a new city mm. here. Which could, in theory, be useful for laying a further stress on, uh, laying further stress on them, and no one seems to be in a rush to settle it, which is of interest potentially. And the Inca don't like like me, and I don't care. I don't like the Inca either, but okay. We've ah, got settlements. just a clarification that the city overlap lens is added by a mod. It's not in the base game. I thought it wasn't. I thought that was a mod. Okay, now I just want no- I don't want to see no one around here, because otherwise I'm going to lose this, because I suspect there's someone around here. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to send him to Candy. This is- this is ridiculous. This island we'll have to claim later. We'll have to claim this island later. This is absolutely wild. That's how- Oh, Canada's exploring! Canada's finally got out onto the water, and by the- and they've seen I'm already cocking here! Oh, lads, you're too late. You're too flippin' late on this occasion. You are much, much, much too late. And... Okay, but Canada beat me to the Jerusalem spot. Yeah, because you didn't do it for a bit. But... That's true. I kind of forgot about it for a bit. I kind of forgot about it for, for quite some time. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna steal what blatantly should be their island. So that's that's all absolutely fine. And, and also, I should, like, you know, train troops... I know this is a wild idea, but like what I could do is... Oh, but Petra. I mean... A Petra's better than troops. Like, wonders are better than troops. Do you really need troops? Or that particular island? We can settle there later. It's fine. Auckland can deal with it. Auckland can deal with it. It's absolutely fine. Everything's going to be okay. We're just, you know, having a lovely time just chilling out in our city... Etc. Etc. Memphis is right here. We're just we're just growing beautifully. Yes, I thought you should grow in six turns. I thought that was about bloody right. That's more like it. I'm not sure what data you were giving me previously, dear oh flippin' dear. But yeah, we need more luxuries, and we can get it because we never actually bothered collecting the jade. There's a major flood, but that's no, good. Life is it's good actually. I should have turned. I should have turned um flipping. What's it with Jibble mode on? Apocalypse mode on? Like, giant piles of endless floods would have been useful, actually. That would have actually been kind of good for as far as I'm concerned. So, right. Keep on and keep it on. Everything's going to be fine. You can now finally have another district. And what district is it you wanted? I mean, there's... There's a plus two here, but those are actually quite good working tiles, which is a bit of a shame. Hmm. I think it has to be. I think it's got to be, though. I think we've got to take that. This one is only a... It's a plus two science tile. And sure, it's next to a preserve. But it's... Oh, but John, it's forest. It would... Uh, do you see? That's why you've got to bloody pay attention. There's a plus... I will accept a less good campus adjacency. In return for, yeah, keeping those decent uh, things there. In return for keeping all of them. I think that's... that That's acceptable trade to me oh just about yes hey shout out to uh noah who just became a channel member uh and says i've been meaning to do it for a while and the power tool conversation convinced me <laughs> there you go well done good good work for contributing there <laughs> thank you thank you uh shout out also to sweet naravar who's been a member for 25 months uh, and says my friend married an Egyptian archaeologist. She keeps saying he's a real pyramid of joy. Lol. Uh, thank you for all the mega awesome stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And okay, we're making Indeed. good progress here. You're just finding yet more islands. Yet more islands with yet more cocky barbarians on them, obviously. And yet more tribal villages too. Just in case you're going up to the tundra can be not a terrible idea if only for the sake of grabbing the the goody huts and land it's just land land is if no other reason land is commercial hubs commercial hubs are traders and traders generate huge amounts of good stuff traders are just an inherent good it's not really necessarily like you know cleopatra's biggest thing or anything but the point is at this point in the game we're we're starting to pivot in towards keeping up we're starting to keep up and that's very important so we've got you know, enough, enough money to, you know, buy the odd library here or there. 
We're going to start making more and more science as time goes by. We can just get more and more goodies down over here as well. That's going to be a mine, which is going to be, yeah, that's jade, our first jade in the empire. That's going to be even more flipping cotton. We're just going to get more and more cotton down. Yeah. This is, this is going to, it's going to start slowly turning in my direction. Because at some point the AI is going to like struggle with the fact it can't go anywhere anymore. It's going to put down really shitty cities like this over here and like Vancouver, whatever that is precisely. <laughs> and like, you know, and it's going to not be able to do anything. And like, you know, like what, what the hell is Mapuche doing this entire time? They're just sitting here on these four cities. They've not expanded. They've, they've ignored this desert. They've completely ignored this land over here. There's this lovely land over here they're doing nothing with. I don't even know what they're doing over here. Like, I think it's kind of sad we can't take this land. Because this land is beautiful for Cleopatra. But sadly, it's not going to fly. So, okay. Just keep on keeping on. Just, yeah, mosey around the world. See what we can... That's blatantly... Oh, you know, never mind. It is an island. Fair enough. You were right. I was wrong. And yeah, now I've got two content. I could actually turn them into an industry if I wanted an industry, which might be might be kind of good. I mean, cotton is it's a bit of a flimsy tile. Let's so turn that into a cotton. Especially as I think cotton industry might be growth. I think that might be growth. And industry in general, like the, the little corporate building is uh, generally got good production. Like anything that gives you a bonus production ain't bad. That's, that's going to be good. I'm worried. I think my religion is dying, by the way. But it kind of served its purpose. It got us this golden age. Now we can abandon it. Now it could just be like, you know, a fun historical thing. In hey, here's Stonehenge. It's however, a thing we used to, like, have. Uh, speaking of which, we can also have uh, plenty. As we do have a fair few trade routes, let's get triangular trade uh, going on. I'm willing to trade that out for, like, one production. Yeah, that's a fairly decent amount more of that. And, okay, 30% production towards military units is the cotton industry. But you know what? The production is fine. And unfortunately, yes, the little giblet has sort of glitched out a little bit, which it does do... A lot, but okay. We have got public works. Statue of Liberty is never going to be not fun. That's always going to be fun. Uh, since it's your suzerain of uh, trade routes, it's a since it's received plus two gold. That's kind of good. Uh, I'll take civil engineering. Statue of Liberty is another one that I seem to get a lot. Like, there are some where you just know the AI is going to get it and there's not even any point to trying to stop them. And then there's alternative ones where just, oh. An enemy spy stole the knowledge of how sales work. And we didn't get Chichen Itza. Ah, that was always going to be a bit of a stretch, unfortunately. With the uh, and there's construction. So, okay, we can now start potentially spamming out builders to get, yes, the always very useful uh, lumberjack, uh, lumberyard things. Just uh, as long as you're not depending too much on that forest. At bare minimum, can we at least help ourselves to, yeah, a nice cheap Taj Mahal. Uh, Taj Mahal can just be over here. That's absolutely fine. That's not really uh, Tal that's doing that much. I, uh, for some reason, I will get Taj Mahal. Don't ask me why I will get Taj Mahal. And, okay. There's a big one. Should have got to this way early. Industrial zones. Uh, clearly, I was just going via a convoluted route through the tech tree. But industrial zones, obviously, I was saying earlier, we don't have the production. Well, industrial zones, so you get the production. And, excuse me, would you... Would you mind just, like, stepping aside, please? Would some of you please mind stepping... I mean, I'm pretty sure, once again, I do, I do own you. I'm pretty sure, like, you, you work for me. So, like, could, could you just, like... I could literally... I, if I could afford it, I could levy the military. And then... But then again, they're only basic warriors. So I was like, could you use them to clear this island? No, because they're basic warriors. That's that's not going to fly. That's, that's definitely not going to fly. But please get out of the way. We'd, so spies have started to appear. We need to get our own spies set up. Potentially to assassinate the governors of Canada. Because Quebec is holding on. Like, just in the face of a golden age with 14 people, 7 people, 12 people against 8. And we're in a golden age. Ah, if this was a dark... If they were in a dark age, they'd be screwed. But unfortunately, right. I think we're going to have to go here. Don't want to go here because this is, you know what? This is the last area that's going to be affected. But if I go, if I go here, this will get me territory. This will get me to here. I'll lose one anyway, but I'll get more of this territory. Yeah, you know what? I'll take this over because then I get, then I get turtles. Then I've got turtles. Excuse me. You could, you could just go away. Actually, bye. 
to start firing on you guys. I think Simbad's probably must be nearly dead, by the way. Simbad surely must be nearly dead at this point. Where were you going again? There was definitely... I presumably had a plan in mind for where you might end up. Doesn't quite come to me at the moment. So we've got one settler on here. We've got you on here. That island is... Oh, that island's actually... That island's not bad. No goody hut here. Elephants. Turtles. Shit we've not seen before. There's Hungary. I mean, to see no reason why not. As we're completely ignoring this giant island. That's so... Why? Because it's got barbarians on it. And I literally can't land on it without them literally coming over and, like, bullying me. It's not my fault, Claire. They're being mean. They're being very, very mean. I just need to get any foothold on this damn island. But, yes, I think the best option might be to go over to here and take this lovely, lovely bit of jungle. But we need to... Somebody need to find a way to fit, like, you know, an army into my plans. Um, right now, we don't have that. That's, that's not a thing we have. An army is, is, isn't a thing Cleopatra's ever depended upon. I've just depended on being, like, you know, sexy. That's, that's, that's worked for me so far. That's worked well. Like, you know, my culture is strong and my science is starting to catch, is starting to catch up. I, I kind of feel like I should have caught up a little bit more by now. But I think Cleopatra is, though you kind of, you know, have some amazing yields on all of this. I think in many ways what we're really waiting for is... Yeah, conservation. Conservation is the big one. We just have to get through colonialism into natural history, into conservation. Then I can convert all of these territories into all of these yields into science and production. Like, I should rush conservation, actually. Rushing conservation. Really, I should have been planning on that. Like, it's it's her big thing. It's, it's the one thing Cleopatra could do. Claire did not leave 20 minutes ago. She's here. She's just asleep. That's not true! Shut off! She's just asleep and not hugging Ted, shockingly. Some for some reason not hugging Ted. Hello, I don't, Teddy. What I don't know why she wouldn't be hug hugging Ted, but she's not. I'm sorry, is that an order? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could absolutely do so. And ah, someone got Hercules before I could You're actually. You're just saying that because if I go pet Ted, I'll spend less time telling you to stop playing so we can eat some pizza and go to bed because we have work tomorrow. Okay, you have work tomorrow. I can choose when I work. Screw you. You're uh, getting up to walk the dog tomorrow. Oh, uh, that is true. Actually, that's that that that's the thing I can't avoid. That's that's correct. Housing is limited. I need to set up the uh, the thing here. Unfortunately. Uh, and there's nothing else I can build here. So we've got to go to give a really good marsh tile just to get an aqueduct there. Is he a good boy? He looks like a very good boy. Ted is doing a very soft little soft potato, waggling his tail, etc, etc. He's being very cute right now. Seriously, what? Just, just... Oh, these, these bastards. They won't, they won't cocky let me land. They won't cocky let me land anywhere. Bare minimum. We're gonna we're gonna share this island with Candy, and we're also gonna probably steal their pigs off them because like my districts are culture bombs for the time being. Like new districts act as culture bombs, and culture bombs let you steal territory, like even if it belongs to somebody. So I I could just steal these pigs. So I'm just gonna have this actually. Yep, no rainforest there right now. You just need to yep repeat the route that you did last time. I think that was a good route. That's all absolutely a okay. You're just moseying around trying to find other little bits and pieces. Uh, Cyrene right here. So, okay. We got ourselves, yeah, there's probably, oh, there's a plus four harbour right there. That's got to be worth some era score just by itself. And honestly, yeah, step one in a golden age is avoid the, avoid a dark age thereafter, even though you're not getting any bonus things from anything. And then, yeah, just basically go round to here. You gain, actually, you gain bonuses in the event of, yeah, it's on floodplain, which this is not. So you wouldn't gain any benefits here anyway. But on the plus side, you've got yourself... Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear. Uh, what else have we got? There's Anshan, which is... Ooh, signs from relics is sort of okay. Actually, you know what? Every library, I should just basically start... Yeah, you know what? Let's just gently tickle the science city-states. Because that is going to take me up from 60 straight up to 70. 
It's an extra 10. That's extra 10 science. 10 science is kind of huge at this point in the game, damn it. That's, that's a lot. That's a, that's a big old bit of science. And we're starting to get some of these territories are slowly starting to spread out, which is beautiful. Canada is sending troops out on the water. Canada now has troops out on the water. Canada has got plans. I mean, if Canada would like to maybe clear this island for me, <laughs> I'd greatly appreciate it. I will be, I will keep a close eye because Auckland lets me have his ability. So I will keep a very close eye on this. If Canada decide to clear this out for me, I'm coming in to steal the island before they can get their hands on it. All right, not not happening. They're, they're, they're having this. They're having this. And I didn't get... I know I didn't get chits in it, sir. That's, that's fine. I, I know I didn't. I already knew I didn't get that. Don't worry me. I've got too many other worry, wonders currently in production. All right. But yeah, once we start getting up to two, the amount of time it's going to take these guys to uh, pr yeah, produce various bits and pieces is going to go vastly, vastly down. But we are seriously... No, seriously, how do you get from one side of the world to the other here? I guess there's... I think you can't. I'm not sure there's a way to circumnavigate the world on this map. That's kind of wild, isn't it? Hey, I want to see the world. What we've got is, yeah, if we go up top here, until the polar ice caps melt a bit more, and we, we can melt them, you know, as time goes as time goes by, then we go around here. This island is... Oh, sorry. It's my, it's my turn. But yeah, basically, there's like... There's an entire, there's an entire continent just blocking the way. Like all the way down here, 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 all the way down here. And then more snow in the way. I think we need to melt the ice caps a bit before we can actually circumnavigate the world. Jesus. Genuinely, that's the thing that happens in this game. Like it, it becomes, uh, it becomes uh, easier to navigate the world as like everything starts like, uh, as it starts melting, it opens up new paths for trade, which is kind of delightful. Why are you... What are you working on? Why are you working on... That's that's not bad. Why are you on only 29? When you are... I do not understand how you could be done in 29, but you could be done... Oh, probably because you started earlier. That 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 would make sense, yeah. But actually, you didn't start that earlier. That feels weird. Oh, dear. I mean, bare minimum, what we can do is, yeah, I can give you a 3-3. Three, three. There's a really good 3-3. Three, three. There must have been a... I think there was a fire on this island at some point. Which is kind of good. One, two, three. I can't get to those pigs. Once all the harbors come through, that's actually pretty bloody good. Universities. That's kind of important. Get universities in play, and we will be in very good shape. Because, yeah, that will be a huge increase to science. Like, right now, everyone's uh, only a little bit ahead of me. But if I build universities in every single uh, campus, then... Will be campus. Ooh, kind of went Greek there. Uh, and every campus then will be actually be in very good, very good shape actually. And yeah, you just built the app. Oh wow, it was Kamea that built Apadana. Oh, Mapuche spent so long. Oh, oh Claire. Mm -hmm. Hey, get guess who's having it? Guess who's having some fucking oh, loyalty? Oh, we rebellion, eh? Guess who's having some cocky problems? Oh, oh, it's cocking Mapuche. Is that their capital? Is that the cooking capital? I mean, it's the biggest city. Holy shit. Right. Oh. Oh. What? Well, we've spent all this time cooking gunning for Quebec City, and I didn't notice that Mapuche's capital city might be about to collapse. And if it does, I mean, surely we've got to be the one laying the most pressure on them. Oh, shit, Claire. Eight turns till rebellion. <laughs> And then we get, and then we might be able to steal J Mapuche. Just eight more turns, people. Which, which, we're, we're about to steal a capital city. The loyalty game has finally... I was going to get more than a bit worried. I will not deny. But this is actually starting to work. This is this this could work here. This could work. You are fine. We should just buy you the granary, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, now your you're... computer just... Half of the stuff crashed. So I've got to get it back. Excuse me. It does sometimes. It's fine. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not the capital, apparently. Okay, well, it's pretty good. Sinbad died, by the way. Uh, that's fine. We can get him back. He can generate more money for us. The capital must be elsewhere. But honestly, like, it's it's 10 population. It's a 10 population city. I don't think Canada can get it. It's like, sure, they've got Winnipeg there, but they're not in a gold... They're in a normal age. They're in a normal age. I, I don't think they can, and we've got plenty of time. I don't think Canada can get that. Like, my golden age pressure is got to be so much greater the normal age pressure. I, I, no, I, Canada can't get it. 
No, absolutely not. I, I refuse to accept the possibility. Like, it, it's not going to happen. You, you watch this space, it's going to be fine. So, okay. Keep time ticking along. That was Apadana we saw you earlier. You're about to go on to this island, which we already knew about. There's going to be no fresh water on this island, but eh, it is what it is. We're just going to settle you here, and then you'll be able to do most of this by yourself. Uh, yeah, if we just put you to literally here, you guys just get a shop. Just sell that. Sell right here on this island. Another island now belongs to me. But yeah, the real star of the show is Memphis here. I think Memphis is looking very promising, actually. That's looking really, really good. And by the way, you're about to have... Yes, there we go. You're about to have three populations. So work on this. That's a that's a beautiful cluster mm -hmm. of things here. Let's actually start supporting this society. When I say supporting this society, use builders, John. Use builders. And... Oh, don't forget we've got... Oh, shit, we've got John. Okay, everything's fine. We can start producing a lot. If we don't care about, you know... Get builders. Get builders everywhere. Get builders everywhere. We're not... We're, we're kind of... We don't really need to be spamming much in the way of settlers anymore. But it's probably time that we started, you know, getting some serious building going on. Like, this is another good... Another... This is why Monumentality is the absolute best. Because Monumentality, all of a sudden, you can just start declaring, Hey, uh, I can just have so many cocky builders everywhere. You need more housing, do you? Well, I'm working on it, okay? I'll, I'll build just a farms or something i don't know um right more builders and what we could do as well actually i probably i've spent probably spent too much here yeah i probably can't get an apostle out anymore but more builders here i don't really care about yes okay we just need okay next turn we start building shit everywhere uh, because we just need to provide as much support as we can. Absolutely flipping not. I'm not giving you anything right now. You don't get a thing until we've sorted this out. I mean, I'm amazed Vancouver's even holding on to this territory, quite frankly. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it is the it's all going to be fine. There's education. To be so that's universities. Universities are going to be a huge deal in boosting <laughs> the level of campus. You get to here. Oh, look at that. It's a giant pile of flipping, uh, the giant pile of things. We can, oh, we can build that in the, in the, the jungles too. Okay, we're at, the, we're at that stage. I always forget what tech makes that happen. You get to here. There's just, okay, congratulations. Look, there's production. Go over here. Oh, congratulations. There's production. Get over here. Oh, congratulations. There's a quarry. Quarries are bad at the start of the game. They're not so bad later on. Uh, and if I don't care about appeal on this island, and honestly I kind of don't, then I'm just going to convert this into a giant production settlement. And all of a sudden, oh my goodness, look at that. The harbour's going to be done in no time whatsoever. You over here, by the way, sorry, forgot about you. You need a builder as well, but that's all absolutely fine. So then we get over to you. You get over to here. But uh, before you do anything else, well, one, get me even more cocking over this stuff and then start setting up. Oh! A feudalism farm triangle right below the giant's causeway. Holy cock me, yes. I think so. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been sticking with us for five and a half hours, this is the point where shit gets sexy. This is the <laughs> point where we turn it all around. It's all going to be fine. By the way, I live here now. Screw you. Um, right, so all we need is one lovely, sexy thing here. That's another plus four harbour. Gotta love them harbours. And can we get another one more builder? I've basically just splurged all of my cocking faith. But now I can start building everywhere. You have so few troops, aren't you scared for your life? No, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. It's all cool. So, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to now just, yeah, uh, get you moving in the right direction. Everything's going to be fine. You, get over to here. Congratulations. Now we have more luxuries, which is great. You, get over to here. Uh, set up more farms. Set up more anything. Here, congratulations. Oh, look at that. It's, it's more cocky, flipping, everything. You, get over to here. Congratulations. That's more production as well. You, get over to here. Oh, look at that. It's production. Hey, guess what's about to happen over here, Claire? Mm, is it production? It's production. Oh, that five sexy production right over there. Absolutely lovely. Right, you get off my cocking island. This is this. Get off my plane. 
Uh, and this is, oh, this is, this is, this, this is the real shit right here. This is going to be the, the good shit in this bit of the world. We're going to start making a ridiculous, stupid amount of food in Memphis. Memphis is going to explode in its population right here. This is going to be wild, actually. Oh, yes, yes. You, get over to here and just keep chopping there. And then, then hunt turtles. I want turtle soup. More turtle soup. Because, yeah, if we if we start doing this, if we're just spamming builders and we're building everywhere, it means our settlements are growing faster than everyone else's is, okay? That's the important thing that's going on here. We are outgrowing everyone. Special session. Yeah, you know what? I'll help him. I've got gold. That'll be worth victory points for me. Boom. Victory points. Everything's going to be fine. This is going to work. This is actually starting to come together. And I am going to steal this city from this idiot. Th three turns to rebellion. Then we get to verify who's getting it. Okay, that's that's when we'll find out who's actually getting the damn thing. So, okay, just keep on keeping on. Uh, anything you can do to increase the level of production, do it. We're now just basically, we're just going to start spamming production across the entire empire. Can you afford a builder? I just can. Which is great. Congratulations. Boom, boom, boom. That's going to be there. Also, don't forget Jade. We can get more luxury resources right here. You, over to here. Build a mine. Actually, don't build a mine. Go crab fishing. Oh, coffee. We're going to grow coffee on our luxury island. Why the cock not? Okay, get over to here. There we go. This is now growing. These these territories are now growing fast. Like these, we're taking huge shortcuts here. This is, yes, this is going to work. This is going to absolutely cocking work. Turtles! There we go. We're now we're now eating turtle soup. Turtle soup right there. And that's a sexy ass farm. And that is a sexy ass forest. And that is I don't know what that is actually. Uh, but it's good. It's it's very good. Build a farm there too. Yes. Get over to here. Probably should have saved that up for more production over on this side. You know what? We're out of faith. We're not out of gold though. Oh ho ho! Oh, life, life is, life is suddenly sexy. Yes! Um, how many turns until we need to have more victory points? Because we're not up to 104? You oh, have I'm sure, the, the game will warn me when that happens. I'm sure that's fine. Okay. The game will probably warn me to that point. Uh, 22, 22 minimum. All right, all right. 22 minimum, we got plenty of time. Don't you flip and worry. I mean, I remember, I've, I've got one, I've got one ace up my sleeve here, Claire. I haven't built my faction unique unit. And the moment you build I it, it's like a chariot archer. And the moment you build it, you get yourself a... No, but I like the way that you said, remember, I haven't built it. Like, I... <laughs> There's like my I one warrior, by the way. On. My one warrior who's still just chilling out doing his yes. own thing. He's just, he's just kind of, you know, he's just here. So you're going to think, and you know what? We should definitely get the luxury resources up first in case that's going to help with any of this nonsense. Right, you get ashore. Build more bits and pieces. So that's going to be that's going to be growing in no time whatsoever. Yeah, that's some good turtles. And then once the turtles done, you'll go over to the no. sawmills. That is all. Yeah, these harbors are doing great work right now. We need to think about what is my actual objective here. Um, mm, hmm, hmm. you know what? I I wouldn't say no. To, yeah, pastures gaining bonus food. Anything that just gives you bonus food is is not bad. A stirrups is also a good gateway tech for a lot of stuff. Oh, we got a great person. Instantly built a bank and a market, and the bank holds two great work slots. And that is so sexy because we might find more relics yet. So that is, that's kind of good. Uh, you're presumably the capital, right? And yes, you know what? Bank, let's go. We haven't got a bank here. We've got a bank now. Boom. More money. Everything's lovely. So, yeah, well, now we've got uh, slots that can just hold anything, including more relics. So, we've now got plenty of relic space in the event we discover more natural wonders. Two turns until the rebellion. Right, you get down to here. Keep building. And, yeah, we just need one more build builder just for build charges because... Uh, when this is done, this triangle is going to be a feudalism triangle. And feudalism triangles are sexy as balls. Uh, you get to here. It's a feudalism triangle. In the event that you form a triangle of farms, they want you to research feudalism. They all generate more food. It's like oh, cool. a big plantation in McJibble. And excuse me. Hi. Those turtles belong to me, actually. Bang. Yeah. Turtles. 
Right, this is. Oh. These societies, the, these societies of these tiles are going to grow so fast. They're going to get established at a ridiculously fast rate. Like, once I get up to, like, just two or three, they're going to be able to start absolutely churning out everything. It's actually going to be, it's going to be insane. It's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. This is that. And I've not got Gilded Vault yet, but then again, I've got, like, no settlements with a, a, a commercial harbor. And a harbour. Maybe like one. I don't know. But like barely any. So we don't need to worry about that too much really. Uh, you get to here. And now we just start chopping more and more and more. Everything is good. Everything is sexy. One turn till rebellion. And when that rebels. That's ten population that no longer belong to them. Which is going to be going to make it much easier for me to lay stress on Vancouver or indeed potentially start rolling up Mapuche. I was not thinking Mapuche would be the group that we'd roll up. By the way, there's coffee. You're welcome, Claire. So all of a sudden, okay, admittedly, we're still, we're still lacking in amenities. Okay, who wants to sell me some amenities? Who wants to do me a deal for some amenities right now? Because I know for a fact, yeah, if I sell you some spare cotton, you'll probably sell me... Two amenities. Oh, you know what? They haven't on this occasion. Well, you know what? That's really not much money. So we need to make that happen. Let's go over to Ludwig. You might... Oh, you've got... Yeah, I will sell you spare jade for two tobacco and silk. Three for one. The AI undervalues its own duplicate re resources. So, okay, that's going to help with that. And that's meaning... We've still got zero. We've still okay. We've got one amenity. That's gonna speed things up a little bit because low amenities me yeah really slows everything down. We've also got wonders coming in. We've got flipping. We've got Petra coming in. We've got Colosseum coming in. We've got Taj Mahal coming in. We're just flipping, spamming down all of the flipping wonder productions. You want to be friends, Ludwig? Well, Claire likes your castle, so we can be friends. Oh, this is. This is working. I think shit is accelerating all of a sudden. Shit is accelerating. Right, you. Congratulations. You are now to be chopped down. Congratulations. You're now being chopped down. Uh, congratulations. We've, have we got the money to buy a library? Yes, we do. All of a sudden, my science has overtaken Mapuche's in no time whatsoever. And universities are going to be incredibly useful too. So let's start getting universities in play in any society where we don't need to be building any other district of any description. Mapuche has flipped. It's gone at rogue. And now we have to wait one turn and then we'll find out where it goes. You just have to wait one turn and prepare for the sexiness of... Excuse me. Why are you not... Oh, do I have to clear the marsh to build to build a, a farm on it? I think I might have to. Right, that gets me up to four and... How can you be on minus six? That's... No, you're wrong. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. That's ridiculous. You are not starving Memphis. I do not... Yes, one turn till growth. That's better. I do not know how on earth you calculated that, but... Six housing, four citizens, but... That's almost done, meaning as a result, we're about to get the sexy farm down. Once the sexy farm goes down, this, this tile is ridiculous. Like, any tile without much yield is just the sexiest of all balls. But like, this, oh, la, 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 Claire, mm -hmm. this is, this is actually starting to come together. Like, honestly, this isn't really necessarily even due to Cleopatra's specific abilities. Like, th those helped us out a little bit at the start, but okay, no, no, back, back to the Sexy Island. Take me back to, to, to Sexy Island City. Where's Sexy Island? So there's Abydos, which is just growing at a slightly stupid rate. These two territories are just doing their own thing. The very night, no, seriously, worse. There it is. It, it, was, it was the one to the south. And now we build the farm. And oh, six. Six food. Six food right there. Oh, we've got an iron miner. I didn't realize we had one of them. We, we could have had that a long time ago, potentially. And. Uh, also, we could have a thingy, and right now, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It looks to me like Egypt is the one that's laying the stress on these, oh, rebellion in 70 turns. Oh, we need to speed that up. Oh, that could be a problem. Okay, so we are the ones laying the most stress on it, but only just... And it's going to take longer to do than we've got in this era. Which is a bit of an issue. Because 
when if we drop out of a normal era, uh, if we drop out of golden era back to normal, then Amani, that's interesting. Someone just mentioned Amani. That that is interesting. Amani's very interesting. The question is, where would she live? Because Amani's got to go and live in. Wait, yes, th that's that's a really interesting uh, suggestion, actually. So what do? Amani generally goes and sits in a city state where she'll act as two envoys. But other cities within two towers not owned by you lose two loyalty per turn. But where could she go? I'm not sure. I'm not sure she can just go and sit in other cities. I think she's got to go and sit in a city state, and there isn't a city state for her to sit in because Jerusalem got killed. So we've got to increase the pressure on these individuals to make that happen faster. But like over on Memphis, like life, life is good and sexy. <laughs> Over in, over on Memphis. Yeah. Like, Shout out to Zumba Marks who says, Good news, Claire, at least 17 more turns until that city flips and you can go to bed. What's going on over here, by the way? Can He's I... just ignoring me. I do anything with you. I swear Theatre Square is supposed to like, yield oh, dear. bonus for being adjacent to wonders, but this one isn't. You get, oh, there's a plus, there's a plus four right over there which is kind of nice a plus four holy square has got to be worth something good and honestly that's just stone it's not the most exciting thing in the world at all wait till we could just afford to flip that but yeah a plus four holy site over there is kind of sexy that's also plus four multiplied to plus eight and also equals uh production so memphis is the star of the show like this was one that was a bit of an also ran for uh, me but actually it's the star of the show yes maxwell says uh it's within nine tiles uh it doesn't need to be a city state just nine tiles interesting so in which case i need to find a tech that gives me the the cheapest tech that gives me a boost to gives me any form of uh thing which unfortunately is 15 turns away it's civil engineering so i don't even want to divert away from the science like sanctuary is important to me but civil engineering i suppose would get me yeah would get me the ability to have at the bare minimum uh statue of liberty which is nice one to the, for some reason yeah. the player does seem to be able to get a lot of the time if we increase our population and it's within nine so hang on uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so this city's not contributing it's just these two okay wait a minute um Quintus points out uh, maybe Bread and Circuses, the entertainment district project. Doesn't that reduce loyalty in other cities? It does, but I don't have any entertainment districts up in this bit of the world, unfortunately. Um, um, I could theoretically have one in Edfu, but it feels like a lot of work to do just for... Yes, purely for the sake of one city that we might not even be able to grab. And, and the problem um, is, someone could just go and conquer it. Like, it, it will flip eventually, but you could just... Max Earth says uh, the emissary upgrade for Amani. Yeah, that, she needs to be upgraded as well. It's not even just default, she needs to be upgraded. So, uh, the rebellion in... Yeah, just 68 more turns, Claire. Just 68 Illyria more turns. says, listen to your responsible timekeeper, John. You appointed Claire for a reason. Uh, Did I? Did I really? Is that does that 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 sound like doesn't sound like a thing? Molly says, uh, "John, my tacos are ready. Go to bed." <laughs> uh, now, several hours ago, Molly came home from work and said, "Hey, I'm gonna wait until you guys are done streaming, and then I'll go to the taco stand down the road mm -hmm. to grab tacos." And now she's had to order in. Oh wow! Because <laughs> she was waiting so long that the chat started to go hashtag tacos for Molly. Oh. Okay, I, I can see how this is potentially a problem. Red Witch says, I just woke up from going to bed at 10 p.m. UK time. I thought this was another secret live stream. Lol. Okay. If we increase the population, then that's going to increase the amount of pressure. We're like, yeah, it's down to 42 turns. Our population Petra is rising. Is oh, and there's way. Petra. Nice. There's Petra right there. Petra is always sexy. You're never going to go too far wrong 
with a Petra. And by the way, can I actually have... The more of these tiles I have, the better. Because actually, that's not one of yours anyway. That is... Yeah, that... What is that? Wait, what? There... Yes, there we go. So we're trying to bring as many tiles as possible into the Petra field. So that one you can have. That's fine. But you guys, yeah, as many... If we've got Petra only affects the, the desert tiles in its city. So you want as many tiles as possible that are desert in the same city as Petra. So I've kind of pulled all of these in. But what about them? Uh, we just don't... Well, they're, they're in the Petra city already. They've, okay. they've, they've already gained the benefit. That's why these are good and better than these ones. Well, I cause... wasn't sure why they didn't have the little coin in the overlay you were in before. Oh, uh, no one's working them because there's better tiles to work elsewhere. No one's working them because there's there's only certain there's only certain finite population and oh, they're working in the right. Molly didn't actually order tacos. She uh, walked to the taco. Um, she walked to the taco stand and she's walking home. It's nearly seven p.m. in California. Uh, Alexis says nearly four p.m. New Zealand time. John. Let's just check there's no wonders here. Oh, Colossus is trade. Uh, John, do not get focused on trade. You're not doing a trade <laughs> build right now. Do not cocking focus on trade. Get an industrial zone down. But we're getting wonders in, and that's already pushed us over the edge here. But as I suspected, uh, there's no way to get around the world right now. We need, to, we need to melt the ice caps. We need to get power plants operating so we can start melting the mother flipping ice caps. That's, that's going to be what we do right now. But the more population we grow right here in the capital, and this capital is growing at this point. 16 houses for... for okay, we need, we need to speed that up. We should be able to speed that up. Doesn't housing... Housing is from a university. Okay, we, if we just buy university with money... Then that's going to be that's going to be good housing. Uh, that's going to be bonus housing right there. That's the only way we can increase housing right now, unless we use a policy card. Or what is our current uh, government for housing? We've already got housing with bonus districts, so that's not going to fly. You just literally can't do anything, you stupid boat. Okay, but the pressure is rising on all sides. Everyone's exerting more and more pressure on that city. As time goes by. Hey, John. Yes. Uh, shout out to Sophie's friend, Michael Galloway, <laughs> who says, I finished my knife shift. I, my night shift. My I, knife shift? <laughs> I'm too tired, Michael. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to impinge your good name. Oh, I finished my good. night shift. I drove home. I am going to bed. <laughs> Just one more turn, right? Damn straight. Uh, Floyd Sir is a new channel member and says, I got this membership and all that I ask of you in return is take care of your health. Sleep is important. That's fine. The I... chat, John, is saying, make good choices. I am making good choices. Science is moving in the right direction. <laughs> Population is moving in the right direction. Uh... All right, this is, this is going to be fine. Rebellion is, there is a small flood. <laughs> Which is going on right now. This is all excellently good news. All right. We just need to save up enough money to force buy that university. Which is going to speed up this a lot, actually. Which is very, very good. We can now start... Uh, I... Uh, we'll, we'll build a library by hand over here. We've got campuses over here. Oh, I did want to get that cocking... Uh, blah, blah, blah. We'll build an internal harbour. We'll build one of those internal harbours, as you do, which is fine. Harbours are very, very strong in this game. Even an internal harbour into the lake generates a ridiculous amount of production. Even if there's no one for it to trade with, it just sort of works. Quebec is still just holding on. How is this not hold? How did this fall when Quebec City is still holding on from the how much pressure have we put on quebec city this entire cocky game it's surrounded by cities with a higher population than this how how is this a thing i don't understand how this happened this is about to become 16 we've only got 10 turns okay no 10 no, no. turns to what end of this era oh i see okay but that's 16 38 turns until that falls 
We're in a golden, and we need to stay in a golden. We've got Taj Mahal coming in in three. We've You've got, got your special unit, right? I've got Colosseum coming in in two. I could delay Colosseum until Taj Mahal is done, because after Taj Mahal is done, Colosseum will be worth more, and I do have my special unit. You're not wrong. Now, who could produce it fast enough? Because it's a pretty flimsy unit, and I'm a little bit worried. If I left it so late, it's actually become antiquated. I'm scared I've left it too late and it actually doesn't exist anymore. What's um, it called? The something something chariot. It's a type of chariot. And I think it may have been... I think it may be redundant. It's not the heavy chariot, I no, guess. No, it's a chariot archer. And I think, unfortunately, it's redundant. Oh. No, I know what we can do. I've got a solution. We can, we can patch up the religion. Apostles. We can evangelize new beliefs. This is this is fine. This is I can I can pat we can fix up the tenets of Moosism. A finished religion is worth a lot yeah, of points. The end of an era and a new era uh, sounds like a great stopping point. Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, yes, John says Verminta, you did leave it too late. Didn't leave it too late. It's all fine. <laughs> oh, I should have built that earlier. Uh, probably this era. It would have already been gone this era, unfortunately. So there's not much I could do there. There's the governor title that we've already established. Imani is not helping. There's Era Score for doing civil engineering, Blast. which is good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. Just, just chill out for a second. All right, just chill out. And oh, now you were saying delaying. Evangelized belief. Don't worry. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Evangelized belief. And yes, in Thebes we stop producing the. Uh, we stop producing the Colosseum until the Taj Mahal is done, and then we let them complete two in a row in that order, which is going to be worth more points. Uh, we need to, if we can advance into later attacks, then that's going to get, that's going to be worth for more points as well. So start moving towards astronomy. So any way we can get to, no, we're never going to be able to get into a new era at this point. So okay, just get siege tactics down instead. Civics, uh, once again, move back towards colonialism at this point. Production over on uh, Akitatan is let's get workshops down. If you complete, oh, Colossus is uh, Colossus is still seventeen. <laughs> I mean, it's a wonder, which is nice, but like I think just a basic workshop is better. Now choose my belief. What can I do here? Plus one signs for every four followers is not much. To be honest, plus three gold for every city following the religion is again going to be not worth much to me. To be honest, I feel like actually uh, oh. simply take take yeah take science. It's going to be fine. That's going to be worth. Oh, that was worth a big increase. That was worth way more than I thought. That was actually that that just let, let frogged a lot of big bits and pieces. Of big increase in science right there. Yeah. And do I even, can I even get a money? I mean, yeah, let's get Amani into, yeah, Vancouver if she's... Uh, let's see. <laughs> Alexis yes. says, uh, day one of asking John to please go to bed. Let's put her in there because that's going to be one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, you guys. six. There we go. Governor is not idle, but that's not going to help just yet. So that's down to 31 tons. Someone's laying down more pressure on this. Let Taj Mahal finish. This is, mm. oh, the fact that we don't have the thing. Uh, um, How much do I have in terms of, there's no real great people I can recruit. I can't believe I missed my own, my own person. Missing my own person is not great. Oh, I do have, no, go away. I do have two envoys coming in. I might be able to lock down some new city-states. New city-states would be interesting, and absolutely not to go away. Uh, I'm not trading. I'm not trading great works for great works. That's absolutely fine. Oh, uh, I would love to hit a golden age because I'm scared if I don't hit a golden age. And also, oh, okay. Colonialism, also originated okay. the human brain. That's that's actually that's going to be worth quite a lot of bonus science bare minimum. And we'll leave that in case, yeah, if there's one that doesn't exist yet, uh, one I've never sent anyone on two, then two is enough to get the suzerain, uh, the suzerainty. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. plus one amenities, yes, keep everyone happy, grow faster. That's, that's not bad. Uh, in which case, 
envoys. Does any has anyone by any chance only just come into existence? Oh, look at that. Some people who no one else gives a shit about. I just need to find people who no one gives a shit about. Um, Cardiff. No one gives a shit about Cardiff. No one gives a shit about Preslev. Uh, no one gives a shit about Wolin. Cardiff is the most interesting of those. Um, so if I send one, that counts as two. And then if I send the third, that's us from team. That's plus two error score. Okay. Everything's fine. We, we can do this. We can get Golden Age. I don't know um, how, but we can. Shout out to Sekiriel, who wants to know, Sleep, is that on the tech tree or social? It's, it's clearly the tech tree, which is why we're so... Actually, amazingly, our science has overtaken our culture. And we're, we're basically caught up at this point. I was really scared. We were looking really far behind. But we've actually managed to catch up at this point. <laughs> Did you ever build Here comes person? Taj Mahal. Yeah. Taj Mahal's going to be worth a lot of points. Uh, Ludwig's angry at me. Uh, but now we need to remember immediately to go straight back over to Colosseum, which is going to be done next turn. So, and that's now going to be worth more <gasps> points. Is there anything we could do to... Oh, Entertainment Complex. Entertainment Complex, we were saying bread and circuses. Uh, that's, that's of interest, isn't it? Or an industrial zone just for an additional everything. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Entertainment complex. I think we, we, we're into the stage where we desperately need more amenities. If we just entertainment complex over here, that is one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is, this completely useless tile is a perfectly sensible spot for an entertainment complex. Which is good, because we need the amenities anyway. And like they were saying, bread and circuses is actually solid. So, okay. That's going to get us Colosseum. We're up to 113. That's going to complete. And because we've got Taj Mahal, it's worth more era score than it would have been previously. Yeah. So, hopefully, five. Piss off forever. Um, we're not, Honestly, you don't get Colosseum very often. I'm kind of... I'm really kind of... Honestly, on deity... That I got flipping, and While there's the Colosseum. Stands. Yep, fine. 117 out of 119. I got on a deity game, I've got Stonehenge and Colosseum with zero chops. Is And if you'd only remembered to build your nice unit when you could. I think that might have been before this era anyway, and it wouldn't have carried over. Mm. I need to find two more era score in the next six turns. Where do I get two era score? In the next six turns. Where does it come from? Where does it go? Where does it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Um, if, um, I, if I fill up the religious district for the first time, does that count? If you, Shit, that doesn't do anything. If you discover new wonders elsewhere, does that count? Meeting people, in theory, would count. Yes, that would be one, per, that would be one point per person I've met. That would be true, but I, as we've established, it's mysteriously hard for me to meet anybody right now. Um, right, hang on. Which, which is this? this full is the... religion or alliance? Full religion. Yes, I hadn't got the full religion yet. Yes, that's that's true. Full religion. I hadn't got the full religion, and we have next turn. We'll have enough points for the apostle. Oh yes, we just we need to finish. We just finish Thank off the religion. You, Nate. Finish the religion. That's true. If we finish the religion, we're golden. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Holy shit. Golden Age into another Golden Age is very hard to do. We've just about pulled it off. Holy McShizzle Bizzles. <laughs> what? That's a new one. As I just said, Holy McShizzle Bizzles. That's, that's, yeah. that's fine. Only 23 turns till Rebellion. And it's coming to me. It's coming to me, Claire. This is it. This is working. Look at my beautiful empire. I Look know, at its it is beautifulness. Beautiful. It's it's gorgeous. Five turns. Oh, I don't need five turns. Like that's fine. You can do it next turn. In comes the apostle, and we can finish converting. Oh, my poor empire. P my poor Moosism. Moosism is is collapsing. It's, well, we're going before it collapses. We're going to establish what we believe. We believe in shit. We believe in McShizzle Bizzles, John. Everything's... I'm tired too. <laughs> yes, I know. But you're the one who's... Saying, you're making oh, the Oh, at this point, the game is now so confident it's going to be the Egyptian eyes started appearing. Evangelize belief. Yes, choose the belief. And religious colonization. Okay, founded by a player who has this majority religion. Uh, that's kind of interesting, but I can deal without that. Crusade, scripture... 
Religious spread from adjacent cities. Honestly, yeah, just starting it when I'm founding new cities, that's fine. And there we go. The religion is complete. The moose, everyone knows. Nice. And we've done it. Holy shit, we were a long way off, but we fit. We got it done. We flippy oh. got it done. Blimey, a heck. It got done. And we've got... Oh, I think we might actually potentially have more coming in off a really good harbour that's about to be complete. I think we might actually... We might not have even needed that. I think this harbour's one turn away from being complete. I think this was a plus four harbour. In Renaissance, the plus four harbour should be worth an era score. So I strongly suspect we're about to get another point off that. Uh, shout out to Alana, who uh, says they've already had dinner, a midnight snack, three cups of tea, and they're currently considering a 3 a.m. snack. Nice. Apparently not. Uh, but okay, hang on. Bread and circuses. Applies, yeah, extra pressure. We're doing it. Do Fuck it. these guys. Fuck them. We're going to do it. We're going to apply it. extra pressure. Bread and circuses. Let's go. This is a wildly inappropriate, unnecessary use of everything. By the way, uh, I want a lighthouse. Because that's going to get cool. light out. Well, it gets if you don't have I mean, a market. Also it's cool. Either no, a market it's cool. or a lighthouse. Yes, okay, sure, fine. Uh, <laughs> And you had a really good district down too. You can also have a light. Actually, in offense, if I do that, I won't be able to buy the trader I need. So you can just build that, which is absolutely fine right there. And we're going to make this happen. This is going to be made to happen. You are going to, everyone's going to grow. All right, everybody just start growing in the right direction. You're in place. And I, you, I don't think you're even going to be able to do it, what the thing that we wanted you to do. But fuck it. The, the things that we're just bread and circusing. We're just laying down that pressure on them right now. So, yes, increases large pressure the city exerts on itself and other cities nearby. This is going to be fine. And we've got the gold age. Oh, please, I'm begging. The problem is, okay. This happened because Mapuche was in a Mapuche was in a dark age. Mapuche might be coming out of the dark age, which means they might be able to put pressure on their own eight turns. I don't know if it's enough though. So I have don't... you actually built the bread and circuses? Yes, now? it's running. It's a program that's running on an uh... ongoing basis. That's that's the problem we've got here. And it's not How gonna many be turns Ooh, 24 until... gold for Mogadishu. And Mogadishu wanted me to send that. I will flipping take mama like. Um okay. Everything's fine. We've got nothing to build it. Oh, I've met someone. Hello, you're Scythia. That's that's nice. That's an extra point we completely don't need, as it turns out. Uh, and unfortunately we still do not have the ability to. We always to have... love Scythia. You know what? We could have Himiko. Having Himiko in play is kind of interesting. Hi, Sophia is... Uh, I can take or leave. Himiko is is good. Uh, Himiko is best girl. Himiko can, can definitely stay. That's absolutely fine. You could get working on... Oh, I did get it back! I culture bombed this back! Fuck you! That's right. That's right. He culture bombed this off me. I, I culture remember, bombed him John. right I back. I culture you were bombed very him upset. right back. Fuck uh... you, buddy. Okay, me and Scythia are friends. That's fine. Scythia is Scythia is very reliable. I'm terrified that they're going to rebel, and the exact moment they rebel, if these guys emerge into a heroic age, they might be able to take their own city back off the, off me. I don't Wait, let's know. Let's see. Is it how many turns is it supposed? Is it now until it? It's one turn until this well, era yeah, ends. Yeah, but how many turns until the rebellion? Uh, seven. Oh, I thought it might diminish even more. No, uh, it's not diminishing even more. I tell you what, we can anyway. also get working on Statue of Liberty right here, which is an amazing wonder that for some reason I get a lot. The AI doesn't seem to particularly care about it so it's just one that happens a lot but we've got the the golden age locks at the same time now i'm really hoping for no you don't get anything fuck off canada and your stupid quebec qua prejudice i'm gonna be in a golden age but i need i want canada to fall into a dark age and i don't know what the fuck they've been doing that could possibly have been earning era score like what have they been doing this entire time what's about to happen What's the situation with everybody around us? So, okay, yeah, that's fine. Canada's in golden age. How? Mapuche is normal age. 
And Maori and Ludwig are in Dark Age. Okay. And now we, we can we can no longer create people. International trade routes we more can no gold. Longer create people? Like we can't create settlers using faith anymore. That oh, was yeah, the thing yeah, attached yeah. to the dedication. Now we're going to a different dedication. Ten percent production towards industrial and later wonders. Campus district science gives bonus production. That's not great. I think I would rather have. Uh, I mean, we've got seven trade routes. We probably have more going in as well. Yeah, traders can't be plundered. More gold per specialty district is going to make a lot of money. Hang on, what what is going on over here right now? The game's still saying it's going to fall to my hands. And Canada's the same number of turns, or yeah, but it might update next turn. Shit might be about to change. Um, Shit might be all about to change here. Joseph points out in chat, um, this is what we call a stopping point, John. No, we now we have to figure out the <laughs> what's going to happen. Six turns, just six turns, we find out what happens with these fuckers. <sighs> Okay, we just have to find out what happens with these fuckers now. Now, now it's on. Now it's on like Donkey Kong. Okay. I mean, also, I should point out that I have gone through, right through. I'm very, very exhausted into who cares. How precisely did Canada get a golden age? How? They smiled politely at the person who was giving it away. Okay, we're being attacked by a couple of barbarian ships. That's absolutely fine. Luckily, everyone's pretty chill with me because I'm not really causing trouble with them for the most part. So, yeah, just get over to here. Attack you straight back. That ship's probably going to be destroyed. But honestly, it can't really do anything at this point. So we can't get past the cocky poles. Um, okay, just continue yelling at these guys. Four turns. I think it might have dropped by another one there. And it's still saying it's going to me. It's still saying it's coming to me right now. My pressure is way higher than Mapuche. Same number of turns, or...? Yeah, my pressure is way higher than Mapuche. Oh, four turns. Canada is... Oh, why is Canada... Wait, Canada's not even in it, apparently. I don't know. Uh, give me more great merchants if you can. I don't care about uh, this one. Great merchant points would be great. Because I have a lot of... I have a lot of commercial hubs. That's fine. Uh, let's see if we got that. Probably not. And no, nope, no points for great writers. Don't care. Does not really matter. Give me one little bit of extra production right over there. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Yeah, I was just wondering if. Uh huh. I was just wondering if at some point we're going to hear the dawn chorus. I'm. Sh it's it's not impossible. Okay. Dear, oh dear. Anyway, shout out to Posh Sheep, who gave us £20 and says, No, John, not Civ 6. Every time I see John play, I have to play as well. So long, Australia my backlog of games. So long, Starfield, Baldur's Gate, Jedi Survivor, my time at Sandrock. Maybe see you next week. Excellent. Now, okay, I'm just in case. Okay, we've still got one turn of this. I thought that would just run out, but it hadn't. Oh, you broke Nightbot. I broke Nightbot. Nightbot no. says it isn't my fault that John is streaming in the morning. I want a nap too. Oh, I'm sorry, Nightbot. I didn't mean to break you. That's that's sad. No. I, feel, I feel bad about that. It's not actually broken. It's a command that we had to put in because you've done this before. Okay. Now what we can do in theory is any new sits, uh, any new ones emerging. As Candy Preslev is kind of uninteresting. I've got Sue here. I could help myself to Preslev. Uh, I could also go over to... That's plus two science per university. I've got some universities. So I'm going to move both of these over to three. And that's going to boost my science up to... Ah, uh, only 148. It will... It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, okay. We're still keeping up with the bread and circuses. We're laying down a huge, huge amount of pressure. I want to keep doing this, quite frankly, until I've absolutely made sure we've locked it down. Because... Uh, if it weren't for the cookie golden age, I would suspect that this would mean we could potentially turn a lot of pressure. Because this this is 10 extra population laying pressure on Canada. Okay. But unfortunately, yeah, I suspect this is going to be an issue. So rebellion in one turn. I'm laying down way more pressure and I'm not stopping bread and circuses. Continue bread and circuses until it's in my possession. And I think this is it. This is the moment. This is the moment right here. This is the moment right here. More bread and circuses. Canada is just set up a giant farms. Pfft, whatever. And 
we, we, we're going to get it right. I mean, surely it can't change just because the bread and circus has ended, the, you know, just the, the turn before. Like, we're, 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 we're ahead of everyone else, and... <laughs> I like Ludwig. Ludwig's great. <gasps> it looks to me... There was just a catastrophic eruption up north, by the way. Everything just exploded up north, but we can... it's it's fine. We can, we can fix that. We, we can fix that. The, the camp has slightly just caught fire. But more importantly... I just got this stupid city. It belongs to me now. It belongs to me. It is mine. I own this stupid city. What have you got in you? By the way, this stupid ass city. You've got city centre. One campus with a university. That's a big pile of extra just... I've so basically just stolen science from because his university now belongs to me. So that is... That's not bad at all. Ten population is a good number. There's... Wait, do you even have... What? Do you have water? Wait, where's the water? Do, do... Okay, fascinating. I, I've... No idea how this city is supposed to be operating, but this, um, this city is just doing its own thing. Congratulations apparently. for getting that city, John. Good, now go to bed. Absolutely. I think that's the correct place. So, okay. We're going to wrap things up here for now. We're going to wrap things up here at this moment. By the way, Claire's, Claire, I, I think, rightfully is gesturing at her coffee. Is Nightbot willing to share that or is Nightbot still sulking? Claire has Nightbot's been Claire's sulking. been here for over six hours and it's it's, it's 3.20. So I think Claire was, is be very, very much worthy of you tossing her a coffee. If you want to donate to Claire directly, I think that would be very fair and proper and right. Under and you the still circumstances. Don't have and we still, we st hilariously, we've got all of the stuff we do have, and we don't have Quebec. That's actually true. That's actually true, right here, which is kind of ridiculous, right there. And it's also very important, I remember, to turn off the bread and circuses, because now we don't need it anymore. And amenities is fine. We just need more housing in this bloody place. We just need more housing. I don't know where we're going to get more housing from, quite frankly. Uh, what's going to generate more housing? Like, what's don't generate housing, which is cocking hilarious. There's probably, like, you know, some very, very good bits and pieces. That's only, uh, you know what? There's a plus three off various adjacent uh, McJibbles over here. That's Oh, that's a plus six. That is a plus six. Flipping uh, McJibble there. So that's era score. Right there, that's an incredible theatre square. Right there, which is absolutely flipping lovely. So, okay. This game is most definitely not won. Like, you know, just to, just to clarify, it's literally 1000 AD, how perfect. We're like, you know, in the bottom to end of the field for technology. Canada is vastly ahead of us in the amount of technology. G Germany is gathering a stupid amount of tourism over there. No one's really looking too strong on uh, diplomacy, religion, no one's really doing that. And when Canada's in the game, you get scared because they are very good at winning diplomatic victories. So, yes, there are um, potential... There are roadblocks between me and potentially winning. This is a deity difficulty game. But I'd say what we've done here at the start is we've made a very good job of breaking the back of the disadvantage like you know we've pretty much caught up in science we've pretty much caught up in culture a little bit more to do there but this could be winnable so i'd say probably you know in a week or two we might you know pop back to this and just see how we're getting on and see if i can actually turn goth sexy cleopatra mommy into a victory on deity difficulty it's entirely possible Canada will win. Canada is in a strong position right now. My best bet is containing them, which I kind of have done by virtue of taking the islands they would logically have extended onto. So we're going to go and have some food now. Thank you very, very much for joining us this evening. John, stop yell the chat. It's fine. We are going at this point. But... <laughs> Don't you worry, you've got Starfield coming up. You've got Fallout Sim Settlements 2 coming up. You have got all sorts of new bits and pieces coming up too. All sorts of one-offs as well. I don't know what we're going to be doing next week. Possibly the same thing as we'll be doing the video on Saturday, which some of you may already know what that is. I kind of I've mentioned it, uh, hinted at it on Twitter. So, okay. 
all sorts of bits and pieces to do. Hopefully you're all looking forward to that. Hopefully you've had a lovely time. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you very much to the Super Chat donators. And just, yes, thank you very much for keeping me up as I played Sim until 3.30 in the morning, which is not that unusual for me. This is fine. Claire's finding it a struggle. I'm finding it just fine. So anyway, we're going to go and eat pizza now at 3.30, obviously. And obviously. Obviously. And then I'd say, yes, time to cuddle a dog and go to bed. So, yes, thank you very much for joining us. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the videos. Hopefully, uh, various good things happen in your life. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. So there's been many a true nerd. <laughs> Ted's over there asleep. Yeah, Obviously, he's, asleep. He, he's the wise one of us. So there's been many a true nerd. And this has been Civilization Six with hot, sexy, goth, clip, and mommy. And uh, I'd say we are, you know, off to a pretty good start. For Oh, go on. One more. No, not one more turn. Thank you very much. <laughs> and good night. I mean, you could just do one more. Nah. <laughs>